What's up? What's up? What's up? Waiting for some folks to come in. You already know how we do it. Going to talk some T'Challa today. So, just hang out with me. You know what I'm saying? You already know what we going to do. Going to turn this down just a little bit. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's going on, everybody? This is your man, Dre Mack, coming to you again with another episode of The Dre Mack Show. Again, gotta talk about T'Challa because for some reason, everybody, especially our own people, think that the mantle of Black Panther could just go to just anybody, just old willy-nilly anybody can have it. You know what I mean? And that devalues the importance of T'Challa. And so today, I'm going to tell you why the mantle of T'Challa, the mantle is T'Challa. And here's why. And hopefully I could get, uh, because I'm going to do a reaction, because I've seen it earlier, I'm going to do a reaction to a, uh, to a video uh, on, uh, oh yeah, 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 Theo, you're going to come in. I'm going to send you the link. Uh, Maji Khan, what's going on? Uh, uh, Theo, uh, I need B-Roll with D-Roll here. We got to get, we, we, we got to go in. We got to go in. You already know. We got to go in. You know what I mean? So, yes. We're going to talk about this video that, uh, that I was tagged in earlier. You know what I mean? Uh, I appreciate it. And again, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Uh, don't forget to hit the bell notification so you never, ever, ever, Miss one of my videos again. All right. So I'm going to get uh something started. I'm going to uh put a link in Theo uh in the stream for y'all to come in. I'll, uh uh I'm waiting for B Real with D Real. Hopefully uh he can get in too. Uh because we gotta talk about this. We got we gotta get in. We gotta get it in because this is ridiculous. And this is just what happens. It, this is what happens, and it's normally it's us doing this. So, yeah. Oh, most definitely. I got to go in. You know what I mean? But if this is you, if you already been here before, you already know how it goes. The real question is. Okay. Uh, let me get. Let me get this thing going. Actually, you know what? What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, inbox you on Twitter. I got a copy of the, uh, of the stream, Theo. I'm going to inbox you. Or DM. I don't know. DM inbox. Whatever. Yep. Uh, chill is in. The, I'm gonna get chill in here. Chill is about to get a. Uh, um, it's funny. I never get my. And, and, and if anyone who's uh uh is watching, uh, that inbox me or uh, DMs me on on Twitter for some reason, I do not get anything. I don't get jack. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why it never pops up. And my notification, I got my notifications on. It just never pops up. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Hold on real quick. I'm just getting some, I'm just, give me just a second. I'm getting some folks up in here. Yep. I want that there. And if anybody, if uh, I'm, I'm trying, um, hold on. Chill, I got you. 
got you i got a link to to chill for in here i just sent the link to theo and be real with d-real so i got you guys i got a link to uh zia what's up great uh make it what is going on all right for all the smoke uh great make sure you let them know to like share and subscribe to the channel make sure you put a uh pin that in the uh in the comment section professor film fam what's going on uh make sure that you guys i got memberships open make it is my first member i want to have members only chats you know what i'm saying so make sure chat uh, memberships don't start nothing but 2.99 a month you know what i'm saying so we could be able to have members only chats you know what i'm saying i'm i'm, I'm waiting for everything to build so we could be able to have where we where, where we could kick in and chill we could talk about different things or whatever you know what i'm saying so make sure to have that juju rolls what is up you know what i mean i'm going to do this I'm, while i'm waiting for everyone to come in i sent invites so make sure you guys are uh i think is this just in okay just in invites uh to chill be real with d-real and theo um them two theo and b real with d real being the ogs in this black panther game so i give them much props much respect you know what i'm saying uh anyone else that's um uh, uh that, that wants to join in let me know on twitter uh so i can get you hooked up that want to join this conversation uh give me just a second i want to pull up that video and then we're going to discuss this video because this come from which surprised me when i seen it i woke up if anybody don't know i work overnights you know what i'm saying so when i tell you when i'm trying to when i i, I got some rest all of this from saturday you know what i mean because I, I you know how much i work or whatever i wake up and i'm looking i'm like i know i just didn't watch the video that i just watched i know i just didn't watch the video that i just watched johnny washington what's going on what's going on man theo is in the house what is what's up going theo what's going on brother thank you so what much is... for having me this evening man what's going on <laughs> oh man it's all it's all good man wait, wait you know what i know that i have a large collection of black panther comics that i have but when i say i diverge the conversation to you and and and, and uh be real with d real because i know you guys are the ogs of the game you know what i'm saying so i always want to get you guys as takes you know what i mean because you come from that era where it wasn't as popular to you know to be a comic book fan you know what i mean and then you guys were okay chill i got you whenever you're ready i know you guys it wasn't as popular to be a comic book fan and you guys were doing your thing you know what i'm saying back then you guys knew exactly what was going on with these comics so i always give reverence to you anytime i listen to you anytime i listen to be real with d-real i give you much 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 respect you know what i'm saying and much props you know what i mean as a big brother to a little brother i thank you for being on here man listen you know one of the toughest things back in the day was like if you like girls you you kind of had to figure out how you was gonna read comic books behind the girls at the same time <laughs> <laughs> they weren't going for that back then. they wasn't having that I was you gotta put your way back in your way back. <laughs> <laughs> but like, what's that you guys? Is that a comic book? Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> oh man, trust me, trust me. It was a long yes. time I had to suppress my nerdum. You know what I mean? Because yes, geez, they didn't understand. They did not Listen, understand. You know, imagine I, being you know, in your mid thirties and you still read comics and you stay by yourself and you buy the action figures. So you kind of have to like strategically put them in your house so they don't look like action figures. They look like statues. <laughs> hey, hold up, wait a minute. So my uh everybody who who's been following the channel for a while knew that I had my stuff, my collectibles in my front room. And trust me, it's an odd conversation. But like, why do you have all these toys in your house? Like, it's not toys, it's action figures. <laughs> Still, why do you have toys? So yeah, I, I <laughs> this was me considering how we're gonna take the conversation tonight. I literally only had a PlayStation 3 in the living room. In wow. the bedroom, I had my PlayStation 2, 
PlayStation 3 <laughs> and PlayStation 4. Now, mind you, I'm staying by myself. I'm staying by myself. So when the young lady, oh, well, you know what it is? I don't have a DVD player, so, you know, this work is for yeah. DVD. Why do I <laughs> Oh uh, man, Cornelius, what's going on? Yeah, my man, my man, busting the, the the smooth, the reddish brown, and and that deep autumn, uh, uh, no fall color dashiki. I love it. I well, most you, definitely love it. I, and he got figured, the hoodie. I figured it was appropriate for the conversation <laughs> we was having today. I didn't want to be official. I didn't be one. I didn't want to be referee Theo. I wanted to be brother Theo. <laughs> I want to be brother Theo. <laughs> I dig it. I dig it. Now, I'm going to get to the video. Shout out to Cornelius, too. What is good? Uh, my man Cornelius is in the house. Okay, so I want to get into this conversation. I'm, I'm looking for uh, – I'm going into my notifications, and I appreciate you guys. When you, when you guys tag me, I wake up, you know what I'm saying, from a long, you know, 40, 40 plus, 50 plus hour work work week. Overnight, I wake up, I see you guys' as tweets. Y'all tag me in a lot of stuff. I appreciate you guys that tag me in these conversations. And Miss BC Justice was like, I got to hear Drake Max take. Soon as I seen this, I was like, oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not having that. We're not having that. So, it, 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 it was, what was, I think what, what takes me back is that it was the, uh, um, uh, uh, what is it? The um, the black uh, uh, comic lords, and I'm like, what the black comic? What what's going on? What 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 did I miss? So yeah, my man, be real with D real is in the house. What's going on, my brother? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Chief Kingdom all day, but let's get on Chief to this. Kingdom. No, 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 no. No disrespect to any Chargers fans, but we about to beat down this conversation like we beating, like like the Chiefs beat down the Chargers in the second half. All I'm saying. All that I'm part. saying. That all part. I'm saying. The Steelers won today. The Steelers won today. We did. We did. We beat the Rams. We did. All right. All right. Good for y'all. Good for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got to get the Steelers they prize because nobody thought they'd be at the top of their division or fight for the top of their division this, this year. So I got to give them a little props on that one. I mean, they not they not us, but I give them a little props on that. <laughs> yeah, it, it do look ugly. It, it look ugly. It look ugly. It look... Hold on, can I say this? No, for those ahead, of y'all that can appreciate football and those of y'all that's got children, sons, daughters that play defense, look at that play by T.J. Watt. He had the oh. hook the curl zone. He never turned his back to Matthew Stafford. He read his eyes. He now mm -hmm. you want to talk about confidence between teammates. He literally they playing zone. He turned over the slot receiver to the cornerback who was playing the flats and jumped the hook the curl right. Good God, my boy! Listen, that sent chills through my spine. If you play football, if you coach football, good God Almighty Jesus, that that thing just sent chills through. So. <laughs> Just wanted to talk hey, about I, look look they 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 played they played that play uh while we're they they played the they showed the, the clip of that play during a uh, halftime and I was like oh if you know anything oh oh that was nasty but yeah let's get in let's get into that, the video that, that's time in the still in the film room folks oh yeah that's, that's study session time oh but anyway, Let's get into the video, but before I do that, make sure you guys are, if you haven't, this is the first time you watching this channel, make sure that you guys are following Be Real with D Real. Make sure you're following Theo. I think it's, uh, what, what is the, the name of the channel? Is it? I ain't saying, but I, I'm, I'm just saying. I ain't just saying, I'm just saying. I ain't just saying. I just saying. I just saying. I just saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Make sure you guys are, uh, make sure you guys are, are checking it out. Um uh my admin if you could make sure that you're putting uh their links to their channel in the comment section so they can get a follow also onto their channels uh kind of but please and thank you all right i want to i got it okay i think this irritates me it doesn't bother me it irritates this video irritates me and i'm going to tell you why because like the title said the mantle is t'challa and we're going to explain why the mantle is T'Challa. And, you know, again, I don't want nobody to, to be hitting up E-Man talking about, man, they talking about you. and da, da, da. No, 
when e, I'm gonna just explain this. When E Man, you know, was was explaining uh recast the child and he kept saying, Well, the mantle could go to anyone. Hold up, hold up, I'm sorry. Sorry, I got something in my ear. Sorry, you guys. Oh my god, stop, 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 stop. Jesus Christ. Sorry, y'all. It was in my ear. The video was in my ear. But when when E Man kept saying well, it doesn't matter about the mantle. It doesn't matter about the mantle. I, I just want the child. It doesn't matter. It does. There's a reason why Jack Kirby created the comic book and T'Challa was the main focus from day one because the, the because of the mantle of the, uh, the mantle of Black Panther is synonymous to T'Challa. I play Spider-Man today. You got two Spider-Mans, but we know who's the OG Spider-Man. You know what I mean? We know that. This is not the Green Lantern Corps. This is not nothing in that realm. We know who the main guy is. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to get into this video uh, real quick. Uh, golly, I think this is, uh, yeah. Let us go. Let me share my screen real quick. Uh, Chill will be uh, will be in here uh, also to speak on this. So I'm, uh, I'm going to wait for him to, to come up. Let me see. Uh, here we go. And let's share this real quick. Come on. Come on, StreamYard. Let's go. There we go. All right. I'm going to try to... Let's play this video. Let me just play it. Or I think it's making me log into to uh, TikTok for some reason. And this is from the Black Cat Comic Lords. Uh, uh, reposted this. Okay. Or they 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 came in and said whatever on this video, but let's get into this. Oh, this is oh, this is uh, Buck Monsters. Hold up, I wanted to. I didn't. No, don't disrespect the Buck. Don't disrespect to my man. That's not the video that I. I wanted to get the original video. I didn't know he did a response to this. So forgive me for that. Well, let me remove this real quick. Um, and get the original. Get the original video. On this real quick. So I apologize. Did I did you not even. Did you get the re his response to me as well? No, I didn't. I didn't get. I didn't get the response. Um, let me try so to go into the, Go go ahead. Go ahead, y'all. Y'all can. Y'all can go I'm ahead. coming to you, Buck. I'm finna come to you on on Instagram. I'm finna come to you on Instagram uh, if I can. Well, let me do this. Look like uh look like chill in the comments hating on our grades. Listen, <laughs> he, he, can, he can do that. Listen, he can do that if he wants to. I just told him, I said, listen, I take that, that means I'm still amongst the living. <laughs> hey, 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 what do hey. I say? Live and alert on the north side of the dirt. That means right. on, on, right. on, the, a good day. on the north side of the dirt, not the south side, but the north side, which is you know. That's that that's part. where we're going to be at. <laughs> that part. Mugs think I'm talking about North Side Alaska. No, I'm talking about North Side Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, alive and alive and alert on, on, on the north side of the dirt. Yes, sir. All day. Today's that day. Let me see. Why am I not finding the original video? He took it down. He took it down. Oh, he took it down? Yeah. He took it down. That's what I'm talking, bro. That's I, no I asked my stuff. I said, wait a minute. Down. He took like, down that same video. Same energy, same energy, but uh, I guess, took, I guess they knew, he knew somebody was coming for his dome. He took down that video, and he took down the video in which he responded to me. But because this is social media, I have the videos. 
Show the video. Show the video. I mean, Show I don't, the man. Okay, I don't or, know how or, to do or do this or or do this. Uh, you're on. I you say you're on IG, right? Do you have oh, no IG? Instagram, yeah. Okay, follow. Uh, go to go to IG. I'm the real Dre Mac on uh on Instagram, and I'll pull up my Instagram because what we not going what we not gonna do, and I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you like I'm gonna tell you like this. What we not gonna do. Is we not? I'm getting into my Stephen, my Stephen Dre voice. What we not gonna do is we not gonna take down a video after you've been disrespectful, hoodwinking folks. You know what I mean? Uh, we not gonna do that. Uh, <laughs> woo! I'm like, man, because I'm got all you. that energy, but now you see Muggs is loking up to come hard on your forehead. You okay, like, Dre, me, Dre, Dre, I'm right here. I'm on your page, the real Dre Matt. What, what, what yep. we doing? Uh, let me see. Uh, tag me into tag me into your video. Tag just uh, tag my uh tag uh. The video's not back. down. Share my screen. It's on the TikTok. The video's not down. Okay, it's, it's still on TikTok. Okay, hold on. Share my screen. Video. I mean, chill. I mean, chill coming in because I hey, think man, he's mad at you. Know, he, chill, that dude. Chill, I'm not nice. commenting. I'm not com. I'm just assisting. <laughs> There's no T'Challa in the new Black Panther game. Are you guys going to still buy it or are you going to drop it? Listen, I'm going to buy it. A lot of people are going to buy it. Uh, I'm going to support it. But make no mistake about it. This is not about a video game. This is about the recast. Listen, we've seen other people pick up the mantles in comics. Well, the casuals have not. But the comic heads we have seen, other people, Casper Cole. We've seen these type of things happen all the time with somebody else has is under that guy a lot of these folks are not even gamers but they just want to know that something is is laid out the way that they want it to be laid and they're not going to support it anyway that's for everybody else yeah we're going to support it it's going to be great if the story's good the mechanic's good if it's just not just a button smasher there's a great story yeah it's going to be awesome this is just another uh don't get rid of t'challa argument like in the recast that's all this really is a lot of those folks don't even do video games there's no T'Challa. Chill, uh, 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 chill. Do first. you want to? Okay, go, go ahead. Go first. ahead. Go ahead. First, first. Okay. Uh, probably, probably the oldest brother here, without a doubt. And let me say, <laughs> um, I play video games. Okay. Um, I am. I ain't gonna talk about what I'm currently playing, but suffice to say, I'm playing. I play video games. Second, what in the hell does playing video games or not playing video games have to do with supporting a character that looks like you? If my mother wants Black Panther in a video game, my mother can advocate for Black Panther being in a damn video game. That has absolutely nothing to do with it. Casper Cole, a Black Panther. Okay, I'm going to say that again. <laughs> Casper Cole, a Black Panther. There have been plenty of people who have been Black Panthers. All right. Just because you put on a uniform doesn't mean <laughs> you are that character. A teenage boy named Roscoe put on Captain America's uniform <laughs> back in the 70s and got fucking crucified by the Red Skull. <laughs> Does that make you? Captain America? No, it does not make him Captain America because Everett Ross put on the habit. It was Everett Ross the Black Panther? Come on now. Just because they got on the uniform, don't make him the Black Panther. And if we're talking about mantle, we talking about like T'Challa Azuri back, not forward. Because I bet he can't name any Black Panthers pre- or am I saying it right? Post, pre, pre T'Challa. Or post T'Challa, post T'Challa. Or post, yeah. Because in regular 616 continuity, and I can't believe I'm sitting here explaining this, okay? There's not been, unless you count Killmonger. And that doesn't really count because Killmonger didn't get a comic book called Black Panther. Exactly, where, exactly. Where he, was the Black Panther. And for that matter, nobody else did except Shuri. And she was a regent, and that was temporary. But mind you, mind you, 
He's a comic book fan. He's a lord. He's an expert. A casual fan came to him. When a casual fan comes to you, they're looking for your expert knowledge. No, no, no. That's that's not what he wanted to do. And Andre, I just inboxed you on Instagram. His response to my to his his response video to me responded to him in the comment section and everything gotcha. like that. That's what I'm, I'm like, bro. You got responsibilities on the table here. It's not for you to just be blase. First of all, he didn't ask you a damn thing about recast. He asked you where you're going to get the game. Simple yes or no. Like you, like he said in his response to me at the end. He really don't care. Just it's just long as he can get a Black Panther game. He don't care. That's what he's struck a lot me. Of them don't, don't care. Right, and, and say that like that's your truth. You don't care. Nobody from Recast to Chala is forcing you to care. I put it to you like this: it, it's it's almost like the giant man has left. It's not my fault that you need me to help fund the project that I'm not particularly a fan of for you to get it. It's not my fault. You need to take that up with the entity, the business. You you, you want a Black Panther game? It's not my fault that the businesses, EA Sports, hears us on Twitter saying, we're not effing with that damn game. That's not my fault. That's how we feel. Yep. You, you know what they need to do? They need to go start their own damn organization. Go start your own organization. Go start. But if you could play that video that I just sent you, you then get I'm, to I'm see and in. hear how condescending he is. When he could have walked it back. He could have walked it back. But this after I, I didn't show the video. I think he gaslighting myself. I think he gaslighting. Huh? I think he gaslighting. I, I don't I don't I don't think so. Because if, if okay. that's what it was. I mean, it could be two things. How you gonna true. go that hard and then go? I don't really care. Well, the thing is, is that <laughs> some people. The thing is, is that be real. Watch this in this day and age, which what we're starting to experience. I could be wrong, but I'm starting to see it myself. People don't know how to be wrong. They know how to tell others that they're wrong, but they don't know how to accept accountability. You don't know everything. You're going to make some mistakes, but this ain't this day and age that we live in. No. If I just go out here and say it, then that's what it is. I'm the go. I'm the go. If I say that enough times, say it loud enough. At some point in time, I know. I know an athlete who said that too. I ain't gonna say no names because I don't want their right, fan go. base to get on me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get attacked by his fan base, so I'm not gonna say who who, who said that. Who had who had a big old tattoo on their chest. But you know, this, I mean, would this that be willing <laughs> to come into a live and 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 get his knowledge tested? I would. I, I honestly, honestly, if anyone, the uh, the black comic, uh, uh, what is it, the black comic lords, if y'all know him or bring him to this live, I would. I I don't break away from nothing. You know what I mean? But I'd rather that. him come. I, he has a free. Anybody? I, I'm just saying. He has a free invite to this live. If y'all want to tag him in this video, because I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? I'm on YouTube. If you want to tag him, say, hey, you know, they're talking about your video. Hey, he has a free invitation to come explain himself. Because I put this on, because I, I I look at I look at it like this, and I and I and I said this on 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 Twitter. Jack Kirby created T'Challa first before he created anything else. He created T'Challa first to be what? The Black Panther. The mantle of Black Panther is his. I don't care if Shuri put on the suit for nine panels. I don't care if Azuri had it on. You know what I'm saying? Why, why, you know, why, why T'Challa was getting ready to take over. It don't matter. It is his. We don't say this about Batman, even though Dick Grayson had it. Even though, you know, I, I don't care if it's Tim Drake Alfred, had it. Alfred, Alfred, Commissioner Gordon, Dick Grayson, Tim, Jason, Superman, like, damn, we, we, what, Martian Manhunter, like, we could go down this list all damn day long if we wanted to in regards to Batman. The thing is, is he's a comic book fan, so it ain't like we saying nothing new, but he read them damn issues. He won't Bruce. Thomas Wayne. Like, he can say with Damian Wayne if we talk about an alternate universe, because I bought that damn, um, that damn uh, 
graphic novel and everything like that. So he's a comic book fan. I didn't say that he did. So if you're a comic book fan, then you know you read those stories. You know, by and large, you did not look at anybody else being Batman, even when Commissioner Gordon lost, lost weight, got his crew cut and everything like that. You didn't say that was Batman. But you want to be so damn disingenuous. That's one damn thing coming from somebody that don't look like me. I For somebody that looked like me to be that damn disingenuous. I'm I'm looking for that. I'm looking for the um for the video. I'm not I'm not seeing uh for some reason I don't see your request either. No, I sent it on your messenger on, on, on Instagram. Yeah, I'm on I'm on IG right now and I don't I'm not seeing any message requests. Dre wait, Dre Mac Shaw with Mac the Shaw Mac the Shaw? No, 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 no. It's the real Dre Mac. It's all Hold one on. word. The real Dre Mac. <laughs> You send it to everybody, Phil. <laughs> hey, wait, listen, I make mistakes. What's that song? I'm only human, flesh and blood, a man. There we go. Say less. Say less. It's right there, right now. Is there? Okay. And while I'm thinking about it, while y'all getting all of y'all technical stuff together, something that 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 hit me. Um, y'all correct me if I'm wrong. But the vast majority of people who make up the recast the Chala movement and the vast majority of people who make up the anti-recast movement are of the same color. Exactly. Why exactly. do we infight like this? Why do we backbite and break down and tear down and try to destroy one another when we know we wouldn't ever do that? with any other character why is it acceptable for us to break our characters down and and the people who support our characters you know what i'm Stock saying Stock right. let me ask. You, you call it what you want yeah. to but it's ugly and 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 you can't tell me nobody sees it I, well i'm gonna I'm tell you from th this is just they my perspective subs. they simping for subs yeah. they simping for subs just think about it like this at the height of recast t'challa you know a lot of people who tagged that who had that hat set retouch recast t'challa were getting clicks they're getting views on their on their channels they were getting views on twitter people was responding to them everybody wanted to be a black panther fan you know what i'm saying and so on the opposite side because once you're a hero you also create the villain so the villains is like well if they're getting good because it's all about getting clout so they're clout chasing. Oh, well, I could just I could just troll and get clout because I don't really care. And if anyone who says, well, I don't really care. I just want a good video game. Then why are you why are you trying to be a lord of a, you know, if you're trying to talk about you're a black comic lord, then how are you when you don't even care about the source material that you're talking about in a video game? I'm playing Spider-Man. You know what I mean? I'm playing, playing a new Spider-Man game. If, 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 um, if if Spider Man, if, if I mean we didn't have Ben, you know Ben Riley, and we had all these other you know different type of Spider Man, but it still goes back to Peter Parker. Are you saying, well, I don't want to, I don't want to play that uh, that video game because Peter Parker is there. Anybody should be able to be Spider Man. I should be, I should be Spider Man. No, you're gonna go and you're gonna play that game because you want to play a Spider Man, Peter Parker, or Miles Morales. You know what I'm saying? You're not trying to put yourself into it. So why are you trying to put yourself or try to get anyone? The Black Panther mantle. If you're a comic lord and you know how important T'Challa is to the Black Panther mythos, you know, regardless. So that's just that's just my take on it. Without without wanting to uh, involve all of them, they just recently had a video where Kevin Gravel was on it. If that wasn't a recent video, they recently aired it. And in that video, Kevin Gravel, Chill Marger, helped me out because Grievous did a great job of talking about this subject he, he actually does he talked about empty representation how black actors need to play black characters to broaden the 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 awareness of those characters okay dude you just had that on your damn channel friday or thursday so how do you have that on your channel kevin gravo who gave us blue marble that's not his first time speaking on your channel and speaking to the significance of black representation. How do you have that talk to him 
48 hours later, take a black character. We're talking black, about black representation. This is a black character, a high profile, if not the highest profile black character in comics. We know with Marvel in comics, you take them off the table to decrease black representation and you use slander that's easily disproven towards a movement that wants the character in place for said representation. You lie, dude. You lie. And then, and I can't wait till Dre, Mac, till Dre play the video. You I, found, then, I got the video. I got to play it. Oh, so damn arrogant. Passive aggressive. You can't even say my bad. It makes it hard to take the organization that you're a part of seriously going forward. Has anyone sent an invitation link to him, to Herschel specifically? Not Paul, not Rich. And that's what, what I'm are saying. we doing here, though? I, what are we doing here, though? I was going to ask that. I do not think I, that it is the whole of black. Oh, it's, it's him. Collectively, it's just that individual. But when you when, when you go on, okay. But why so, did we do this? Why did we all collectively decide what we're gonna do is repost it, quote tweeting it, sharing the message that we disagree with to more people? Isn't that counterproductive? Well, also, no, well, it's can, not you, counterproductive. You know I'm, I'm gonna tell you why it's not counterproductive. Because of the people who you, would have otherwise what? not have seen a video on TikTok, and now here it is on Twitter. We were told and tagged, "Get him, guys, get him!" And rather than saying, "Hey, Herschel." Come to come, come. Let's talk. We can actually make a video out of it, and we can t we can recite exactly what Theo was just talking about. And instead, we're not doing that. Well, I think I, yeah, Shiro, I said at the beginning of the stream on the on the initial video, and I said at the beginning of the stream, if anyone knows him, you can send him a I send him an invite. Matter of fact, I'll put the invite inside of the chat. And he could come here and we can speak on well, it. What, I said if, that what if he's busy beginning. tucking his kids in doing bedtime? Hey, I, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I'm not an X Man. I, I can't see what he's doing. But what, right, I'm right. is, what, 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 what I'm saying is, is that for one, when you put something in the zeitgeist, which is, which is Twitter, when you put something on, on TikTok, whatever, I don't get, I don't care what social media platform you do it, you're gonna, you're gonna get. It either you're going to get praised or you're going to get ridiculed. It is what it is, right? So when you put something out and it sounds so condescending, people are going to respond to it whether you want to or not. That's the way it is. So you yeah, can't you put something that, you know, so you can't put something now and then be like, oh well, no, I don't want that smoke. Or you know what I'm saying? Or why y'all attacking me? Or why can't we work this thing out? No, you put it out there for people to respond. You knew yeah. what you were doing when you said what you said. So yeah. I'm giving I, I would give you the opportunity because I said I'm gonna make a response video to this to give told my him? explanation. To and chill you told that already. To okay. point, chill. I comment on the video and I explained to him via comments, not via a video, via a comment, the significance, the importance of him, who he is getting it right with the casual fan. I explained that to him. I agree. Took my time. Took my time. What he did was just like he did not give recast to Chala the benefit of the doubt in the initial video, he, po he didn't respond to me in comment. He responded being video. Dre's going to play the video for you. In that right. video, which he put up there, tag me in it for everybody and their mama to see, he's being passive aggressive and condescending. He even called me a casual in the video. So at that point in time, I've tried to be a gentleman and talk to you and explain the significance of this character. No, what you chose to do is you chose to go stunt on social media paint me in this box as somebody who's obsessive about T'Challa, don't care about any other black characters besides T'Challa, and that I could be a casual because I may or may not know the significance of Casper Code. I may or may not read the comic book. You know, I would argue against caring about a Marvel character who's black, who's not T'Challa. I would say, why waste your time and your dollars concentrated on the character who's actually going to make an impact and is the is the one who's going to be appearing in some of those summer events like Axe Judgment Day. I don't see the other ones there. It's, it's T'Challa and Storm. And if you're wasting your money on anyone else, I'm sorry to 
this is these are my thoughts, not anyone else's thoughts. But you guys are wasting your money if you don't care about care if you care about characters like uh, Miles Morales, who's a secondary Spider Man. Guys like who are have a built in reason to not be primary. Here, that me, has nothing to do put... with this topic. I like how Eric put out the popcorn. If you're looking for videos here, just share my screen. I'm on the TikTok. Here. No, I, I'm, 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 uh, you already, uh, found the response videos to Theo because that's what I'm trying to play. Because I got TikTok? that. Yeah, he reposted it to take, and that's okay, what I'm saying. It. Share my screen right now. And here's all the TikTok videos. Am I not? Yeah, there I am. So this was the first one that we all just talked uh, talked about here, right here, and this was our response to Buckmeister. Go to the second one. Go to the second one. Go to the okay. Second to the left. That one. Very generous to you because we're both Black Panther fans. We're just maybe one person just obsesses more than the other. I don't know, but listen, I'll tell you this much, man. It's inserted because it's very, very similar to the recast the child in the movies. Plain and simple. Oh, and by the way, if you don't know anything about Casper Cole and why I didn't uh, go on about that, it's probably because you're casual anyways. Not you, maybe, but people need to go read for themselves. As well, there's been tons of different Black Panthers, and Sherry has been a Black Panther, so a lot of people have held that mantle. Blase, blase. We all know that, right? We also know that last year, guess what happened? A lot of people called for a uh, boycott of the Wakanda Forever movie. Sounds familiar, then... Kind of like what people are trying to do this year. And guess what? Here we have it. Not a lot of people signed this. I doubt they would. Um, but again, a lot of people are trying to, 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 to kind of stop this or slow this down, boycott, whatever you want to call it. It's out there. But it's really, really about recasting T'Challa. That's what it's really, that's, that's what this is all about. And for me, I'm going to support. I don't care if somebody's not going to support. Okay. Um, I'm here for black superheroes at large. I'm not just here for one guy. So, but that's me. That's me. I'm not saying. I'm not saying anybody else is. That's that's me. Listen, I'm gonna be very. So I can again, see Herschel alive. Oh, sorry. Go. So again, he posted up my petition. Say, ain't nobody really gonna, you know. Let me take your face. Let me uh, remove the video so I can have your face. Um, he posted up my petition. Said, ain't nobody really gonna sign that. Whatever. Dismissal. He just here for he's just here for black superheroes. Doesn't care. And just like how chill, how you said it, it, it matters. Black representation matters. Don't blackwash a character just to get black people. You know what I'm saying? As a superhero, don't have Wonder Man uh, black when all you know for this whole entire time he's white. You don't like the the, the uh, even though that you like Jonathan Majors. For the simple fact he's playing a white character and everything is going to back, go back to status quo, it's a problem. I have the same energy because if it was here, I would have that same energy for Black Panther. Why? Because he is black representation. He is important. Yes, we need to recast the child. Yes, we need to make sure that he is a title figure in this uh, of this comic. There's no, all this Casper Cole, uh, 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 Azuri, all this other, the main focus is T'Challa. He is the mantle. Why in every single comic that he is the main focus of that? Why do we always want to say, oh, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. E-Man, I had a problem with that. It doesn't matter. I just want the child. It doesn't matter about the mantle. So now you have people like him telling all his casual fans that don't read the comics, who don't spend their money, they're saying, oh, well, just anybody can have it. Hell, Megatron can have it. And he's not even part of this universe. Yes, I got a problem with that. And if he was here, I have that same smoke because I love being in the smoker session, even though I don't smoke wet cigarettes. <laughs> Latarian. Well, all I got to say about that is man, <laughs> man said he was here for black superheroes. D didn't he say that? We all heard him say that in the video. Didn't he, he say did. he was here for black superheroes? Okay, so ain't that contradictory? Absolutely, all day, and that was my point. I mean, flat out, he got, is that is it or is it not? He don't know how to say he wrong. Said, Carol, you're absolutely I'm right. here for black superheroes, but be roasting the shit out of everybody that's down for the job. Here's what winds but up he's happening. here for black superheroes. I'm gonna stop. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be screaming and hollering like Dre was because this is his show, and I don't want to get no, loud. Dre, to your point. I want to be calm. To your point. 
Black okay. Panther, T'Challa, 2016-2018 is famous. Okay, well, we all in the social media business and everything like that. So you black, you hit your wagon up to T'Challa. Well, I'm going to go ahead and keep it a thousand. The one person that everybody wanted to run behind, he said, sure, he's some type of goddess right now. I was I was watching the dude when he said it. I said, she's some type of goddess right now? That's that's where you ain't picked up one damn book. What you're going off of is hearsay. Your channel, when it comes to T'Challa, based off that statement alone, is basically you hitching your wagon up to a character, going off of what somebody say. Somebody told you that Shuri is basically a goddess. Those within recast T'Challa, we know she's a griot. We know that she's been the Black Panther. We know what T'Challa did to bring her back from being near death. You can't speak on that. No different than Black comic lore. Or no, I'm not gonna say that. No different than this individual right here. What you say his name is George Herschel. Herschel. Oh Lord, he got a lot of comments with Herschel. So he he no different than the dude named Herschel Walker in Georgia that's going around here just spreading. <laughs> spread okay, so you got him. You got him sitting right there. We got to explain. We we having a conversation. You talking about black representation? You say Casper Cole. I don't know one damn Black Panther fan before they mentioned Zuri, T'Chaka, Sion, <laughs> Mosi, Basinga. I don't know one Black Panther fan that will come out their mouth and Casper Cole would be the first person they use as a reference point as far as somebody else that wore a damn mantle. That told me every damn thing about you right then and there. Then the fact that we all hang in the same circles on Twitter. Thank you, Chill, for being right here. Bro, you didn't see us on Twitter. You didn't see us on Twitter. That's why I called you stupid early because you're aware. You know who the hell we are. So you want to go. I'm talking to you. Say you being generous. Me being generous was me commenting and not doing a video. You say you want to be generous to me and then call me a casual. That was an insult to not only me, but the whole entire recast of Charlie, because low key, that's how you feel about the whole damn movement. You think we casual. Chili couldn't even be bothered to walk back a damn statement about playing video games. The first video was that you play video games so you know nothing about the damn character. That's him, Mr. Herschel. Then he moved from that to you don't really know anything about the character. Chill, brother, help me out. Ain't the natural progression from reading the comic book? is to play in the video games with the comic book character and watching the cartoons with the comic book character and collecting the action figures of the comic book character. That type of progression would be useful to advancing a character's popularity, uh, telling his stories and familiarizing it. The same way we know that Bruce Wayne's parents died, the same way we know how the black goop got on Spider-Man, he marries Mary Jane, the same way we know like those storylines and stuff, yeah, it, it'd be to the benefit of making this character and brand more popular if it's always him in video games and it's uh his his mythology is spread with no interference from other characters within his franchise that would be beneficial so what does a black panther fan have against that but he's saying that because the character is going to be a black character it's enough like success and i'm saying that these distractions or these subs, these um, they detract, they dilute the brand. Anything that's Black Panther that isn't him, I'm saying right now, and I and unequivocally, I do not apologize for this. Whether it's Shuri, whether it's whatever movement you want to get down with, women are important. Anything that's taken away from T'Challa is interfering from him being in a meaningful position to actually create impact. Uh, you guys all remember that scene in Creed Two where they were watching a bunch of people and Creed was talking to like this boxing promoter. He's like, how many box boxers are legendary greats? And how many do you think they know? Exactly. How many superheroes are great? But how many do you think they know? The regular everyday people, they know Superman, Batman, Spidey. It, we, we, they don't begin with Black Panther. And to get Black Panther, the Black Panther, this specific character to that meaningful place, these methods, all Panthers matters, guys. This woman Panther, you can name your own Panther in the video game. All of these methods are regressive. I don't disagree. I, I, I don't I don't I don't disagree. I just I don't know why I understand what you're saying. I do. Unequivocally. I think we all understand. I think somebody with I want to say somebody with a half a brain 
would be able to understand, process what you're saying. What I'm befuddled by is someone who claims the name of being a black comic lord. I'm befuddled. Someone who hangs in the same circles, travels in the same circle, thus is familiar with us as you are, would make such an irresponsible statement. Then, when challenged, when challenged, would double down with another irresponsible statement. You're a black comic lord. I don't get that. I don't understand why the question didn't just stay with, would you buy the game or not? Why you had to disparage black recast T'Challa with lies. Then when get confronted with those lies, you double down, maintain a passive aggressive tone, then continue to insult the integrity of the person who came at you in the comment section and the organization he represents, the movement he represents, with once again, baseless accusations, all in the auspices, the claims that you love all black superheroes. How? I want to know why. So I wish he was here right now because him getting a video game ain't the issue. I don't care about that. Exactly. You do what you want to do with your money. It was the depths in which he went to justify him spending his money the way he want to. He had to lie about it. He had to insult about it. He had to disparage about it. And us being black, I want to know why from the black comment lord, that was his go-to move. Exactly. Exactly. That's, that's what I want to know. And I want to know when talking to somebody who presents themselves as being just as articulate, just as, as knowledgeable as he is, why he chose to double down as opposed to saying, wait a minute. We, like I said, we travel in the same circles. I can't insult anybody's intelligence on this damn panel because I've talked to you too damn much. See, this is my this is my, this is my thing, Theo. Uh, uh, to quote my man, the great Kevin Samuels, when somebody uses shame, insults, guilt, and the need to be right, you know what I mean? That's a problem. So when the first, so the first thing you to say, well, I thank you, you know, for coming on to my, you know, for coming on here. Let me just explain my position. And he already was saying, oh, well, you know, you, you, you might be a casual. I'm not saying you, but you might just be a casual. Well, you don't know what I am. You're taking, you're, you're, you're taking what you know, you, you, it, it's like my man said. You know you fucked up, right? So you said you bought a bottle of beer at eleven forty-five, and now it's ten forty-five. You don't know which statement you made. You know you fucked up, right? Go ahead, Theo. I mean, go ahead, uh, uh, B. When was Casper Cole the Black Panther? Anybody? 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 I, I know it was listen, I know it was doing anybody crazy. on this panel tell me when Casper Cole, not when he had a Black Panther costume on. Because he wasn't the when Black Panther. Was Black Panther Casper costume. Cole the Black Panther. He I was said during the Marvel Panther. Nice line. I, uh, during the Marvel's nice line where he was walking around with a gun with the Black Panther outfit on. Yeah, but he, he was wasn't still the Black Panther. Cole. That, he was still the whole, Casper Cole. Everybody now see Black Panther fans know that. We know that costume wasn't even damn whole. We know that. <laughs> we know we know that. See, when you try and preach, you got to make sure when you talking that when you walk into a church and you the <laughs> pastor, make sure it ain't the church that you walking in ain't full of just pastors. It's it's hey, different Kamoyo, walking into a church. Hey, hey Kamoyo Kid got the right answer. <laughs> Kamoyo Kid got the right answer. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get to y'all comments. This is moving so slow. You know, it's, it's different. That's the right you answer. Kamoyo Kamoyo Kid. That's the right answer. I, I, mm, yeah, okay. Anyway, Ca Casper Cole and tons of people. Okay. Hey, right. uh, uh, I Mark, like to hear uh, those tons ATL, of people were. I'm about to say, uh, ATL Bird, are, are you, uh, you're part of the Black Comic Lore too, right? Uh, click the link if you can. If you want to, you can come in and click the link and, uh, come on to this conversation. Now, I'm going to tell y'all like this. I don't know this brother personally. So I'm not going to attack this brother personally. You ought to have said as far as uh, he ugly or something. I'm not, I don't do that. What I right. do, 
is whatever comment that you have, I'm a debater, I'm a debate your comment. Whatever you put out there, that's what I'm going for. I'm not saying, dude, it's stupid, you know what I'm saying, or he's this, he's that. No, nah, I'm going based off of what you said and how it came across. And if the brother, like I said, that's the way that I use my platform. I never attack someone personally. When I have a problem with, like I said, I don't have no problem with E-Man, but then I got caught up in what he was saying about the man. So it had to sit back and like, wait a minute, hold up, wait a minute. When this comic, when this, when this comic, and I always pull this comic because it's right next to me. When this comic debuted, right? It was still about T'Challa. When this comic debuted, when Jack introduced this comic, was anybody else? I mean, let me just ask. When Jack said it was so important because he had a black friend, but he had no comic book hero for him. Did he make anybody else Black Panther? Was anybody nope. else a hero? No, he didn't. Do that. He didn't do that. So, 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 sure, he wasn't in here, right? What, what, no. what, what, what about a Siri? No. Uh, what, what, what about Cash for Cole? Was he there? No, what? No. Matter, matter, matter of fact, was Everett Ross in there? Anybody? Anybody? <laughs> so, stop making it. So, stop using and, that. Anybody can have the mantle just because of what Marvel did, what Marvel and, Studios and, did. And, Dre, to your point, this is where I look at it. We've all been raised, we've all been taught right from wrong. We have been. Got raised by parents, either one parent, two parents, right from wrong. Don't lie. Tell the truth. That's what we yeah. all got taught. Know what you're talking about. Know what you're talking about. If you don't know what you're talking about, don't say nothing. We got taught that. Yeah. I, I didn't got hit in my mouth before. Be quiet when grown folks is talking and everything like that. Throughout my life, whether it was in school, whether it was in the military, whether it was in college, whether it was at a professional job, I've always, especially when you talk about having inspector generals come through researching what you got going on. You got to be on point. So throughout my life, I've been taught to know what you're talking about. Own what you're saying. Don't lie. Even when I've lied in the past, but you know when you're doing wrong. As critical thinking people, we all know when we've done wrong. Whether you choose to tell it to somebody else or something totally different, we all know when we do wrong. Here's what so I'll people, take. Hmm? No, I thought you were done. Go ahead. So me for mine, if I give you credit for being intelligent, I can't give you credit for being ignorant. If I give you credit for being intelligent, anything you say after that, it's not due to ignorance, it's due to stupidity, because you know better. Appreciate it, Spoiler Kings. Appreciate you it. You know better. Remember. If you're ignorant, that means you don't know, I get to educate you. But when you be so damn braggadocious, you talk like that, like you do know, okay, well, you're not ignorant then. You, you know exactly what you're saying. I'm going to hold you accountable as I will anybody and everybody, including myself. Because if I don't know what I'm talking about, here come D-Real. If I don't know what I'm talking about, here come Chill. Here, if they don't come see about me, there's Kamoyo Kid, there's um, D. Steasel sitting right there. So if I got to be right, and I'm going to own it, social media influence. Now I have an ass. Hey, Roland. <laughs> you know what? I just thought about something. Then you got to be right, too. I'm sorry. You got to be right, I just right thought too. about something. I, I actually have had an interaction with Herschel on my page. And I think it was something to the effect of, like, he was telling me my knowledge had to be 100% flawless. <clears throat> I had to know every iota of information or knowledge there is about the Black Panther to consider myself an expert on the Black Panther. And I think it was my maybe one instance where I was not aware that back in 1970, for like two issues, T'Challa was the chairman of the Avengers. So therefore, because I was not aware of that knowledge, I don't know nothing about the Black yeah, Panther. Everybody knows that, D-Real. Okay, so so if I take a <laughs> test, so if I take a test and get a 99. I failed. That's just that one percent that you got wrong. That's the most important question. So yeah, you failed. <laughs> That's how it works. You, you, I, I just check it. I just checking to make sure. I just checking to make sure. So so don't listen to me anymore. I'm not an expert. Noted. <laughs> so the the mantle thing. If we had the volume of Black Panther, volume meaning like quantity. If we had so much as much as Batman, do we want to be creative and give the mantle off to somebody else? That would be an understandable thing to do. Let's change up th things. But we don't have that. It's a battle to get 
a movie with two hundred million dollars of a cast completely of uh, darker skin, like the like the sun hit them or something like that. When that's so scarce, we don't play around. I don't speak it for me. I don't play around with other people, other characters within the franchise being the leads of that because I know it's going to take another four years or maybe more. Because uh, hey, Mark, let, let me let's Mark go. Go ahead, Mark. I don't Turn even... your sound on. We can't hear you, brother. Go ahead, put your sound on. Sound. I'm saying that when there's a lot of Black Panther, then we can d d experiment. But at this point in time, the character's just getting off the ground, and we're making video games without him, and we're doing things to make you think of Black Panther, and not of a character, but more so of a brand, diluting it and de-emphasizing the powerful, concentrated push that it needs to be, you are causing harm. There is not space today for Mantle Mantle. Now, if we got two movies, like the Black Panther number two featuring T'Challa, and then a Shuri movie the next year, and it wasn't interfering with the progression of the greatest, most impactful, popular dark skin character that's ever happened in movies. I'm all for it, but that's not the case that we're at. Marcus, good evening, gentlemen. How are you guys doing? What's going on, man? Day, not Very much. Amazing. Thanks for uh, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for having me on. I, you know, I've got the link on Twitter talking about the conversation that was going on. I didn't realize you guys were live. And then I heard the uh, Black Comic Lord's name mentioned, and unbeknownst to me, the individual who put out that, I guess it was a TikTok, discussing the video game and, you know, that he was okay with uh, basically T'Challa being gone was a surprise to me. I don't know that gentleman. The only person I know really in Black Comic Lord's is Paul. Let me back up. Black Comic Lords pretty much started on Facebook a couple of years ago. I was a member of the group on Facebook um, and as it started to build and grow. Then me and Paul um, and somebody else, a couple other people, part of the group, started doing YouTube stuff. And the lives that you guys know that we do on Fridays, talking about specifically Black comic books and Black comic book characters. Um, I got kicked off of Facebook about a year ago. For no, for no reason, for anything that I did, they booted me off because my account got hacked. So I don't know what's going on in Facebook at all. The only thing that I know is what Paul and I do. And as you guys know, Paul and I are basically, you know, T'Challa down, recast T'Challa. It's all about, you know, that specific character as well as the brand itself. I think I heard uh, Chill talking just now about how with T'Challa being gone, that somewhat dilutes the brand, right? He is the focus, and that's what a lot of casuals don't know. It's not about a mantle. We understand that for thousands of years in the fake history of Wakanda, there have been men and women who have been the Black Panther. They have held that mantle. But here in the real world, not Marvel 616, but here in the world that we currently exist in, T'Challa is the Black Panther. He was the first Black Panther in the real world when he made his appearance in Fantastic Four 1966. Everything that has come after that has been built around his mythos, building him up, Wakanda, everything. It's not about the mantle. It's not about Wakanda. Everything has been about T'Challa. Yes, Shuri has had the quote-unquote mantle of Black Panther for a very brief period of time. His uncle, Cyan, had the mantle of Black Panther when T'Challa was a youth and after T'Chaka had been murdered and T'Challa was too young to be the ruler. Everybody knows that. They have, mm -hmm. I guess it's annually challenge day. It was somewhat discussed in the movie that anybody mm -hmm. had the ability to come in and challenge the current Black Panther. Which and was in Black Panther, Panther number one, was in Black Panther number one during Reginald Hunlin's run. Yes, yes. The first the, the first the first challenge day. Right. Uh, and, and spoiler kings, if you want to come in, most most definitely click that link. I I like to get your uh I get I like I said it's Avengers Assemble. You could come in too. Right. So I mean anybody could be the Black Panther if they defeated the Black Panther in ritualistic challenge. But I always had an issue with that, by the way, and I apologize because I was yeah. like, Okay, I understand what you're trying to do, but what average human is taking down the Black Panther? And that, and that's part of the issue. And that's the thing. It's like if you as a regular human being 
without the benefit of the heart-shaped herb, can take down our ruler who has the heart-shaped herb, then yeah, you probably deserve to be our, to carry on for that mantle. That makes sense. I get it. I understand it. But at the end of the day, everything has been about T'Challa. And, you know, when the movie came out in 2018, he took the character, thanks to Chadwick Boseman, God rest his soul, he took the character to a level unbefore heard of for this specific character. His first live action actor. He died, unfortunately, in August of 2020. All of that stuff came to a screeching halt. I'm not a gamer, but my understanding is that you cannot play T'Challa or you may not be able to play T'Challa in the Black Panther game, which doesn't make sense to me. If you have a Batman game, you are going to play as Bruce Wayne. If you have a Spider-Man game, I would imagine that you're going to either play as Peter Parker or Miles, uh, Miles Morales, right? So the concept of the idea that you would have a game centered around this character who's been around for almost 60 years, but not be able to play as the main one doesn't make sense to me. And it's all about synergy. They're trying to make everything combined and together. And that's what's one of the sad things about what uh, Ryan Coogler did with the movie in killing off T'Challa when that should not have been done. They should have simply recast the character and kept it moving. Even if they didn't want um even if they didn't want him in the second movie have him off have him captured have him injured whatever the case may be don't kill the character and it's unfortunate that we find ourselves in this position that we're in now let me let me respond to some uh i, I just thought about something when he posted up the video or in his video he posted up my petition not once did he go over just like how like when the recast of Chala was going on and people anti-recasters never going back to the actual petition itself where i said how important t'challa was because he was made to be the black panther just like how kal el is made, made to be superman how clark like how, you see how easily that rolls up bruce wayne oh that's batman you know what i mean so T'Challa should be synonymous with Black Panther. Just like well, if you say this. Reed Richards, that's Mr. Fantastic. Watch this. You see how Pastor just broke it down? Mm hmm Like you you if 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 he was talking to a casual, he's breaking it down just like that. You you if you're the expert, you cannot be irresponsible and just glaze over stuff. He explained Casper Cole. He explained the breakdown of the Black Panthers. He explained the timeline in between, okay, this is when T'Challa really existed. And if you want to take it, like, that's what I'm looking at this guy for. Like, you have a responsibility to do this. But instead of saying, hey, you know what? You're absolutely right. Let me, let me, let me make sure I hit O'Boyle and let him know. Because, chill, to your point, Casper Cole don't matter. Low-key shorty don't matter. And if we're talking about them, the only reason why we're talking about them is because, like you said, Patrick, it's all stemming from T'Challa. It's around T'Challa. How many times was Casper Cole sharing the comic book with T'Challa? Same thing with shorty. We got comic books, but T'Challa ain't with none of them. <laughs> so I did not understand. Still don't. That's why I'm like, that irresponsibility thing, that passive-aggressive thing. You want to buy the video game just to buy it? I ain't mad at that. I, I'm never finna. You want? I'm not. I'm not gonna be that person. But the That's fact, Mark, that you so ain't hard, that Mark? Huh? Ain't that Mark? Me, me, me. Yeah. Patrick. Did you call it? Did you call it? Patrick. 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 I did. Patrick. I got it. Wrong. I'm sorry, Mark. I'm sorry, Mark. Yeah, I was just worried about that. Mark, 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 Mark. That damn it, Mark. That's gonna be the last time because Kim Martin gonna beat my ass if I get it wrong again because he keeps telling me, Mark. So you know, Leo is referring to. Uh, edited part of a video we made and when I said oh you said the wrong name and I edited that out to, to whoever he misnamed and it's, no one saw that no one needs to know that if that happened listen <laughs> I, I, I don't like doing that so I, I gotta own it so my thing was if you know that you just want to buy the video game man just buy the video game man god bless you but why did you go so hard to disparage a move I'm gonna say a movement what what and then I really want to say he didn't know what to say when I said something to him because at first I was the casual and then I may or may not know. It's like, dude, just say you was wrong. 
hey man, I, I you know what I misspoke. Like that can't be that damn hard. It can't be, but I guess it is. Well, I wish you like broke you... it down like you did, though, Mark. I wish you to broke it down to that guy telling him the 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 uh the role of Casper Cole in Marvel Comics. I wish he would have broke it down to that guy just like that, so we don't have people out here thinking it's just a damn mantle and everybody and their mama didn't want it. Yeah. See, I, I I personally think it was just he was looking for some attention. He got it because again, when you post up something to me, when you post up something on TikTok. You know what you're doing. When I used to make my videos on TikTok and I knew that I was looking for smoke, I knew damn well what I was doing. I was looking for the smoke. I was looking for interaction. I wanted it. You know what I'm saying? Because I was bored and I wanted some back and forth. Now, if I do say something, knowing me, I'm going to be damn near 100% correct because I'm going to have my facts backed up on facts, backed up on facts. I'm going to make sure to be able to bring my references in, all the stuff to be able to start a debate. That's what I'm doing it for, to see who wants to debate. So, yeah, he probably wanted to debate. But, again, if you really want to debate, I say come here. Because when you use I, – I, I, this is just to me. If someone like if, if, if Blue, you know, uh, came in under the skies of the Dre Mac show and was talking crazy, and then they come and me be like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Your man over here talking crazy. Well, we're going to have that conversation. You know what I mean? You can't have that conversation under the, the 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 you know the black comic lords and then run and hide your hand. Take you can't throw stones and hide your hands. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. I I wish he was here. I want to be able to have a conversation because when you're talking about black representation, right? And I'm down for black representation from comic books, but I also want the right comics. I want another. I want Luke Cage. You know what I'm saying? I want T'Challa, Black Panther. You know what I mean? I want that. I want Misty Knight. I want these. But I want Storm. The cool black those characters. <laughs> yeah, I want the I want these characters. You know what I'm saying? So when you devalue those characters, you just that's just like saying anybody can be Storm. No, the hell they can't. It's Nobody can. No, it, it, yeah, the mantle of the mantle of bishop. Anybody. I mean, he black, so anybody can be bishop. You know what I'm saying? No, stop, stop doing I, I don't that. Know why we, I don't know why we had these conversations about T'Challa, and we don't had them about Bruce. We don't had them about. Mary no. Allen. Um, no, we don't have them about Oliver Queen. Yeah, um, man, we don't, ever, we don't ever, have ever, them about ever. Logan and all of Logan's children. Maybe Hal Jordan and John Stewart, point, but other um, than that, yeah, yeah, you need to chill. Don't don't do that. Oh, uh, but <laughs> <laughs> we don't. <laughs> we, don't have this com- we don't have this conversation about Spider Man. These are all characters where everybody and their mama didn't want a damn thing, but. What perplexes me? Bewildered. Uh, European, my European brothers are never finna have that conversation with me. My my European brothers, they not finna ever have that conversation with me about what are they characters. My 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 African brothers, they not finna have a conversation with me about a European character. Now, so I'm trying to figure out where this all this bravado come from to say, well, it's okay. We're not gonna talk about theirs, but we're gonna kill ours off. The reason why I think that they mention that is because factually. In the fiction of Wakanda, it was in fact a mantle, like the mayor, like the king, whatever the case may be. Different people have held that specific position. Unfortunately, due to Ryan Coogler's grief and Nate Moore's incompetence, they allowed Ryan Coogler to kill off the character and glom onto the quote unquote mantle aspect of the character. Because your casual fans don't really know that, okay? Okay, well, put them off to the side because he wasn't speaking for casual fans. He was speaking as, that's why I said I made sure I distant y'all from him because I, I just did not believe it. And I don't I don't believe it that. I didn't want to, I wanted to do what I wish would have been done for us, give the benefit of the doubt that this individual is speaking by and large for themselves. So it, let's let's push the casual off. He was speaking as an expert. That's the problem that I'm finding is that you got way too many so-called experts with casual knowledge. So, like I said, I don't know this dude and I don't know his history. I don't know that I've ever interacted with him on social media at all. So I I can't speak for him. And I'm not here sitting here today on Sunday speaking for black comic lords. I'm speaking as ATL blurred who social, who uh, does some stuff for them. You know, I'm not, 
not a paid endorser or anything of that nature. It's just that in this particular situation, there are a lot of people, unfortunately, who are not like the five of us. And by that, I mean, they're not steeped in the culture of comic books. They're not steeped in the knowledge of the history of those uh, those characters. And then when you have people who are supposedly experts saying stuff like that, it's disappointing and it's disingenuous because those aren't actual facts. And no, Kevin Feige did not kill off T'Challa. That was Ryan Coogler. Ryan Coogler made that decision. I'm with you, Cornelius. To by Feige, Feige, however you say his name, but Coogler and Nate Moore made that decision. Okay. Kevin and Feige it, still signed it off. That is correct. <laughs> Here's the issue. Let me just say I thought, this. No, I thought that was it. Let's keep it unrecast. No, 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 no. no I, I, I need him to say this. Go ahead, Mark. Say, say yeah, it, Mark. Say it. Go ahead, Louis. Tired of people saying this on social media that it was Faggy, Faggy, Faggy who killed him off. At the end of the day, from every interview I've seen, every every story I've read, Faggy gave them the opportunity to make whatever decision that they felt was best for the franchise. Yes. By that, he said, "You don't have to make the movie now. You can recast. You can kill him off. Whatever you want to do, that's on you." Ryan Coogler was grief stricken at the death of his so-called friend that he didn't know was sick. And then he rewrote the movie to kill off the character and incorporate his quote unquote friend's tragic death into a story so they can make a profit off of it. Then mm. Nate Moore, mm. who is the producer of this particular franchise, agreed with it. So Kevin Feige being the white dude didn't want to tell the two black dudes, okay, you know mm. what? You Black dudes are wrong in how to deal with this black character. So I, the white dude who's in charge, am going to override you. That's not what happened. Okay. He sat back and said, okay, if that's what you think is best, that's what we're going to do. And then that's what happened in, uh, and that's what happened in Black Panther 2, which I still to this day have not seen, will never see. So me- yes, I blame Coogler, but I blame more and more because he allowed it to happen. He was the exactly. boss. He should have said, hey, you know what? Go take some time off. We'll put you as a producer credit. I'll find exactly. somebody right and direct. Let me tell you how exactly. believable that is, Bill. I'm working at a community center. We have a the supervisor over the community center, youth community center, was a white male. The assistant supervisor was a black female, and everybody else was black. They were letting people use the N-word and the B-word, kids, all day long. I go in and I have a conversation with the white facility supervisor. He says to me, he says, Theo, you can go in there and tell them that you're going to handle it. They can't say the word. He said, but I'm white. Look, look, look at me. How's that going to sound coming from me? I said, you know what? Say less. I got it. Because he, he, what, what is, there was nothing. Yeah, I heard the story before, Theo. I, I know, you did, I know. You did, you did, you did, you did. I'm sorry. But yeah, what? You don't you you ain't that that gummy you ain't the only one here. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like I understand <laughs> to those in the audience the 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 helplessness of of a white person dealing with a black situation where you have supposedly black leadership around you that should get it right, should get it right. Because if you don't, what we finna say by Kevin Feige to get that wrong? What we've been saying? Can I speak on the disingenuous? rebuttals that it's a mantle within the fiction like the storyline you know every time someone dies there's a new person taking the mantle those are the rules in wakanda so it's not a problem that's very absent from what is being argued it's this is a very racial topic and talking about how with yeah within the fiction you know there's always gonna be new black panther it's it never addresses the facts it never addresses the the meat the my my points about progression and how we halt it when we stop using the character talking about something within fiction is their route and yes disingenuous yes it's fake it's it, it's sickening actually it's like it if to well i'm not gonna insult anyone particularly but whenever i do you see it i just roll me. my eyes what you're gonna insult me dog i mean i stutter so you know you already you already st- you insult me all the time, Jill. I'm cool with you. Yeah, but I didn't want to call someone else specifically, but I always get, no, you guys know, it's a, you know it's a mantle, right? In the comics, it's a mantle. Not the point. Green Lantern is also a lantern ring. You know how I feel about that. It's a 
something that gets passed on. That's not the point. We're talking about real life, real implication implications here, and amplifications too. Yeah. You, see, you, you, no, go ahead. You go not, ahead. You're not wrong because, like, honestly, doing reflective thinking, we can't grow to child of four. We keep getting stuck here. He doesn't have for somebody who's been around since 1966. He don't have the issues to even back that up because we keep getting stuck. That character being who he is already has a limited amount of people that's going to support him. Chill, you said something the other week, man. I didn't care for when you said it, but I couldn't argue with you. When you said the book, that was when I said, okay, well, if who going to fight for T'Challa if you don't? If you want the character around, you got to fight for the character. You're going to have to step up. You're going to have to do more. Okay. Well, the only way we get to do more is if we focus on T'Challa. If we can get him to that Superman status, that Batman status, then we could look at everybody else. But since Mr. Smith has been living, who turns 61 next year, we've been at this point where we're trying to elevate this character. And damned if I can't understand it, why the roadblocks to getting T'Challa where he needs to be, those roadblocks look like me. You know, I don't know if Nate Moore is really a comic book fan because he's on record no. saying no. Yeah, he's on record saying that he doesn't want directors who have knowledge of the source material, which doesn't make sense to me at all. Um, something in one of the comments just a moment ago, the Kamoyo kid stated that Kevin Fahey was in charge when the decision was made. And you're absolutely right. He was. And as the leader, the, you know, buck stops with him. But you have to understand, going back to what I was saying a moment ago, everything involved in the decision. He's not the one who made the decision. It was Ryan Coogler, who was the writer, and it was Nate Moore, who was the direct producer. You're not going to have a white dude in a situation like this overriding two black dudes. They're the ones who made the decision. He did not direct them to make the decision that they made, even though he acquiesced to it. So you have to be clear. There's context in this discussion. They even admitted to it, though, um, Mark, to your point. Uh, he went on what Ringiverse, um, Nate Moore did, and he said, I spoke to Ryan about it, and it was a, a decision we made in a matter of minutes. I ain't even talked to nobody else. So, he, yeah, he... He's admitted it. <laughs> you right. know, to your point, he's admitted it. Right, right. And it, it should not have been done. And any other producer worth his or her salt who saw the amount of money that that first movie made coming in, the amount of popularity that that character had, would have wanted to continue it. And again, I'm not saying that I'm, I was about to lie to you guys, and I don't like lying. Good. Yes, the character should have been immediately recast. We should have had a T'Challa in Black Panther 2. However, that being said, I understand the notion and desire not to come back right after the Chadwick Boseman death and have somebody else. I understand that. But there are two different ways that this could have been handled in a very respectful way and not turning a real-life death into a money-making adventure, right? Mm -hmm. Number one, you said it during the blip. If it's set during the blip, you can have, even though I haven't watched it, if you set it during the blip, you can have the exact same movie, right? You can. Second, mm -hmm. make it comic book accurate. You have the character injured, incapacitated for a period of time. Book two, movie two, is all about Shuri trying to get revenge, whatever, for her brother. As an after credit scene, you see T'Challa recuperate, and it's the new actor. And then you have him, him, the character, pop up in Doctor Strange 3 or Spider-Man 4 or Thor, whatever. And then you go forward with his third movie, you know, in 2022 or whatever it was. But understand this. Spider-Man and T'Challa were introduced in the same movie, and Spider-Man has already had a trilogy, which is absolutely a shame. He, he T'Challa, is the most important black character, comic book character ever. He's only had one live action iteration. Swamp Thing, who nobody gives a damn about, has had two live action incarnations. Stargirl, who is a D list character, has had three live action incarnations. You know, and I can just go down the list 
of characters who do not mean as much in comic book history that T'Challa does, who was so casually thrown away by black creators, and it's a shame. Yeah. Phase yeah. four yeah. of I'm the a, MCU I'm is filled with nothing but those characters that you mentioned, Mark. To, to your point, Mark, to 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 go along with what you're saying, let's let's think about that for a second and the significance up, of T'Challa, T'Challa as a whole as a premier black superhero. How long Black Lightning was around? We got what, like three, three seasons. four seasons? Three seasons. Yeah, okay. How long has John Stewart been around and we ain't seen him live action yet? Too long. So <laughs> if we can't get the premier black superhero on screen live action, like we got with everybody else, how in the hell do we even get to well, y'all can actually have a live action series with Shooty. We we never gonna get there. We what happened? Was that not a good, damn good series on Netflix? Luke Cage. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. And and, and, and while we talking about shows, we want to be on Disney Plus. Have you heard anything about Luke Cage? Mm-mm. No, no, you, you ain't hear nothing. We we talking about everything else. We got Echo. We got well. We don't know what the hell we gonna do with Daredevil and everything like that. We or we don't know. D-listers. We we talk about everybody else. But well, hell, if we can't get T'Challa, should we really be surprised we can't get Luke Cage? Yeah. We I, I, have it, a it, it, I, have a question. I have a question. Who on this panel asked for an Echo series? I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I didn't even know who she was until this because I I, 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 I don't check for I, I don't check for Daredevil like that. So I didn't even know who Echo was until the series came. And then I was like, oh, I kind of remember her, but I didn't ask for that. And she's she's effless to me. You know what I mean? Because why? What I've is got her significance? Appearance in comics, and I barely know anything about that character. I don't care about that character. Oh, and Echo Elemental. Her. Her most significant run, her most significant appearances, I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. I'll be wrong again. Her most significant appearances have come during the uh, multiversal uh, Masters of Evil storyline in the last Avengers story arc when she was when she had the Phoenix Force. Yeah, but they only did that because they thought, okay, the movies are doing something. We're going to have to use Maya Lopez Echo. Put her in the Avengers. That's how they do. That's yeah. why Blade was part of the adjacent era in Avengers recently. That's, he, it that's was just a... I talking about Blade. Blade, you know, all the thanks to Wesley Snipes back in 1998 Mm -hmm. made that character very, very popular. But understand, even though he made him popular live action, his books weren't selling. I mean, did he have a a, a live action series? I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. Did he have a comic book after that? No, he had had a live action series, but didn't even have a comic book. Right, right. And that live action series sucked. Blade was terrible. Blade has had more live action on screen appearances than T'Challa is, has. Mm-hmm. And he's nowhere near as significant in comic books than T'Challa. You know, hey, all you... sticky fingers, all due respect to Western Spiders. <laughs> but he's also not a role model, so I don't really care for Blade the way I prefer T'Challa or the way I, I cape for Static, Storm. There's people who I like. Right, no, of course, of course. See, this is the thing, uh, even even with Blade, even when we talk about Blade, and this is why going back to the original conversation about what this what this brother said is so hurtful, is because yes, we did get Blade. We had we didn't have three blades, Mahershala Ali, Sticky Fingers. I still don't know how the hell that happened, and That's Wesley Snipes. But no, when you're talking about the creation of Marvel Studios, nobody talks about Blade Street and pack. all the money that came from Blade to fun marvel studios so you can have iron man you know so you can have incredible I mean, people don't forget people gloss over that part you know what i mean again that's why this conversation about heroes black heroes even when you have a black hero he still get glossed over because we well we don't want to associate blade with with the start of the mcu even though he was the reason why we had enough capital to be able to fund Marvel Studios is because of Blade. No, we don't want to talk about T'Challa, even though box office-wise, $1.3 billion says otherwise that the character is important when white children, Mexican children, you understand, all these different colored children are finally becoming a black character, a black male positive role model character. Nah, he's not significant. Anybody could do that. 
Screen That's share. Blade had a comic in '98 that was called Blade, and then he also had one in '90, uh, Sins of a Father. Then there's this one from '99 to 2000, and three comic issues in '98, like I said. So and, nothing and was too long. Hmm? That's what I'm saying. He hasn't had a run. We got all of these mini series and one shots and three shots and four <laughs> shots. He ain't never had a run. That's what I'm talking about. And that's why, you know, Chill, I was talking, you know, when you was on the live and everything like that. D Real, um, Dre Mac, you want to do it? Um, Mark, absolutely. We need to have times when we just talk about T'Challa. That that T'Challa, that Black Panther fan group and everything like that. But we just because to me. We've done a ain't great job. Mark Hill with the whiskey, ain't that? Huh? Ain't that ain't well, we that talk. We talk Hill? about. We talk about T'Challa, yes, but we also focus on uh, black com comic books. I gotta books. get in there. I gotta get in there. I gotta. Yeah, I gotta yeah. whine. You know, I, gotta, I guess what I'm saying is <laughs> T'Challa don't. We're it as far as the, the fan base. After two years of being out here saying get the, the character recast, I think we know who we are in our own little circle. What we've done, um, whether we were doing it together or doing it individually we've grown the awareness the education on this character okay well we just keep doing it that's me chill you asked the question how do we get the character um elevated and everything this is the suggestion i got other than when, when you be doing talking about buying multiple copies of the same comic book <laughs> my money ain't like that so neither <laughs> is mine i just don't spend it on other comics Boy, look, you said something with that one. I'll be to cut out a whole bunch of comics. I do <laughs> get <laughs> children run so, comic, <laughs> Look, comic action figures and everything. But to look, me, when they had that, Bloodline Daughter of Blade. I didn't say, oh, representation. This is awesome. I go, it's a dead end character. They already decided how few issues they're going to sell. Why why dedicate any resource to this? I'm going to just buy multiple Black Panthers. Another yes. Blade adjacent comic that's going like down. Said, you know, like I'm um, five issues. I'm, I'm with that. Like I said, you 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 be you be locked in. So I'm like, why don't we just have our own place right here, and then we can go over there and chop it up with Black Common Law? Because it is, it is, and that's what hurt me. Um, as you said, uh, Dre yourself, the brother really don't understand what recast the child is all about. Not even trying to understand. It is about black representation. It is about not having meaningless representation. It is about bringing uplifting these black characters. We don't want them portrayed. We don't want black actors portrayed. No, we want them portraying the black characters that we got so that we can see them like everybody else get to see their characters. So that's the only thing I got, Chill. Uh, Mark, Dre, we, we we link up, swap some stories and everything like that. Uh, I, I can't drink alcohol, so Mark, I can't do the whiskey. <laughs> I hate it for you. So here's here's my question. We you know we talk about we talk about recast the child on a regular basis. The question remains then: Who would you guys cast in that role? Damson Idris. Anybody? Damson Idris is my is is my is my number one, and then Eldris Hodge because it was almost like a precursor in that terrible uh, Black Adam movie. Uh, for him to kind of have the swagger of T'Challa, you know, kind of the movement. I mean, if if he could get the accent down, that kind of that South African, you know what I'm saying, accent down, I could see him as that Yaya Madul Mateen. I, am I saying his name right? Yaya? Yeah, Yaya Abdul Mateen. Abdul Mateen, yeah, because chill going to get me because I stutter, so I don't want to, you know, I'm a Dudley <laughs> boy right now. So, you know. Uh, <laughs> I, I think I looked at damn some interest because he could actually grow into the role. Like, grow well, and, with the role, be able to play it for a significant exactly. period of time and everything like that. I think height-wise, he's like five. He's, he's, the, same, like that. he's the same yeah. height. If you look, there's a picture of him okay, and so, that week together. They're the same right, height, so, same build, damn near same everything. Right. So you like, okay, so all we're looking at is just throwing some muscle on that's that's what we're looking at. We thought yep. so. We have an actor, and I think what he's late twenties, early thirties. He's thirty-two. Early, he might yeah, be thirty-three 30. now. So, yeah. So I, I've looked at young. these. You know, looked at quite a few actors. I'm like, okay, you get him at thirty-two. Maybe you shoot the movie. He's thirty-five. We literally have 15, 20 years of this dude portraying this character before you even have to look at a possible recast. Right. That was only that you know accent, skin tone. Um, appearance, um, mannerisms, and everything like that. That's why I was. He's looking British. At him. He's British, here's, though, right? Here's the thing, though, uh, if I can interject, yes, he's British, 
one of the things about Dam St. Andrews, I've seen a lot of names come across the screen just now. Somebody mentioned John David Washington. All due respect to him, he's not a good actor. Mm -hmm. um, Yolan, I mean, <laughs> Dam St. Andrews is a very, very good actor because for the first two, three years of Snowfall, I had no idea that this dude was a Brit, right? He's got the look. He can do the accent because he's a Nigerian Brit, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. he comes from real African stock, like he's a first generation Brit. So you know right. he knows how to do the accent. And at, oh, by the way, he looks like the character and he can act. So he is my number one. Chill, I just sent you a video a picture. I don't know if you can put it up on screen, but these are some 12 actors or so who uh people could be the role, who could do the role. Okay. I'm it. mad y'all had the recast. The who had who's been recasted more over the years? Y'all are kill, y'all killing me with that George W. Bush. <laughs> Screen share. <laughs> oh, oh Juju said he he bought multiple copies and pre-ordered them from his um local comic book store. Listen, I I, I want to tell you I think I bought multiple multiple copies of the very first issue, but uh you know we're doing some other stuff right here. You know, I saw the sales climb back up. It's just hundred. I just I could not remember that guy's name. I still can't remember the guy's name from Gangs of London. But he top right, the top right. Sope Dirisu, S O P E. That guy, that's that he he just moved up into my top three. Listen, he was in my top three for a very very long time, until the dude in the second next to Damson. His name is Abu Bakar Salim. He was in a show called Raised by Wolves. It's a sci-fi show if you've not yes, seen yes, it. Yes, 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 yes. I saw he, that. After I saw that series, he moved up into my top two, basically, because of his complexion. Stephen James is next to him. He played in he played Jesse Owens in Race and was in uh, one of Chadwick Boseman's last movie, 21 Bridges. And then Sope Dirisu is the one from Gangs of London who is phenomenal. Johnny Washington. I'm sorry, Mark. Wasn't he the dude that you was talking about? Wasn't he in a show, a show, a TV show on Fox with Sinai Lathan? Cross the line, thin, thin yellow line, or something like that. You know, I'm not sure. He may have been. I'm, I'm not sure. I just know him from Gangs of London. If you've not seen Gangs of London, specifically, Ooh, you London, need to watch that. Show. No, you need to watch that show. It is phenomenal. But Stephen James can really act. Um, somebody mentioned Travante Rhodes. That brother cannot act. He is not a good actor. Uh, <laughs> David Washington is not a good actor. Um, Yelan <laughs> Noel he may be able to do it. I would much prefer to see him as Blade. He's short. He's about 5'10". I don't know if he can do the accent. I've not seen him in anything that would indicate that he could do the accent. So. Five ten is average height, by the way. It is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, 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 David Washington is is my height, if not shorter. I'm five eight and a half. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see me as the child. I don't want to see that. <laughs> he's, not that right he's really not. I mean, you know, all due respect to him. Hopefully, he will get better because Will Smith, when he first started, was not a good actor, but now he's an Oscar winner, been nominated at least twice. He's not there yet. Um, these brothers, most of these brothers who I selected and a couple others were thrown in by the guy who created this. All of these people I've seen in multiple roles and in my humble opinion can act or good actors. Yeah. So I would take anybody, just scout him. The bigger or either the smaller the name, the more likely they will sign a long term contract there and we'll have him in multiple appearances, which is the the goal. Like we're not trying to have this guy only appear in a movie like Shang Chi and then he goes away. If this and is representation and that's one of the things that bothers me about us specifically when we keep throwing the same four or five names out there to play these superhero roles. You know, somebody just mentioned Yaya Abdul-Mateen. You know, all due respect to him, that dude has already played two superhero characters and was fan ca well cast as a third one that has thankfully gone away. Um, a couple other names who are always fan cast or whatever, it's like, do you not want other people to achieve success? Why would you want to limit the amount of black stars that are out there? Chadwick Boseman became a worldwide celebrity. Let me say that mm -hmm. again. Chadwick Boseman became a worldwide celebrity because of his role in uh, <laughs> the, the MCU as T'Challa. Why would you want to limit the amount of brothers out there working? You know? 
Chadwick Boseman said that himself, that he didn't want yes. it just because we always, whenever there's a black movie coming up and he made the point, of, how come you ain't never seen uh, 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 Morgan Freeman and, and Denzel Washington? Well, you have seen Morgan Freeman and Denzel Washington. But I mean, you, you get you understand what I'm getting at. It's like you get one per yeah. movie. We never, it's always we never been like that. powerhouse black actors crammed together in one movie on a regular basis. Right. But it's Watch always this. been can like I, that. Can I say this real quick? Can Go I ahead, say Bill. this real quick? We have a problem coming up with names to play superheroes. We don't have a problem coming up with names to play drug dealers. We don't have mm. name. We don't have problems mm. coming up with names to play strippers. Mm. We well, don't. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do it again. I'm not really pressed about whose feelings that I hurt. We can't come up with one name to play T'Challa, but everybody could talk about Snowfall. Mm -hmm. How many brothers was in that? How many brothers was in that show? Names mm -hmm. and everything like that. You don't see them as superheroes. No, you see them as what they are: drug dealers. Okay, well let me keep it going. Um, what's the name of that channel? Um, uh, that I don't really look at P Valley. What, P Valley. You can Star. tell me how good they are to play the roles in P Valley, but you're not looking at name one. Not us. We as a people, ethnicity, race, culture, whatever. We're not looking at them people on power, book of power, ghost, yep. BMF. We don't. Now we know their names. Now that's the damnedest thing about it. We know their names. The people that watch them damn shows, they know their damn names. But you don't see them as superheroes, do you? You don't. Which is because so what I'm saying is you don't even think of them as superheroes. We as a people contribute to our own people not being able to get more than one stereotypical job in Hollywood because that's all we see them as. And that brings up to the point of the original conversation with this brother is that we're trying to get these original characters on screen and be presented because we don't see a lot of us as heroes but we see them as hollywood shuffle you know kindly did back in the 80s you know what i'm saying well, you know pimps players drug dealers you know what i'm saying crackheads whatever you know what i mean we don't see that so with this brother i want this brother to realize and that would would have been my whole conversation i want this brother to realize how important t'challa is because without the mainstream first comic book hero, you don't have the Luke Cages and the, you know the Miles Morales. You don't have Falcon, John Stewart. In the list, the beat goes on. You know what I'm saying? And without that representation on screen on a video game, because how many? I bought Spider Man Two. Spider Man Two is going to be the highest. It's going to be the highest grossing video game this year. It will be because everybody's going to play it. But Everybody. the name Spider-Man and Peter Parker is synonymous. The name Miles Morales is bigger than T'Challa right now. So how do we get T'Challa where Miles is at? That's all I'm saying. Exposure. Go ahead. And what I was going to say was a lot of what's going on too is settling. Um, uh, uh, we, 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 we are collectively settling. And then we listen to the rhetoric that further nestles us in the notion of settling oh you you got a black character you should be happy that you have this or you mm. should be happy that you have that okay that's not what was asked for that's not what's what should be there and 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 that's not what people's expectations are you're giving people what you think they want to see mm. The problem I mean, is a let, lot of people are not like us in that they're not comic book fans. And well, I'm not even. No, I'm sorry. I'm not even talking about comic book fans. I'm talking about moviegoers. Right. That's what I'm saying. That's that's my okay. point. Right. A lot of folks are not like us, comic book fans, so they don't have a frame of reference when these characters are brought to the big screen. That's why a lot of people were not up in arms when they killed off the character because oh, it's a mantle, so they've been told you can just plug and play somebody in there. You know, not realizing or recognizing just how important that specific character is, not only for representation, but in the history of comic books. Just like Clark Kent, Kal El, Superman is the considered the very first modern superhero, T'Challa is the very first modern day black superhero. He is our quote unquote Superman. 
And to just casually discard him that way due to the unfortunate death of an actor is illogical and it's emotional. They wouldn't do that with Peter Parker if the actor died. They wouldn't do that with Bruce Wayne or any other big name superhero. They would simply plug and play. And it has yes. and it has nothing to do with being misogynistic and not wanting mm-hmm. to see jury in the role. And that comment, that attitude, that mindset needs to stop. It's not against her. She was just created about 15, 16 years ago. He's got almost 60 years of history. And that's Peter, you're absolutely right on that one, too. Uh, that was like my- Black Cat telling I, 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 I ain't seen a good villain since show now. <laughs> <laughs> That, you I know what? That's, that's, that's okay. the I thing. Black villain. Well, who's a good black villain since y'all know? Give me, give that's, me one. that's the thing, though. But watch this. So we're here. black comic lords, Black Panther fans, comic book fans. Are you streaming right now? What has wound up happening is I re, I use the analogy. You have the popular kids. Click the link. You can. I'm, I'm invite you on. I'm sorry. Click the link, Black Comic Lords. I want you to come on to the show. Now, that's you Paul. Can't... That's not that dude. Well, that's Paul. No, I, I, still, I still want him to come on to the show, too. Right. I, want him to come on I just to want show. you to be sure who you knew yeah. you were getting. Hey, yeah. Tech commercial. You got popular kids, and that's what it boils down to. You got popular kids doing what it takes to be popular. Sad part, you would want them to care. You would want them to lock in and say, hey, man, this character look like you. You should want this character. No, no, no. Only thing they care about in regards to the character is being popular. I call it Stockholm Syndrome. Well, you've identified with what it is. So what's not important to them is not important to you. You're not thinking mm-hmm. to understand. They're not going to ever get rid of their characters. Your character ain't important to them. So you sit mm-hmm. there and say, oh, well, I guess my character ain't important to me either. And you sign mm-hmm. off on it. Like I said, we would never. I could be on a panel with somebody and say the same thing about Superman. They're never going to suggest that George, even if we have the Paul Walker conversation, which is aside from when you hurt the closest side by side, those of us that suffer from Stockholm syndrome will always excuse it. We will tell us a settle for Tucson. That's that's yeah, that's your recast right now. Hey, they'll tell you you can name the character to call in the video game. You'll get what you want. Yeah, and he'll age up and it'll be the same thing, guys. Exactly. Can I shoot that down? That's your local target. Even though they didn't play this as Bruce, as they've done with quite a few games, and they weren't looking to play as nobody but Bruce with Black Panther. Oh, they prepared to play as everybody but the child. And they'll tell you that as if what you want is a personal preference of playing as T'Challa and you get what you want. No, I want humankind who plays this game to be this specific character. And then that character who they just were, maybe they can relate to that. Maybe when they see him now on a movie, they can be like, oh, him, yeah, yeah. I was him for 30 hours of gameplay. And that's why I can more sympathize with this movie character in the future and the benefits of it when and let's be real when a kid gets the game they just name the character their own name right that's what we do when we play zelda we don't say link we choose no, most people most kids they just choose their own name so it's a, it's a very disingenuous again argument that would be name the character what you want so everyone can be happy nah if, if this was well, pokemon then game, i understand that if this was a pokemon game, game that's different you get a character okay but you don't it, it's it's a generic character you yeah. know what I'm saying? It's stuff like City, the City of Heroes, World of Warcraft, that kind of stuff. You get a generic character. You get an elf. You get an orc. You get a sorcerer. You get a necromancer. Mm-hmm. And then you give that a name, As whereas you get in Black Panther. You, y'all going to love this one. Established character that you, you can't just put D-Real in there and say, yeah, that's me. You know, Why? it's. You ain't it's, had them expectations in Grand Theft Auto 5. Who did we play as in Grand Theft Auto 5? Three characters. Uh, three characters. Who, who 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 do we play as in Grand Theft Auto Five? It's three of them: Franklin, Franklin, Franklin Mike, and Frank. Huh? <laughs> you, you see what I'm saying? What were you able to do? I could only do what Franklin did. I could only do, and you was good with it. I could only do what Michael. The only time you could have some fun is if you wanted to be old boy and just shoot up, shoot up the place. But you <laughs> had to be him to do that. Mm-hmm. But over here with the Black Panther game. Oh, no, you want to be anybody you want to be. 
Mental. Hey, you like it? I love it. Spin your change. That's the dangers of this mental stuff. I want to uh, exclude that word from Twitter. I hate it. Yeah. 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 The whole the, the, uh, again the whole mental thing. Like when I when I was looking at that when when the whole thing came up about the video game and when I made that petition just to be just to just to, to clarify my thing was I've played uh, um. Uh, what was it, Marvel Ultimate Alliance, T'Challa's in that game. You know what I'm saying? But he's not a playable character. He's in multiple, he came back from multiple, uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 as a playable character. He's dope as a playable character. Hold so on, which, wait, 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 wait. Which, which Marvel Multiple Alliance, wait, which one? Mar which, you, Marvel, which Ultimate, you Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 that's on Switch. He's no, a player. I'm talking about character. what system were you on before when you said you couldn't play him? On uh, PlayStation 2? Was that PlayStation oh, man, 2 I'm Ultimate a, Alliance? Oh, gonna, boy, listen, don't do that. Don't, don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is. He's, okay, it was one. Yeah, yeah it was one. one. Wasn't it one, he's not a playable character, and two? It he's was now one, playable. he's not a playable he's character. I'm about to say, well, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was one. Yeah, he wasn't up, a playable character. On one. Oh, I was smooth playing him on one. <laughs> Chris is right, you're not don't. a gamer. Oh, I guess I'm not. I guess I, I guess I guess I, your petition me, needs more votes yeah, before we can let, take it serious. Let me let me stick to let me stick to my my comic books over here. I I'll stick to that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I heard you could play as Casper Cole. Is that true? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Tracy Irvin, what's going what's going on, Tracy? Uh, oh. I was but yeah, but, but but my whole thing was just making sure T'Challa is still in the zeitgeist and ever, you know in these uh in these video games, making sure that new characters when we or new uh a uh, new video game uh uh a kid like a kid that's coming up. Oh, I want to play this Black Panther game. I want to yeah. play as T'Challa. I want them yeah. to play as T'Challa. My kids. It's simple. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's simple explanation. You know, there are only a handful of A-list superhero characters. When we did our show on Friday, I mentioned it, I, I believe. And I would say that the A-list characters in modern culture, characters who your your comic book fan does non-comic book fans don't know about, things of that nature. Superman, Batman, Spider-Man, Wonder Woman, Hulk. Everybody else is a B or lower level. And the reason why I say that is, it's not just about them appearing in movies, but it's also about cross media exposure. Cartoons, Spider-Man has a new cartoon every three to six years as Peter Parker, right? Merchandise, the type, the t-shirts and stuff that you can get. Paul and I were talking on Friday about Green Lantern and was talking about, he. He's under the impression that Green Lantern is an A-list character. And I disagree because yeah. when you go out in the world, you don't see a lot of Green Lantern merchandise. Think about it. You don't see T-shirts, lunchboxes, things of that nature. Maybe around the time when the Ryan Reynolds movie came out 12 years ago. But today in 2023, you don't see that. Wonder Woman has always been there. Has We've had, at this point, four, maybe five live-action versions of her. Superman has always been that and so on and so forth. I say that because we had the perfect opportunity to make T'Challa an A-list character. Yes. He was an A-list mm -hmm. character for a period of six months. Then, unfortunately, Chadwick Boseman died. And now, since the character has been killed off, the interest in that specific character is going to wane. Kids who are five now, who 10, when they get 10, mm -hmm. are, allowed, okay. are out there getting ready to make their own purchases, aren't going to know about T'Challa because think about it when they were two they didn't know anything about T'Challa you know what I'm saying that character hasn't been seen on screen at this point in yeah. five years T'Challa exactly. was last seen in 2018 and he's not going to be seen again for the foreseeable future so that's what's so disappointing about Ryan Coogler and Nate Moore's decision mm -hmm. that Kevin Feige approved I would we know that Kevin Feige approved it, <laughs> but the decision was made by the two black dudes in the room. True. Right? Mark, and so that's Mark. why it's disappointing for you guys as gamers that you can't play this character because, again, those kids out there who are gamers like you all aren't going to have that, potentially may not have that option to play this, so he's in their mind. And what's I worse, what if back. these, and, and look, look at the dangers of this. If a fan goes, you know what? 
My favorite Black Panther is Shuri. <laughs> my favorite Black Panther is the video game one. And now you have competition that T'Challa does not need by introducing at a, such an early time of Black Panther's popularity hitting the mainstream. You have so many competing factions here. It does not help. And right. now you're about to have an Asuri game with Captain America. You know what I'm Watch saying? Where he that so I say that it, you know how people want to get out in front of stuff? Propaganda. Um, I said this before, D real, you're able to um vouch for it. I said this was war like two years ago, right? I you said did. This, I said this was war. Freak me out, the person that said you absolutely right. This is war because it was the oldest brother of the act. War is filled with propaganda. You yeah. don't gotta tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Why wait, why was that so funny? Are we laughing about the same thing? I think Mark knows. Believe, yeah. Um propaganda. It could be it could be written, it could be musically. It could be visual. It's, it's propaganda. What we sat up here and we experienced was those who called us casuals. We're not the casuals. Not by far. We just got, they got in front of the news. They painted us in that particular light so that the cool kids, those whose popularity resides on them knowing about the character, being able to talk about the character, no, those are the actual casual fans if you listen to what they say. That's that regardless of who they are, that's the casual fan. The casual comic book fan, the casual Black Panther fan, the casual black superhero fan. That person by and large is just gonna show up when it's popping. Just like how many people did not know about Message from the King? Right. You know what? There, I'm glad you mentioned that. I <laughs> I made a post uh, several months ago about all these people who were talking about it's disrespectful to recast a character because the actor died. A, that's nonsense. Mm, but B, ain't what all these people were hopping on the Chadwick Boseman bandwagon as if they were huge fans of his. And somebody, I can't remember the name, the Twitter name now, but they said that those people were quote unquote casuals and it was performative. And I did a deep dive into Chad Bozeman's uh, disc, well, bibliography when it comes to movie. That's not bibliography, his movieography, right? And I looked at all the, the studio release movies. The most successful movie that Chadwick Bozeman starred in was Black Panther. The next most successful was uh, when he played Jackie Robinson in what was it, 42? 42. 42. In 42. Mm -hmm. Everything else that he was in, Nothing else that he was in cracked $50 million. They, they didn't so, go about Third Good. Right. They, Third Good, yeah. Marshall, the movie Marshall, it Marshall. made $10 million at the studios. The movie uh, Get On Up, which was phenomenal when he played mm -hmm. James Brown, that mm -hmm. movie made $35 million and so mm -hmm. on and so forth. So my point in 21 Bridges, that movie mm -hmm. made $45, $48 million. None of these movies were large successes. So my thing is this. If you were such a Chadwick Boseman fan, why were you not buying tickets to his movies when they were in the theater? Right? Let me let me ask you guys this. I don't, I don't mean to cut you off. Let me ask you guys this. Do you think that it became popular to be a black comic book nerd once Black Panther hit and it was popular? So everybody yeah. hopped on the bandwagon? They weren't black comic book fans. They were fans of Chadwick well, Boseman's well, portrayal of that role. There is a lady who started the, I believe she started the Oscar So White hashtag several years ago when every major acting nomination was white folks. Like not one person of color was also. You talking about Jada? Yeah, I thought that was Jada. No. Okay. Well, 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 I don't know that for a fact, but this one particular lady, her name is April Reigns, I think it is. Uh, I know her. We all know like, her. She popularized it, right? And when she after the death of Chadwick Boseman, she was like, they need to kill off the character. They never need to have anybody else's T'Challa. And I'm muting this conversation. This, She's the type of person that you were just discussing in that she's not a fan of the character. She's a casual. And she really liked Chadwick Boseman's performance, as we all did. But all, of, all five of us here on this screen 
are adults. We understand <laughs> that death is a part of life. <laughs> and when death occurs, that does not mean a job <laughs> is finished. Right. There are other people. There is a little axiom in Hollywood. The show must what? Go on. Go on. Exactly. And to, in order to for the show to go on with that character, you recast somebody else. And then, you know, Buckmeister, God love him, he always brings up all these other uh, roles or characters that have had multiple actors. And people always point out, well, those were different universes, et cetera, et cetera. And they're right. But then when you point out that Andy Whitfield, who played Spartacus on Stars, died of died. cancer, they immediately recast that role. When you point out that Richard Harris died from being alive a long time, they immediately recast his role <laughs> as <Dumbledore>. Now, <laughs> <Can't lie. laughs> John Hurt, died, William Hurt, I'm sorry, William Hurt died. And what did they? He wasn't even the ground two weeks before they made an announcement that somebody mm-hmm. else was going to play that role. Mark, yeah, Mark, do you know that's what gets me more than anything else? Like, I, I'm sorry, that's what gets me more than anything else. Everybody who was a Marvel fanboy, old believing Kevin Feige, YouTuber, old good God Almighty Jesus, they finna do. Oh, it was <laughs> wrong for Chadwick Boseman. I was like, so you're not gonna say nothing about William Hurt, like. So the same dude that told you your guy was off the table, not even up for discussion. That same dude get to walk up to you and say, "We, I ain't seen the amount and um, the amount of black folk that said don't recast T'Challa because of Chadwick Boseman. I can't seem to hear nor find them." That is Thunderbolt Ross being recast. Not William Hurt, because we can't recast the real person. The character. Well, the comeback is that that's not a main character. Yeah, he's not a main and, character. And that's just like introducing a new rule to this game. Like, so what? Who's logical, the gold but they're, they're bar raising. raising. They're saying, bar they're, raising. That's I'm, bar I'm, raising. Let me say this. So basically what they're saying is, and I've seen that argument too. <laughs> like Captain oh, well, Falcon. they can recast William Hurt's <laughs> character that he played because he wasn't a main character. So let me get this straight. It's okay to recast a uh, a side character, but not a main character who had his own movie, and that makes sense to you. So you want exactly the story that's of coming from us now. That's coming character. from us now. That's because, who we argue with. Because people have deified Chadwick Boseman. I say this all the time when I'm arguing with those folks: is stop deifying Chadwick Boseman. Chadwick Boseman was seems like he was a great person. I didn't know him personally, but he seemed like he was a great man. Taken from us far, far, far too soon. He played the hell out of that yeah. role. Also but again, with, uh, that doesn't mean that somebody else will not also be able to do a good job in that role. For me, Sean Connery will always be the best James Bond ever. However, there have been Pierce Brosnan is my second favorite. There are other people out oh, there Timothy who Dalton. have done a good job, right? Who's to say that somebody else will not be able to do another good job in this role? What, what's, Mark, how do you deify a person you know little to nothing about? Exactly, who you never well, met. And oh, by the way, his own brother who knew him for his entire life said, hey, they probably should have recast the character. So why, and then what they say to that is, oh, well, he doesn't make the rules. So wait, let me get this straight. His brother doesn't think it's disrespectful, who knew and loved him came from the same womb, but you as somebody who didn't know him think it is, but his opinion doesn't matter and yours does? Come on, man. The art is we get to keep on the goalposts. Mark, I'm fine with that low key coming from somebody that don't look like me, because I low key expect that. I do. Just being honest, it's it's when I don't it comes to us. Somebody that look like me that keep claiming pro black that other out there mouth talking about black representation is significant and important, and then double down and say, not only am I a comic book fan, but I'm a Black Panther fan too. I'd be like, well, or and add on to it, you a Chadwick Boseman fan. None of that adds up to we not recasting the character. That tell me all before I even talk about Derek. That means you ain't do no research in the chat with both. Right, right. In, in, in Brian, in you're right. Just, just to go, just to go on this one, Brian. They said it was the most respectful thing you can do is recast Balin Skull's uh, a character with the passing of Ray Stevens. 
You got to make sure company, you get very, same company, very important. Same company, same how, company. How do we honor somebody that's unselfish? Do we know what he did on the set of 13 Bridges? 21 Bridges. 21 Bridges. Do we know what he did on the set of 21 Bridges with one of his co-stars? Because mm -mm. I know. I gave her some of his pay so she could get paid. Pay. I was about to say, it wasn't the, his pay. The female lead, he what? gave her part of his salary to make I sure she got compensated. Now, hold on. Said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? But you're not you. You say you love Chadwick Boseman. Well, I'm not looking for you to know that. I'm looking for the person that said they love Chadwick Boseman to know that. I said I love him. Okay, well, I done did my research. Where you at? Right. So if that's an example of a giving spirit. That's an example of a giving brother. You say you know it. Okay, well, I, I well, how do you honor somebody that had a giving spirit? You know, you want to talk about yeah. honoring an actor. What you want to do is you want to name something about the actor in universe. You have something at the end of the movie mentioning that individual and honoring him that way. But when Fast and Furious, after the tragic death of Paul Walker, did they honor Paul Walker by having Brian die in a fiery car crash? No, nope. they did not, because that's not honoring the character. And no, they oh, should have. The they way, got it wrong. Oh, by the way, the character himself is immune to all te terrestrial diseases due to the heart-shaped earth in his system. So that didn't make any sense. At the end of the day, as I said earlier, all they had to do was two, one of two things. Set it during the blip or have him incapacitated. Killing off the character, the decision made by Ryan Coogler, mind you, and Nate Moore was a wrong emotional decision that should not have been made. It we have what's up, danger. fellas. It is the danger what's going on? We got the, the we got the black comic lore in the house. What's going on? Oh, hey, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I can't drink. I can't drink. I, I can't drink. I just have to come in and do the work. <laughs> That's all right. I got <laughs> enough liquor for everybody. <laughs> so I know you're just now coming in. We're we, we're about you know we're about two hours into this conversation. We are discussing a video that was made by Herschel, am I correct? He that may not have seen it. He may not have seen it, so you may want to play it. If you, you want to play it? Yeah, uh, um, I, I don't you know, know what you guys are talking about. You have it? We're, gonna, we're just going to replay it since you're just coming in. Um, just basically talking about the new Black Panther video game, a uh, petition that I started by keeping by the, the Play as T'Challa uh, petition. Um, but we're going we're gonna to play it once um Bro, which one we got the original one the, right. or, the original video here it is yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll play the response later on a video <laughs> game you're showing me a video game video or just no watch. no video <laughs> just watch you'll see right. there's, if there's no t'challa in a new black panther game are you guys gonna still buy it or are you gonna drop it? listen i'm gonna buy it a lot of people are gonna buy it uh i'm gonna support it but make no mistake about it this is not about a video game. This is about the recast. Listen, we've seen other people pick up the mantles in comics. Well, the casuals have not. But the comic kids we have seen, other people, Casper Cole. We've seen these type of things happen all the time when somebody else has is under that guy. A lot of these folks are not even gamers, but they just want to know that something is is laid out the way that they want it to be laid and they're not going to support it anyway that's for everybody else yeah we're going to support it it's going to be great if the story's good the mechanic's good if it's just not just a button smasher there's a great story yeah it's going to be awesome this is just another uh don't get rid of t'challa argument like in the recast that's all this really is a lot of folks don't even do video games i think some other ones that he's did also like he was responding to buckmeister cool I was gonna say play, yeah, play the response. Uh, Apparently, to if him. I'm no, that's that's not the book. That's him responding to me. Can Buck I play the Buckmeister cool? Because yeah, we didn't play, play it yet. Play, play yeah. the Buckmeister one too. Okay. Apparently, if I'm recast Chala, come on, Blue. I'm not a, I'm not a video game. Bro, let's let's keep it a buck. Let's just keep it a buck. The video was not made specifically for you because you're a gamer. It, the the video was made for people that are hell bit on the recast, and they're not gamers. That's why I said a lot. I didn't say everybody. I literally said a lot. But there's a lot of folks out there that's like no no T'Challa no ticket. 
same attitude they took to, they took towards Wakanda forever. And guess what? You know the beauty of all that? They have the right to feel that way. Folks have even gone as far as to make a petition. I mean, this is My bigger petition. than a game. They really just want T'Challa. Oh, yeah, and by the way, rumor has it that the game is going to be set during World War II. And we know Long T'Challa game. wasn't around then. So, folks need to get out their feelings, man. No disrespect to nobody, though, man. I don't think there's no copying him. Like Dre just said, that's the wrong game he's thinking about. The wrong there's game. two separate games. One is in the past with World War II, but the main one is uh, like the one that's called Black Panther. A casual exactly. person on the planet who does not want to see T'Challa, but I'm just not going to go crazy over it. And yes, we do know that there is another game in the works. That and uh, they're still working out the details. But you know what? I'm going to support it. Most heavy gamers are going to support it. I can't say that every recaster is. I mean, yeah, it is what it is, man. But guess what I said? I can't say every. That means I didn't say all. All means all. <laughs> but yeah, man, all love. There's a couple more videos. Should I stop and listen to Paul, or do we play more? <laughs> Did you guys bring me on to, to do a what is play he doing response? Uh, response. Play response. His response to mine. I haven't seen oh. most of these videos, to be honest with you. Here, here's the thing. Um, Black Comic Lords is 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 not just me or Herschel. It's like a whole collective of people. It's it's really a platform so that people can whether it be creators or fans can have an opportunity, a platform to share their thoughts and their fandom of these black comics and these black comic creators. Um, as I said, I haven't seen most of those videos and I don't know a whole lot about the video game. I knew about the old one from World War II. From what I understand, if they're doing a, a video game in World War II, that's probably the flags of our fathers storyline with that was mm. done by Reginald yep. Hedlund and Dennis Cowan, right? Yep. So I don't see how anyone would want to, you know, not want to support that. It's a uh, it's T'Challa's grandfather. Um it is what it is. Um with regard to the newest game, uh, does anyone know much about the storyline of it yet? We know little. We just read the blurb and it doesn't use the word T'Challa. They always say Black Panther. Well, that, that's the thing though. I mean, look, Okay, there was a tweet a year earlier saying there'll be a new game where the Black Panther dies and you pick up from there. When you combine those two tweets, it's and when we combine tweet, what's happening from where? Movies, that was a tweet a year ago. I don't know. From, I can't find uh, it. from the from yeah, the game developers from Marvel. No, was it was a from? leak. It was no, a leak I, tweet. It wasn't an official was, account. Uh, so I'm if you're going to discredit the information, that's fine. But oh yeah, I mean, I, 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 I can't, I can't address, uh, or I can't address a rumor, but I will say this. Um. Herschel is partially right, I think, uh, or I should say I partially agree with him, that much of the um, outcry regarding the video game is in part due to the recast T'Challa movement. And here's what I mean by that. Mark and I talk about as part of these subjects all the time on our show. Um, it's not as simple as simply recasting T'Challa. It is more complicated or more deep than that, and, and it's, I think it's I think I think it's worse than that. Um, Marvel has moved from when I say Marvel, I mean Marvel Comics. Marvel Comics has moved from being the source material for the MCU to becoming the promotional material for the MCU, and in that transition. Um, the MCU or Marvel Studios is taking the lead on everything that is Marvel. So, because that's where they make their billions of dollars is in the Marvel Studios properties. So all of our comics, all of the merch, toys, everything is now being centered around Marvel Studios. And because Marvel Studios is running all of this, their, their focus now is on those characters that have been represented in Marvel Studios, which doesn't include a lot of people that look like us. So there's mm -hmm. that. And then because of that, and they, because they have, they've doubled down on their stupid decision 
to not recast T'Challa, um, they're going to the nth degree on that. They started pushing this this idea of the mantle, yes, which and we shouldn't reward like, them with pain. Prior, prior, prior to Chadwick Boseman dying, did anybody hear about the mantle before? No one used that term in comic books. Oh, no one talked dude. about the mantle before <laughs> Chadwick Boseman's death, and they needed to come up with some reason to excuse not recasting the character. So this if, is if, this if, is more than just this is a this is another part of their conscious decision not to recast the character. But they're spreading it across all properties. Understood. All properties. If, if, if oh, I interject, the problem is I, I got for, something. Uh, the problem for us is it who wants to buy the game, who doesn't want to buy the game. Mm -hmm. We know how we feel. Just like it's not a problem for us who wanted to go see the movie, who didn't want to go see the movie. We know how we feel. What we're looking at is that you identify yourself as this. Because there's a response video because he responded to something that I put in the comment section. Okay. You're giving information. You say a ton of people have worn this mantle. Well, the casual is looking for you to give knowledgeable information. Right. You right. say Casper Cole as if he's one of many. Where if we're comic book fans, we, we know, know that's not true. Right. I agree. With know you. So when I go into the comment section, we go talk. Okay, you respond with a video, condescending, passive aggressive. You a casual, you may or not. The guy asked him, that was, was he going to buy the video game? What does recast oh. the child not buying the video game have to do with whether or not he's going to buy the video game? We we don't need, then you don't need to lie and say, well, recast the child aren't gamers. Like you just kept, and if they gamers, then they don't read comments. They casuals. He kept the lie going when he could have said what he said at the end of the video when he responded to me, which was what it was. He don't care. OK, he kept kicking that can. You no. you don't care that you could have said that in the beginning. We, you didn't have to throw us up in. The well, again, I, I, I haven't seen all the videos and. Um, uh, I can only tell you what my feelings are on the subject, which I, th I think I just did. Um, I'm not. I'm not one of these people that that sits there and, and promotes the whole idea of a mantle of T'Challa, or uh, you know. I'm a Black Panther fan. I am probably the uh, biggest Black Panther fan of those who kind of operate the Black Comic Lords. Um, I cannot say that's the same for other members uh, that operate the organization. I think that's probably the best answer I can give you on that. that that's fair, though. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. I think you guys have seen enough. To, I think you've seen enough tweets from me to know my stance on many of these subjects. True that. I, I want to go back to something you had said, though, uh, P. You had said something about the MCU being they're the ones who are pushing everything for You know what I'm saying? Doesn't that isn't that kind of counterintuitive, especially when I look at like the Star Wars Star Wars fandom has been around since the 70s, right? Mm -hmm. How many movies sustain that fandom? Three. Right. Right. Three movies. Everything well, else is due to the fan, you know, everything outside of those movies. Yeah. So when you take that away, I don't think Star Wars would have lasted as long. So what we're getting right now in the MCU is when you take the fandom away, you're not going to get your billion dollar movie. I don't care who it is. You're not going to get that no more. And right now, you don't. The casuals, they, like I said before, casuals don't exist unless you have a fandom to bring casuals on. You see what I'm saying? Once you once you get rid of the fandom, that's it. And it's hard to get an audience. It's hard to get, rebuild, you know, rebuild that audience. So I don't really see what their thought process is into not recasting and not pushing the brand of Black Panther or anything uh, more than just inside uh, the MCU, the MCU it, shouldn't it, be the end all. Look, end all. My, my, my feeling, my feeling on it is is is, it, is that phrase. What did it say? Always follow the money. Until I because no when money. you follow the money, you're supposed to find the truth, right? We're living in a right. capitalistic society. We're talking about big business. You know, at the end of the day, these comic book companies, these movie, these movie uh, production companies, it's a business. Mm -hmm. It makes no logical sense 
when a when a when a film makes 1.3 1.4 billion dollars for you to not try to continue that on yep. it makes no sense to use the excuse of well this is a tragic death and so we can't recast this character when it has been done timeless time upon time again hell uh what's his face um um the guy who was just in the ahsoka movie um ray stevens ray stevens, stevens. stevens. Ray body ain't yeah. even cold and they're already starting to talk about recasting the dude that's the that's the fan base even that's how the, different the Marvel saw, fan base and the Star Wars fan base. Is. Y- y'all gonna tell me, Blue? I need, but, but, I need but, one of my old heads to tell me. Look, look at, look at the, the 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 General um, General Ross was already recast, right? They were still y'all right. with him. The OG. What did Spock say back in Star Trek back in the day when the logical and the something cease to make sense? You must now start looking at. He worded it some type of way. Because I'm going when, when you got, when you remove got, when you remove all actually, the when you remove all the fallacies, what Sherlock remains, Holmes, what in essence must be yeah. the truth. Yeah, yeah. That was so to Holmes. your point, when you say that, it don't make no sense. Yeah, we made there's, we there's made no a billion three. Behind it. We made a billion three, and now you not gonna do what got you a billion three? Oh, okay. One of the okay. things that, one of the things that disappoints me is that the reason why they're ev- even able to make these movies. Is due to us, especially us old heads. Not you, Dre Mac. You're like 25, but the rest of us, <laughs> the rest of us who have been literally collecting comic books since the 1970s, we're the ones who kept these properties in focus. We're the ones who spend our money, our lunch money, our grass cut money on these properties <laughs> that they're even viable IP. And then for them to basically defecate on us and take away what it is that we want is a slap in the face. To you us. Like we don't matter. The big slap. To them. So, so <laughs> let me let me let me let me also address this. So uh, so Paul, so you can have a a little bit of a backstory. When I made that petition, uh, um, play as T'Challa. The reason why I wanted to do that because of what has been going on with Marvel removing T'Challa from the minds of the of the fans so that the whole thing was let me jump ahead because what i i i honestly felt like sometimes we're not we're reactive and not proactive so i became proactive is like if they do this because it's, it's in the video if they do this this is what's going to happen this is what i'm calling for because it makes no sense to have a black panther game now i can understand the the black panther uh in um the Black Panther and Captain America game set in the 1940s. I understand that. You know what I mean? But what I don't under what I don't understand is a Black Panther game that set in the present day and there's no T'Challa. So I made sure to put in the petition, squarely put, if mm-hmm. they do not have the main character. I don't care that the whole the what anybody can have the mantle is some bull crap. Because that character was created by Jack Kirby and is the main focus just like Stan Lee and Steve Ditko made Spider-Man so on and so forth so if they do not do this this is what I'm calling for to jump ahead of it and what I seen in that video even the response I'm not talking about the 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 the, the other game I'm talking about any game going forward when it's talking about the Black Panther in present day has to right. be T'Challa. Yeah, if the contemporary, the contemporary else, Black Panther. Right. Exactly. If it's anybody else, if it's a made-up character, this is this is not Grand Theft Auto. This is not Pokemon. This is not nothing that you can put your name in. This is the main focus because I want the first Black superhero to be in the zeitgeist. I want it to be in the mind of the little five-year-old who's going to go, who's going to ask, "Ooh, can I get that? Can I get that video game?" Like my son does. My son just came I, down here. Well, I'm looking for this game. I'm looking for that. I want my five-year-old when he becomes. 1520 that he could be able to have a game and he remembers T'Challa as the Black Panther. I, 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 I agree with that 100. Essentially, essentially, what was being addressed in this live mm-hmm. were the accusations yeah. and the inaccuracies made in that video. As far as the bullet points that we've heard for like the past two or three years, I think everybody in I'm sitting on this live. There isn't anything you can throw at us that like we haven't heard that or that hasn't come past our desk or it's the inconsistencies alone of, you know, just that 
that blatant Casper Cole statement was what done it for me. Like, okay, you're you're saying Casper Cole was the Black Panther, but you're telling us this is about recast. No, that's the, yeah and no. It is because it's the child. It's yeah, about but let's, let's 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 run with that. Let's Ross run with that. I, I don't I don't I don't know about the whole Casper Cole thing. I, I assume that he said something or someone said something about. Uh, the video game could be about Casper Cole or what what have you. Let's let's say it was about Casper Cole. Let's let let's, for the sake of argument. Um, in the in the um, priest run, when when T'Challa hung up his his mantle, uh, because you know he had his brain aneurysm and, and went crazy, and the priest was done with the run. Uh, you know, Casper Cole finds a suit and becomes the the Black Panther of New York. Let's say that's a storyline they want to go with. I would still oppose that, even though technically it is canon. Mm -hmm. Casper Cole put on the mask and became the Black Panther of New York. Um, I would still oppose that because that's reinforcing this underlying push that Marvel has right now with pushing this this mantleization of of the of the character for purposes of reinforcing and doubling down on their decision to not recast the character in the MCU, which is the driving force of everything now. All video games, toys, comics, everything is gonna center around their money maker, which is the MCU. And they made a bad decision in not recasting the character and they're 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 doubling down on it across across all mediums. I think there's a true true potential for that. And I'm going to speak out against it. it, and I'm going to combat anyone who's for it or accepting the child or whatever they do. The Haitian bastard child. God, you're right. The Haitian <laughs> bastard child. <laughs> right. by I, I, did a, I did a funny meme. Uh, I wish I could find it. I'll see if I can send it to you. I got, I got a quick question, though. Do do y'all believe that the um, IP of the Black Panther is still viable? Sure. Yes. On, on a... On a, on a Big and I'm gonna tell you, and I'm yeah. gonna tell you why is because yeah. when you look at the you when you look at the Hasbro sales, right, mm -hmm. of the T'Challa Black Panther toy, anything that has his name on it makes money. T-shirts, right. uh, the toy, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm emphasizing the video game. When they did the, the I'm telling you, the Shuri Black Panther toy or whatever did That's not sell as sale. well <laughs> as as Killmonger and T'Challa, those those right. two toys, they were the most popular. So it stayed on the shelf, and that's where you start looking at. Like you said, it, it you know, uh, uh, what did what did my man say? If Rush Hour followed a rich white man, they already <laughs> know that their money, they know that their money is in T'Challa. They know it is. They know I'm it just, is. Yeah, I'm it's just asking because the way they've been deconstructing T'Challa, the way they've been deconstructing Black Panther, the way they've been disrespecting the IP. I'm I'm just wondering, you know, what I'm saying I get what you're saying, but, but I'm also just wondering just, going forward how but viable I'm, it really is. But I'm gonna tell you this let me, also is as bad as let me just say this real quick. As bad as Lord Voldemort's run, as Lord it, 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 Lord, right, Voldemort. it, Lord Voldemort's <laughs> run, as bad as that one is, he yeah, who shall not be named. <laughs> yeah, but I will say this: he got so much backlash that it started to get in every not just black not just us which this is this is absolutely beautiful all these black brothers are here speaking on t'challa but it got into the white fans as t'challa fans too and so you know right. what this, this this run does suck we it was it change. was recognized generally it as was, a bad run by and everyone even mainstream audiences yep. exactly right. and that's right. why why that's why you're starting to see that ultimate comic when, when we me and chill did that video when that ultimate black panther comes up you have spider-man X-Men and T'Challa as the big three in an ultimate run. Oh, trust what me, they're gonna bring T'Challa back. And I'm I'm telling you, they're gonna they're gonna have to because that's where their moneymaker is at. When you say follow the money, it's crazy. And that do what winds up happening is some people don't touch IPs in damn near every form. I'm, I'm I, I like the fact me and Daryl, we 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 rock with Wakanda IPs, superhero IPs across the spectrum. Someone just mentioned earlier about the merchandise and how it did not sell during the movie last year. During the movie last year, they released another embargo. Yep. Yep. Another, another Killmonger. They released this to shop. 
Now the mm. Chala went off the off the off the rail. They, the they released the Black Panther, the retro throwback Black Panther. We never had that action figure before in the black costume with the mini cape. Then they released the hot toots that I was at. Mm-hmm. None of those figures stayed on the shelves. If you already had an Mbaku, you probably wasn't gonna move on it. If you already had uh if you already had what's it, that gummit? A Koye. A Koye. As the builder figure, you weren't gonna move on the Okoye figure. Nobody mm-hmm. bought that Nakia. We got Nakia in her door Malaje, but mm-hmm. nobody, you can go to oh, I did. right now. You mm. can't find Dora Milaje action figures because that's a troop build. Mm-hmm. But the individual females and then the 12 inch dolls specifically for yeah. girls that yeah. were $39.99 at Target, they $14.99 is still sitting there. Mm-hmm. Mm. Like you said, the money, they know their money is on T'Challa. They get no. they just get ready to release another T'Challa action figure. January 2024. Am I right or wrong, D? Yes. You know, it's funny that you say that, but Buckmeister from Twitter, he mentions that kind of frequently, is that during this whole Wakanda Forever promotion, a lot of times the merchandise that you saw was not Shuri, but it was T'Challa. Everybody knows that yep, he's yep. a franchise because he is the quote-unquote Black Panther. And, you know, it, it's just a shame that those in charge didn't know and recognize that. No, I'm not talking about Kevin Feige to Kamoyo Kid. I'm talking about <laughs> I'm talking to you, Kamoyo. You. Kevin Feige I, really is responsible. Dre, check your uh I'm, I'm on Twitter now. Yeah. But we spend the, we spend the money on the merch. So right. to your point, the the casual doesn't move the needle. It's the comic book fan that moves the needle for the casual. It's the comic book fan that buys the comic books. It's the comic book fan that's going to buy the merch. I got stuff in here right now that's not damn toys. I mean, do we do we really think the casual fan bought this? Spent, got- 120, spent $120 on this. Okay. Hey, let me borrow fifty dollars. But listen, what, about, <laughs> what are some of the things that you guys bought that was what kind of Black Panther merch have you guys bought over the past five years? And I'll start. For example, I bought several action figures. I bought a damn Black Panther lunchbox that I will never use, of course. Um, I bought a Black Panther. It's another lunchbox, but a, a plushy one. Yeah, I see the Moyo beads. Yeah, like. I spent a lot of money over the past five years on merchandise alone. And to your point, I don't think casual fans were doing that. Maybe if they had kids, but, you know, grown folks who have jobs and, you know, tax returns, they're not doing that. We're the ones who are doing that. We're the ones who are buying the shirts. Paul and I went to go see Black Panther up here in Atlanta. Prior to that movie coming out that week, I wore a different Black Panther shirt every day. I bought, before that movie came out, no less than 10 different Black Panther shirts that I wore. I could probably uh, do that. Leading up to the run of that movie. And I've purchased more since then, a couple more since then. I got a but, Black yeah, Panther leather. The casual fans are not, are not doing that because they're not fans. Fan is short for fanatic. We, yep. on this panel, are fanatical about this IP. The people who said it's disrespectful to recast T'Challa, they're not fans. They liked Chadwick Boseman, and they have now deified him, but they are not fans or fanatical about the character. Yeah. That's that's Ooh. basically that's, that's it in a nutshell right there. When you lose a fan, a fanatical, you, don't, you lose one movie ticket for everyone else. For a fan, you lose that rewatch ticket he was going to spend. Yep. And the merchandise was going to be spent, and the recommendations and the word of mouth, which means way more than a trailer that you can post at uh, a scheduled time period at 8 a.m. Pacific. Like, whatever you think you are doing with your promotion does not equal the word of mouth promotion. And when you lose that, you're losing more than just one ticket. It's, it is an exponential loss. Yeah. So, please, them. You know, before Wakanda Forever came out on social media, I was using the hashtag no T'Challa, no ticket. I know a lot of people were against that they wanted us to support the black folks who put their work and effort into the movie but for me it was all about t'challa 
I saw the original movie three times that week. Okay, wow. I saw it Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. The very first time it uh, was released, bought the DVD or Blu-ray. I've seen it multiple times since then. Um, once they kill the character, like you just said, Chill, we're not going to go back and see that movie, especially if we didn't see it once. And my understanding is at least the first 15, 20 minutes, it's a depressing ass funeral. So why would you put yourself emotionally through that? That doesn't That's just make one sense. funeral. You got why? two in the movie. <laughs> Which is why the movie made what five hundred million dollars. The funeral. queen, the queen didn't even get a uh uh the king and the queen didn't get a funeral at all. <laughs> yeah. I'm still trying to figure out who in Jobu is. No woman, no cry. Also, another thing, they changed uh Namor. Now I'm a huge Namor fan. I know there may not be too. many of out there. But I have all of his run from the 90s, his uh, solo book, and plus a whole bunch of his other stuff. Because I was first introduced to him when he was a member of the Avengers. Oh, so I'm a huge fan. Avengers. Ryan yeah. Coogler went and changed him into something that he's not. And there was nothing about that movie as an actual comic book fan that I would have spent my hard on money to see. So, yeah. Mark, is that the run? Is that the run where uh, he discovered he was bipolar? It might be. Yeah. <laughs> That was, that, that was, that was, that's what, um, from, in, from in, yeah. in, in and out yeah. of the water. In and out of the water. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Wasn't, wasn't there some good stories back then? What? 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 John Byrne. John Byrne. And you, I you know John Byrne. Yeah, that was John Byrne. Yeah. yeah. And I think that his suit, he had a suit that was made to help try to regulate. Help. Yep. Yep. Help regulate yeah. his. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. If you, you sound like a comic book fan. Be careful now. Wait. Be careful. Then he went crazy. Wonder. He went crazy wondering. Um. Wandering around and shit. That was, and yeah, that and was made the Griffin his steed. Right, yeah. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. That, I remember that was that. there were like sixty issues. I have every one of those issues. I have uh several of his uh nineteen seventies run of Submariner. I have both many uh volumes that came out back in the nineties. So yeah, and now so, you got the cool cool can. So so is you gonna get, is you gonna get this savage this savage mariner submariner action figure when it drops? If it's like the one from the movie, no. That's no, hell no, hell, hell no. He got long hair and everything like that. He got his, his green swim trunk. This is based on the Marvel comic book. Actually, he got his he green drawers on. on. He got some black, black, black legs. Right. Right. You know, <laughs> I'm, not from the 80s action or I'm not a huge action figure. I'm not a huge uh he got his wrestling guy, trunks whatever. on. I, I do buy action figures. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But I do have a lot of you guys are showing your Funko Pops. I do have a lot of the Funko Pops because of that movie. Now, if it said, you know, Wakanda Forever on it, I'm not buying it. You know, even well, if it's I, on a dollar bargain bin. So this, this is me just shamelessly plugging. Can I get some of the photos of your Funko Pops for to, for Toy Tuesday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Hold up, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold up, wait a minute. Let me stop everything. Theo, you do a Toy Tuesday and you don't see all this I got back here, like. <laughs> Listen, I need them I mean, like pictures. Have you yeah, took that? Come on, man. Listen, I need the stuff. You got the stuff. Send me the that stuff. Take pictures of stuff so we can get toy. Yes, we do toy what's your, what's your Twitter. Again, remind me. What's your Twitter? What's your Twitter? <laughs> Twitter? Mine? Yeah. Um, you see, y'all see me. I S I J Theo B. Theo Butler. I the only one over there. Hell, let me check. <laughs> <laughs> Not to be confused with okay, the other video, Butler. Like, look, you ready? Because I've been confused. No, my I, got day. I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah, man. Listen, to me, Toy Tuesday is about growing the community. Uh, and it ain't even got to be like my told my wife. It ain't got to be action figures. Whatever toys you like, I just want to encourage those that you, you got to be careful about what toys, toys you ask for. <laughs> dude, 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 dude. I'm just saying. I'm just putting it out. Ain't there. nobody here got a rose. Relax yourself. <laughs> Relax Whoa. yourself. Right. And y'all just get him over here. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh man, Trey, did you get that picture I sent you? Yeah, I, I, I said that, and it was funny because I remember watching House of Dragon, and I <laughs> when he said that. That's what it reminds me. Of. Go, go ahead, go ahead and put it on the on the put it up. Oh man, that's hilarious. Oh, hold on. I, I message Herschel while we're at it. Did he get a DM yet to to join this? I did message Herschel. What did he say? Uh, if he said anything back, maybe he didn't. 
uh, he actually is going to be doing a, a video with Buckmeister. Buckmeister did say today that he would like to engage in a uh, a, 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 a uh, respectful debate with him in regards to uh, his his uh, comments on uh, Precast the Child. But it's like 7 a.m. in his time zone right now. <laughs> Where does he what? live? South Africa. He's in South Africa. Oh, okay. Yeah, South Africa. Yeah. So We're talking yeah, about Buckmeister. Well, shout, yeah, shout out to Buckmeister because I honestly was, I was, I didn't think that's what was going to occur, but uh, shout out to Buckmeister for making that go down. I mean, there's no reason why this couldn't have gone down that way. We just had to. Ask. I mean, I would, I would, I would have liked, I, I would have liked, but. <laughs> oh, what's that thing on the left side? Erase that. Oh, what thing man. on the left side? I don't know. There's a character there who I do not recognize. <laughs> and I was oh. best for the actor. Oh. Oh, I, really not... do... I thought you really said John Cena was there, on there, recognize. but you I thought John Cena was on there, but yeah, I don't rec... I don't know who that is. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, now that I focus my eyes, it's just a floating yellow t-shirt, and there is no <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the scene from the, the House of the Dragon. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what that is. Bastard. Wait, isn't that a villain? Isn't that a villain Bastard. there? Bastard. Bastard, isn't it? You, 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 you know have, what? You, you have, have to have watch, watch. You have to watch, watch the show to to get the reference. Can can I say oh, this? I know, it, I know about. I I'll watch House of the Dragon. I know exactly what that is. I'm talking can, can about. Uh, it's crazy how we don't like negative stereotypes, but in this particular movie, we literally signed off on a negative stereotype. A single black mother. That's right. Hey, that's, that that's, what right. that's what we signed up for. We was like, so you mean to tell me even in Wakanda, the most exactly. advanced <laughs> planet, the most advanced nation on Earth. That, that And that, that was a conscious decision, too, because story-wise, it didn't give a lot of backstory about what happened between Black Panther 1 and 2. There's nothing right. that could have said, well, we decided to secretly get married and we had this kid. No, just... I got knocked yeah. up and, and he I sent got, me and away. Got, and they could have easily put that in there if they wanted to. So, so they really, got no vibrating I mean, condoms. Think so about no. it. Think, think, think about the message that sends. You have rich black guy who's a celebrity, knocks up a girl, gives her money, and sends her out of town knocks up the help. with he the kid. was a side piece. I've been telling people that. Mama <laughs> knew who the real female was. She said, no, you got to go with the child. Go, 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 go. Exactly. <laughs> yep. The only time we do that in our culture in our ethnic group, in our society, yeah. we send the baby mama away with money. Yep. Oh, that's cause you not you you just a side piece. You you not his real you can't, female. You, you can't come to the horrible, horrible decision. Yeah, you can't come to the family here, You can't come to the cookout. The, here's the thing, though, especially with that specific decision, that goes against the nature of that specific character. The yep. quote unquote real T'Challa is a very honorable. No, exactly. Exactly. Just not randomly knock up somebody without making them his queen. The whole purpose mm -hmm. of not the whole purpose, but one of the main jobs or functions of being the ruler of a nation is is uh, having another ruler of the nation. It's basically having kids and mm -hmm. having a specific lineage to take over when you're no longer able. It's part of his That's job. That's why, you know, side kids, you know, for those of you who watch Game of Thrones, that's why all of these random spare kids who were bastards mm -hmm. who died were murdered. So because they wouldn't have a claim to the throne. T'Challa, seeing what his father did with Killmonger, wouldn't have done that. You know what I'm saying? So it made no sense in relation to it's the Storytelling wise. I got you for that Game of Thrones. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. I might have read too much Bastards! into it. <laughs> Love that Bastards! scene. Love that scene. I, that I might have read too much into also, it. But they did him in, though, but that scene is also. It is. Do y'all remember when Eric was talking to Shuri in the Dejalia? No. You see know what? You, you, you right for saying that, Mark. You right for saying that. Okay, so <laughs> Eric goes on this tangent. And if I didn't know any better, because we know well victoria alonzo say they wrote it he wrote it i don't know somebody wrote it jobu wrote it but you would <laughs> eric was literally throwing shade at t'challa 
why he was talking to Shorty. And I was mm -hmm. like, because y'all keep saying that Chadwick is T'Challa. Y'all one and the same. I don't say that. Yeah. But you got Eric throwing a lot of shade at, a, at the character that you say is one and the same with the actor. And that never, that, that always seemed to bother me because it's almost like even in the opening, the way they presented it, had T'Challa told Shorty what was going on, she'd have been able to save it. Now, you didn't do everything you can to tie this movie into reality. So we understand, watch this. I know you weren't notified by Chadwick Boseman's family. Team. Yeah, you got notified. I don't think they like Theo. I don't even think they like Chad. Remember, they had the, the money dispute. Like, if we hold on, hold remember on. Remember the money and, dispute and, before everything. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Don't forget it, Blue. Don't forget it. Hold on to it. Right. So you got notified by somebody else's agent. If I'm not mistaken, Denzel Washington. That's how you found out. So you throwing shade on this dude in the movie. He too honorable. Had he opened up his mouth, we'd have saved it. That's what you got, Shooty, telling people about T'Challa. Is that how you really feel about Chadwick Boseman? Go ahead, Blue. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Blue. All I'm just saying is I don't believe. I think they they fed us a whole bunch of bullshit with the whole you know he's family this that and the third. I don't even think that they really like Chadwick. And when I say they, I mean Nate, um, Ryan, Kevin Feige. They had the money dispute before. Uh, yep. They started filming After. Wakanda forever before, After you know, and all of that was going on. So and we don't know what really came of that. It might have been some bad blood. Yeah. This was the way to get yeah. him out of that. Here's my, remember, here's my thing, though. Did take over Black Panther 1 as far as directing duties? Here's my yeah. thing, though. Pe the cat, you know, people always talking about the cast and their feelings and things of that nature. And they were so close and they were friends. He was family, whatever. My thing, and I always, you know, point back to this. If they were so close, if they were so tight in such a family, why is it that none of them knew that he was ill? I've oh. known Paul for almost 30 years. If I had a fatal disease, Paul would be one of the five people outside of my biological family who would know. OK, so why do they sit up here? You know, when I say they, I'm talking about the so-called fans of this character. Why do they sit up here and keep pointing to the cast and ignoring his brother you know so it just things don't make sense it doesn't add up actors Cop get paid to act <laughs> right. before, oh. you can tell me it's an ugly mean thing all you want to but i don't watch people because i'm in improv and theater turn on tears like this right. yep. so because we sit and watching somebody in an interview cry we know that's going to have emotional ramifications so mm -hmm. we just accept Here's another question I have, though, with this whole thing. God, How does having another actor in that role prevent the actors and cast from grieving Chadwick? How does that it's work? A, it's a bunch of bullshit. Because, well, yeah, like, right there. There. because like the Blue said, we, we, and after after the success of Black Panther, uh, the first Black Panther movie, Chad went, went to go rene renegotiate his, his contract when Bob Chapek was, was the head of uh, Disney, the head of Disney at that time, they rejected his offer and started making rumors about Shuri being the next, the next Black Panther. Right after that, they came, they came literally right after the success of Black Panther. So we already know all that was some bullshit because they were going to try to write him out of the next movie anyway. That's Here's why they anyway. went with the whole black well, can, the, can the bad thing. Here's the can thing, though. I've <laughs> seen, I've seen stories that said that he was signed up until Black Panther 3. I've seen articles about, yeah. you know. But he so. wanted more money. He wanted, because if I made $1.3 billion and I have the highest grossing Marvel film that is not a team-up movie, yeah, we're going to renegotiate this contract because I'm making penny now after the success, I'm making pennies on the dollar. You know what yeah, I mean? Right, right. Remember Iron Man, remember the reason why uh, we got a new roadie was because of Terrence um, Howard. Howard. contract, right? Terrence, but it's not just Terrence Howard. What's call it? Got more money too. Um, Robert Downey Jr. Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. Yep. Jr. went and renegotiated his contract. So yeah, if you're gonna make me the face, pay me. Let Remember, me, let me ask supposed this question. To let me ask this question if you don't mind, Blue, because you're absolutely right. Chadwick Boseman passing. We didn't um talked about it. I don't want to say ad nauseum, but we talked about Ryan Coogler suffering and everything like that. I, I always ask this question, and you get 
the 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 anti recast the cast was a tap out of it. What which one was more traumatic? We we in the midst of filming. You die over the weekend. We're not done filming. Got to stop filming. I got to console your family because you got a young daughter. Mm. We got to have a funeral. I got to get my ish together because we still in the midst of filming. We got to start filming again. Oh, by the way, I still got to look at your brothers because they're both your younger brothers are on the set to play your body doubles. Mm -hmm. Which cast do you think had it more harder emotionally? The cast that had to carry on in the midst of filming or the cast that was home for months, months. after the exactly. past. That's the thing, that's the thing exactly. that's so disingenuous. They always, they being the anti-casters, as I call them, they always want to point to the, the crew and his co-workers. The crew and co-workers had literally 10 months to deal with the grief of Chadwick's passing. He died in August, They uh, August 2020. They started filming in June or July of 2021. Okay, yep. you mean this? I'm not saying that there is a time limit on grief, but it's not like you said that he died on Friday and we're asking you to be back at work on Monday. And oh, by the way, mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. seven of us here probably have real jobs. We probably have friends at our jobs who we're close with. If our friends die today on Sunday, guess where y'all black ass is going to be tomorrow? You're going to be at work collecting work. a check. You're not going to yeah. have 10 days, let alone 10 months, to deal with the grief of your co-workers passing. So that's another disingenuous, illogical argument that they come up with. You you, you know what, what killed me? Flag on the play. Got, got, absolutely got a flag on the play. You, you, <laughs> you know what killed me more than anything else is when they say I love Chadwick. That's when I... That's when I hold on. Well, no, you see it. That's why. That's when I sit back and I look in. I look and I get offended. I say, say that one more time. You say you love Chadwick. I'm looking for you to be for me and you to be able to bond on this particular moment in time. But no, you honestly don't love Chadwick because you can't tell me a damn thing about Chadwick. It's in the that's comment what, section. That, that's where the problem come with me at you because I can sit up here today. I think we saw it today on the live. I'm still emotional about Chadwick's past. Who's do it, Lewis? That that, was a, that's that's Herschel. Oh, all right. In the, be, it's before in Herschel the, gets in the comments, in, before Herschel gets in here, I want to talk to Mark about his question. The experience that the cast will feel when someone else is playing T'Challa is a negative one. It's going to be a sad one. It's definitely something. Even if it's eleven months later, I get it. And that is not a strong enough reason for absence of the most highly impactful dark skin character that's ever happened in a world. Yeah. No, keep keep going. I want to say something. I've, I've yeah. said this stuff before. I've said it all before. But but here's the thing: these people are literally professional pretenders. So you <laughs> right. can exactly. feel whatever you, know you no, want to feel. But when that camera is on, you pretend like you are okay, mm -hmm. and you can go cry when the camera stops. You can get to therapist, whatever the case may be. That is not enough justification for the character to be. On. But anyway, guys, I'm about to bone out so I can finish watching this game, get me something else to eat. It was fun. Thank you, Dre, Matt, Chill, Blue, no Paul, D-Real, Theo. Thank you guys for having me on. I'm going to leave to give Herschel the floor. Bye, everyone. Me too. Um, I'm going to give my wife quality time. Quality time. <laughs> you know, Herschel, like, y'all don't leave now. <laughs> y'all yeah, just asked to talk to Herschel. He, he came on and he bounced. Exactly. Wow. Uh, What's I welcome feel, uh, Herschel to the uh I welcome Herschel to the uh Drake Mac show. Can y'all hear me good? Yeah, we can hear yeah, you. Yeah. First of all, thank you for having me. Uh great topic. I was able to see I don't know, maybe the first 15 minutes, and then uh Paul pulled me in. So I'm glad to be aboard. Y'all show tonight. All right, so uh, we've been in here. We're going on a three-hour mark, and we're not going to go any more. We're not going to go four hours, but, of course, your video oh, was the topic. Yeah, so your video, of course, was the topic of a lot of discussion in here, uh, the topic that you made on TikTok uh, about the video game. And uh, I don't know if you know, but I'm the one who actually created the petition of play as a child for that video game for EA Sports. 
And I don't know if you watched the video or if you read the petition, but I put that information in the petition about why playing T'Challa is important and what will happen if T'Challa is not represented in that video game. So I know that you posted the video game. I'm giving you an opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Because I appreciate you being on here. I'm giving you an opportunity mm -hmm. to, to, to tell us, you know, uh, about the TikTok video. Where was, you know, your logic on that? And then we, we'll, we'll go from there. Well, I, I came in and I saw, I believe the gentleman looking straight at DLB. He, uh, I'm not sure how, he, I mean, it's social media. So I'm pretty sure people get, get with the videos. Um, this was a video that Dion Donovan made and he was asking about, am I going to buy it? One of the first, first things that stuck out. Now I'm not sure if the reference you're making to the, the petition is the one that I actually shared with Theo is the same one. Is that the same one you made? Yeah, you show you, you share. Yeah. That's my, petition. Yeah, it's got like 113 signatures, but it looked like somebody yeah. was trying to get it, trying to get folks to boycott, which is very, very similar except just uh, via game. This one was uh, via game last year. It was the movie. So that's what kind of put me in the mind for that. So in my head, it's like, that was a big push for a, reca for a uh, recasting of T'Challa. And now we have a game, the same type of sentiments. Granted, we didn't, certain people didn't get what they wanted uh, last year in the Wakanda Forever movie. And now uh, supposedly we're getting a World War II Black Panther is going to be in there. And then we're getting another standalone Black Panther. I think. And my attitude was like, she has been a long time since I've seen a black lead character in a video game. Um, I, I did, wasn't able to actually, actually I did play the Avengers game. The Black Panther mechanics was cool. He had his own standalone story. It could have really, it was DLC. That could have really just been its own thing. They could have just made that a game on the side. I enjoyed it. It it was T'Challa, but I, for for me, I just enjoyed the game. Now we're, we're hearing mumblings of if there might not be a T'Challa. My attitude is, I'm going to play it regardless, but that's me. Um, that's my choice. That's what I'm going to do with my funds because I'm, I'm a superhero, black superhero guy first. So let me say that. As a matter of fact, before I even continue, is there anybody on this chat who does not like T'Challa? Could you raise your hand? Great. You're so the only, one, you're the only one whose hand is up. I, I, I'm, yeah, you're I'm the only one whose hand okay. up. I'll put a, I'm raising my hand to show that's what I mean, but no, my hand's down. I'm a T'Challa fan. Paul knows that. But I'm also, Paul also no, know. <laughs> Paul also know. Wait, wait, wait. Paul also know. I'm a critic. I am a critic of T'Challa, but the critic of people's writing. And so is uh, Paul. Paul's an extreme critic on who writes uh, 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 T'Challa, and he should be. Uh, so back to the questions you asked. I'm, I'm going to hear Blaine explain. Uh, so, yeah, for me, it really felt like this is more about a recast. And guess what it is? Folks want, it's more about the casting the right character. So, Folks want T'Challa to be in there. For me, it doesn't really matter. But that's my prerogative. That doesn't make me love or like T'Challa any less. And so, I don't know, somehow, some way, uh, I made a point to say, well, I'm, I'm going to get to that. I made a point to say, oh, not, I said most, key word there, Theo, I said most T'Challa fans aren't gamers. Everybody runs out and starts showing their video games. I didn't say all of y'all. I said most. And that might be me reaching. I'll give you that. But nobody said all y'all who like T'Challa, including myself, are gamers. So I said most. That was taken out of context, and that and that was great. It's, it's great for social media. We can talk about that, and we can run, and gives us something to talk, gives us something to be angry about. But at the end of the day, everybody on this call is a T'Challa fan. Everybody on this call would love to see T'Challa join join an MCU another day. But guess what? I'm just not crazy about it enough to maybe go to the extremes that some things and go to the extremes of what some people have things that some people have said you know i'm not gonna blame this and blame that i'm because i'm a black superhero person first i'm gonna go after who's hot i'm gonna do my thing I, I i'm not i'm not super hyper focused as others with when it comes to t'challa and that needs to be understood i'm just not as hyper focused on making sure that he comes back and I have my reason. Like we can go into okay, detail. I, I okay, so, so let me let me let me, let me let me go real quick, Theo, and then I'm gonna let you go. So because mm -hmm. because I want to just base it on uh, where I'm coming from as far as number one, T'Challa is very important. Now I understand you're a gamer, 
So you're not going to be as hyper focused on what's going on and say maybe me or maybe, you know, Daryl or Theo or, or maybe others. So but I get because I'm a gamer. But, uh, but not because no, I'm a gamer. But but let me let, let me let me explain. Or you're just not hyper focused just because you're you. You know what I'm saying? You're who you are. So I'm not mm -hmm. denying that part. Because you can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want with your money. You can do whatever you want as far as what you say. But even in that tone, even when you put it in on TikTok, or you make a video or something like that, it's going to come with some heat. So let me just tell you that for me, when you say that, it, you know, I'm a black, you know, I'm a black superhero person. I get that. But when you're talking about that main superhero, the one that because if it wasn't for him, you know what I'm saying? We wouldn't have all these other black heroes, especially Ooh. how detrimental. Yeah, because yeah, he's a, the first mainstream superhero. Unless he's we go to Black Negro, uh, he's, not he's the a first. He's the first. He's the first. Hold up, wait a minute. Nope, he's, he's the, the first, first black man. Marvel. He's I got to correct you, brother. Black mainstream superhero. That's not true. Yeah, uh, he's the I, first. I, black, I, let, I me, let, me, let me let me let me explain. Let me let me explain because you, you you're cutting me off. So let me explain. He's the first black mainstream superhero because before that you have other uh, other superheroes. Black Negro comics. I know you heard of black uh, all black Negro comics, right? So you had. Yeah, so you, so you, but you had you had an old Negro publication that came out in the 1940s. So those were very important. But when you're talking about the mainstream comic book that everybody's going to, DC, Marvel, it's T'Challa, and everybody follows suit after the rise of T'Challa. So let's get that focus. When you're looking at that character, and when you're looking at when Jack Kirby said that I I wanted to get a character that was an anti stereotype because there was other black characters that was out there very detrimental to the black community. You know what I'm saying? Whether they had big lips, you know what I'm saying? They talk with a slur, they talk with old Negro spiritual type of sounds. Any of that was not a representative of our community like T'Challa was. So T'Challa was that anti stereotype. So when you're looking at that, yes, that is going to be important when everything else is a stereotype when it comes to us. So yes, when I see your video, I got smoke. Because when you're looking at the how detrimental taking that character away, when you got little black kids, little white kids, Mexican kids, people of all colors, black seeing a black superhero, you know what I mean? That they could be able to have their character in, and then you take them away, Yes, that's going to be detrimental because that black stereotype that we have, you know what I'm saying, gets to carry on, but not the one that's the anti stereotype. So that's where I have my problem at. Yeah, we got we got tons of heroes. We actually we want to talk about kids. Number one, the kids, the folks that kids, especially our boys, should be looking up to is the fathers, not fictional characters. But I get it. I, we all we all went through that phase. We looked up to fictional characters. I get it. Well, we got black men in, in the household too. But, I, but to your point, I get it. But guess what? I got more in common with this guy right here, who's an American superhero, than I ever would with a billionaire prince every day of the week. Hey, you, you know what, thank you. Hold on. Thank thank you. Falcon. Falcon. Who's that Falcon? Kachala is extremely important. He is extremely important. He is an A-list a superhero. He is very important. He is the first one for Marvel. But he's not the first mainstream because we have to remember Golden Age, everybody was fighting for some fixed on camera. Everybody was fighting for supremacy. And the same books that would stand up there with Mar uh, with Marvel was the so same who was? Other superheroes. Who was other than BP? We 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 leaving we leaving the topic, and I don't want to leave the topic. Yeah, I, know, so, I, just, want, I just want to know who was about that. I, I just want to know who, who, who was. Yeah, yeah. So so, Black Comet Lord, mm -hmm. founded the group, founded the group. They doing a, we all doing a great job. Uh, we got different I, opinions. Bro, the, the, the resume, the name says enough for me. I don't need the resume. I did that ain't what this is about. Okay. Because your name says what your resume is. Mm -hmm. So when you are on, somebody asked you, are you going to get the game? That's mm -hmm. what them forget to no question. And I but you question. chose, you but chose I the question how I want to answer. Not how you, you chose to, to educate, you chose to educate the brother. He's a casual. Cause see, that's I need not, this to be understood right here, right now. That's the same The only that way we, the only way we understand one another is if we don't talk over each other. Okay, you're right. So, you're the expert. I'm not a casual. I want to make sure we, you and I both understand that. I'm not a casual. I'm also not obsessed. So, me and you both understand that. So we can, so we can get rid of the passive aggressive words. We don't need that. We too, we we both grown. So with you being the adult, 
you chose to mention recast the chala. Now, this is what you did. You said we weren't gamers. Now, you use the word most. Um, Herschel, you don't know most people on this planet. You know the pe most no. of the people that you know. Right. Right? So we can understand that. I don't know most people. I know most of the people that I know. So mm -hmm. even in that statement, you tried to disparage recast T'Challa as if we didn't know a damn thing about video games. But you didn't stop there. That wasn't enough. See, you being a black comet lord honestly is enough. But what you chose to do is then double down on it and say, we casuals, we don't know the comic book material. In a video that was less than 10 minutes, in a video, hey, I got the videos on my phone. In a video that in a video that was less than 10 minutes, where a gentleman came to you, the comic book expert, to find out whether you were going to buy the video game or not. Not, not whether or not you was going to do something in regards to recast the child. He didn't ask about that. He asked you, Herschel, the Black Panther expert, were you going to buy the video game? Yes or no? You chose to introduce recast the child into a conversation Absolutely. we weren't a part of. But then when I chose to comment, I didn't do no video on you. I commented. In that video, your response to somebody whom you did not know, and I don't still believe you took the time to find out, you chose to be passive aggressive once again. You even said, well, you could be a casual. Bro, I vetted you before I responded to you. My question to you is, as a black comic book expert, why you couldn't just keep it where it was? Okay. Because you told the truth. You told Let the truth at the question. end of my video. What did you say? I don't care. You don't care. That was your answer. You don't care. Well, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Question. You don't care, right? That was your response. You don't care. You literally repeated it on this panel. You don't care. That was your answer to the gentleman that asked you whether you going to buy it or not. I don't care. Right. I'm going to buy it. Okay. So here's the thing. First of all, me and you have cross paths. You've tried to, you came into the Black Superheroes Forever group. Me, you uh, bumped heads there because you were trying to post something that had nothing to do. Two years ago. Thank you so much for telling me something I just told them today that took place two years ago. Yeah, but, but wait, 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 wait. The video. You just Thank told you. everybody that I didn't know you. And we do no, know I, you. No, 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 no. I told them I, I that might have been what it was, you. but you just but said it for the world. Right? Thank you. I just you said, said it for the world. Too. You just said, so you told you told your teammates or your, 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 your the gentleman on this panel or certain people that you don't that you knew me, but you just told us in front of everybody that you that no, I, no, no, no. I never that said I knew you, do I never see that's the thing you talk so much you don't listen. I didn't say I knew you, I said I could have had a run in with somebody from that particular group, and I'm not sure, but it could be. See, if you no, stuck to the fact instead of assuming right. stuff, instead of throwing you allegations out there, baseless allegations, all right, can I ask you a question? You can be able to stand on fact alone, but you can't stand on fact, you want to lie. Two people on this, two people that's going back and forth love to tell. Maybe one more than the other. I'll give you that. Um, I don't even know why we arguing, but I will tell you why I responded to you that way. Because me and you have actually talked in the uh in the DM before. We've talked in the DM before about that's why that's, no, no, we talked so, today. No, 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 no. You want to bring up two, not, three years ago. You supposed to move beyond two, three years ago. You and I had a romance conversation today. You and I had a romance conversation today. And you choose to want to hang on something that honestly I can't even remember. Hold on, guys. Theo, Theo, pause, pause, pause. Thank you behind the scene for the super chat. I understand. I, I love spirited debates about fandom and, and blurred them and comic books and what have you, but you talking about two years ago. <laughs> understand. We, we are <laughs> Hershel, Hershel, shut up. Shut up for a second. Hershel, pause, pause. Let me just let me just say my piece. Let me say my piece. Hold on a second. Hold on, guys. Let's make, Let let's make sure, yeah, let's make sure that we speak it one at a time. Let's be respectful. Let's uh, let let's have a let's have a conversation. Let's get some respect, things out of there so respect. we can be able to go forward. Fellas, go ahead, go ahead, P. We're grown ass black men who are nerds and enjoy comic books, and we're arguing and yelling at each other like we're talking politics and religion and stuff. Uh, let's 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 take a step back. I, I look. I, 
to, as I mentioned before, I, I haven't seen okay. these videos except for the ones you just showed me right now. I mean, uh, you guys know my feelings on Black Panther. I'm as passionate, if not more passionate, than any of you guys on Black Panther. I, my 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 resume speaks for itself, so to speak. <coughs> um, but we 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 got to be respectful in our discussion. Right. So Hers Herschel is 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 one of the most passionate. Um, comic book black superhero comic book fans you will meet i have to push back and say he's not the biggest black panther fan but he is a black superhero fan um he's very knowledgeable about black black comic books can i give him the benefit of the doubt and ask her to this question because he's made a point of it what did i say two years ago that bothered you and whatever i said i just want you to know i apologize whatever i listen, said back then listen let me let me respond with this I'm not a yes or no kind of guy. I know that you're looking. You're looking for me. To no, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, I'm saying just, I'm sorry. Just it's fine. Whatever it was. Just fine. You just came to me in a nice tone. You cool. You mellow. I don't want to respond back. You crazy. So here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. I think this is the best move for everybody else that's watching too. Let's move on for the past because guess what? You got books on your back wall just like me. You're passionate about black characters. At the end of the day, me and you ain't really got no beef or really about nothing. <laughs> You I really don't. You like guys that. got more. You guys got more in common than you. Guys. I, I like we that. do. So, Hershey, we do. How do we get all these black characters? Because I don't want just one. I don't want you hey, to think that I didn't. I'm so talk. glad you said that. I don't want just a song. Hold, hold on, hold on. I'm so glad, Theo, you said that because in the third video that wasn't shown that I sent to Bushmaster, Mister Guy, the kid from South, uh, South, uh, South Africa, I showed, I talked about that. I didn't want them all, and I get <laughs> black. Listen, guys. In the name of Bass, we all know Black Panther is missed. Listen, Paul, tell him. Who cried out to Do not Panther invoke Panther. the name of our... Well, Paul did already God say, Paul said you like God. it, but you don't like it like that now. So we're going to give you well, all no, that. No, you no, like no, it. No, 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 no. <laughs> but, but that's Paul's opinion. I get on... Listen, when, when T'Challa got beat up by um, Captain America... We don't, we don't, don't talk about... We, we like don't that. invoke his name around listen, here. Listen, I was just... I got a video on YouTube about how shocked I was. But... I had to make. I had to say what I had to say, but when T'Challa's on top, I'm right there, right there, right on that horse, right, right with Paul. When T'Challa takes an L, I'm like, hey man, what's happening? I, I, I'm that guy. That has nothing to do with T'Challa. They ain't got nothing to do with black characters. That got a lot to do with me though. So I don't okay, want to. Sure. So let's get back to the video game stuff. Listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now, now the it, thing it, is, because I don't, Drake, I don't want you today. thinking. I don't want you thinking that I'm mad or any of us are mad that you want to buy a video game. I know there's no different yeah, than what I to go care. see the movie. Yeah, I don't care what you do with your money. Yeah, that, yeah. That man, your it. money, your ducats. Wait. I'm never going to tell another man another adult to do it. Finish, but... finish. You guys are offended because I made you guys feel like you guys don't play games. And no, don't... I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you because I don't like another man telling me what I feel. I'm gonna tell you exactly where I had a problem with. Mm -hmm. I had a problem when you start talking about the man who could go to anybody. And then you bring up, then you invoke the name of Casper Cole. Yeah, nah, like nah, got, oh, oh, okay. oh, 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 that's a stretch. That. You know what I'm saying? That that that's a stretch. And mm -hmm. then and mm -hmm. then I'm gonna tell you the way that I'm 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 telling you. Listen, Herschel. I'm telling you, as a man from a man to another man, I'm telling you, this is where I had a problem with, and this is what I felt. I felt in my spirit that when you said, well, I don't really care, that all right, it doesn't matter what, and, and this is the problem that I have with a lot of anti recast Well, it doesn't matter who has anti recast Oh, my God. Don't, don't say that. Listen, wait a minute. For her, <laughs> stop. Stop. What I'm saying, what I have a problem with a lot of anti recasters when they say, well, it doesn't matter who gets it. We just want representation, yada, yada, yada. That's cool, but do we say that about white characters? Uh, right. You know, it, it, you know what I'm saying? We don't say, we don't say that about white characters. And her, that man, dude don't know you, dog. That dude right. don't know what you know. Yeah. He don't know what no. you know about Casper Cole. That was my whole thing. Like, bro, he ain't going to know what you know about Casper Cole. He not. He gonna take yeah. what you told him, that bit of information. He's a casual. He gonna run with it, and cause we know it ain't that many of us that know that much about this character. That's gonna be one more damn dude out there t saying some dumb stuff, and that's yeah. all I was saying. That's that's it. That ain't, that ain't, that's not how it was. Okay, here's the thing: there's a transmitter, and there's a receiver. Just like I transmitted some, y'all didn't receive. You guys didn't receive it. Folks on TikTok received it a certain kind of way as well. So most of it was positive. But guess what? 
That guy that you're talking about is not a casual. It's actually one of my partners. He knows about cash codes. But to your point, to your point, Theo, there's about a billion out there who don't. I get it. But my thing was, and I even brought it up in the second video, you can go Google who that character is. We're in an information age. I can literally sit right here as I'm talking to y'all, book a flight, book a hotel. There's no excuse for you to say, oh, who's Casper Cole and go and Google it. Now, we no way saying who. We're saying, why are you invoking the name of Casper Cole when you're talking because about Casper anybody can have the mantle? He didn't even have the mantle of Black Panther. He was walking Perfect. around, basically grabbed the suit and start, you know what I'm yep. saying, being a vigilante with the suit. Basically. It wasn't like he was the king of Wakanda. It wasn't Listen. like he took over because, you he know, the king was incapacitated or dead. And like, come on, dog. When you start talking, you, start dude, talk, dude. He, you, did you the, he did not go through the rituals, bro. He did not get the the, get the put, same way for it. He put on the mask. Listen, all of that. Nobody said that, but you know what he did do? He went under the guys. Guess what? The first time Sam Wilson was Captain America, he was not given that shield. He put you on. You know that. I know that. Yeah, guess what? And guess what? You can easily go online to figure that out. They not I gonna know. do that. You know that, Herschel. Herschel. The casual fan ain't Googling the damn thing other than the latest rap lyric. You know that, Herschel. <laughs> listen, listen, you know listen, that, Herschel. Yeah, so, deal, so, deal, to your point, if the casual fan is not going to do it, then it don't matter, right? If he ain't no, going to do it, out on Twitter. Thank you for I, don't the, know, uh, listen, I don't know what you're going through on Twitter or X, but them casual fans that don't know what the hell they're talking about, Soon mm -hmm. as we say something about recast the child, they coming out the damn woodworks, spitting all kind of foolishness, nonsense, ignorance. And we'll some of them. it is because go, go they're going off with half information. Go deal with them because you can look at Black Comic Lords TikTok. You can look no, at no, Black I, Comic I, Lords. No, I don't want you to think I'm going to see, well, I, But see, Herschel, I'm going to tell you something. We got you're dodging, we you're do. dodging what we're no, saying. Me, me and well, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you right now, you're Barry Sanders right now because you're dodging with a lot I'm saying. I'm saying, oh when you get with, because when you go on TikTok and you start talking about Black Panther and the mantle could go to all these different people and you never give the reference of Who's the main character of the Black Panther comics? And who has been at their point in time was the Black Panther <coughs> and why? There is a there is a subject and a predicate that needs to be said. You never went there. You just said, hey, well, you let didn't. Me, you let just me, said, let me not well, dodge you. Well, you said, well, Casper Cole. Now, you're the Black Comic Glory. I'm just Dre Mac. This is the Dre Mac show. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I got a ton. Mm -hmm. I got a ton of comics right here that I could just be like, oh, well, I could bring a reference here. I could bring a reference there. But I don't want to. I want you, you as a black comic lord to teach me what I don't know. And if you say something that doesn't sound right, oh, I might have something for you. I might say that doesn't sound right. That's all we're yes. saying. So when you, when you do when you explain it, you didn't explain it to a point where someone who actually knows what you're talking about can be like, hmm, you know what? That don't sound too bad. I like what Theo said earlier. Herschel, why you ain't just say uh 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 yay or nay on it, right? I chose to go into some detail. You know, can anybody raise their hand and say every time y'all drop a side? That's what it happens. You see, you Can anybody shifting. on this call? Let me finish. Can anybody on this video with our line say that y'all made reference to something and didn't pause and go on and on and on and describe all, everything about this carry? It happens all the time, brother. Give me, Man, give I, me some I, grace. I get there. On give it, me some grace. Here's a person. You're Please a knowledgeable person, but you got to know that this is what we're dealing with. How many people say Shooty became the Black Panther, but they can't tell us how? You say know that, we wait, did. That with that. I can't hear you. Say that again. I'm sorry. You, there are people out there, casuals, that love to say Shooty became the Black Panther. Can't tell you how. Don't care how. But they, because they got that little piece of information that somebody went and told them, they take it and run with it. That's where that's the education happen. piece comes in. And that's because they're not gonna Google not a damn thing, even though it's right there, like you said, it's 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 a Google button away. They're not going to do it. That's where the education process come in with us. We got to educate them. So okay. I'm just, like I said, man, I'm good with you. I'm good. And I don't mean it like that because that don't sound like it's supposed to. I, but the, I know we, we, good. Good. We, we, we good. good. We good. We good. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> we good. If, <laughs> if, if, listen, I, I hear I hear something, something else was said. You said you don't care. Let me explain to y'all in thorough. I don't want to be Barry Sanders. I'll be more like a Najee Harris right now. Cause he ain't dodging no time. Man, don't do that. Don't don't still Come on, bro. bro. Still. bro. Listen, listen. <laughs> the reason why I don't, and let me let me make this abundantly clear, abundantly clear, respectfully though, in the right tone. This black superhero that was created by Stanley and Jack Kirby in July of 1966 does not own. We do not own him or his IP. 
when these white boys at these, these exactly these Marvel companies decide that they're gonna make T'Challa uh, 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 gay, tall, fat, skinny, white, whatever they want to do, they gonna do it. We can get on all these YouTubes. We can do. We can do. We can get on Twitter. So, so you're saying, hold up, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going to have to stop you. So you're saying we have no voice? So you're saying, so you're, hold up, let no, me, no, hey, no, wait a minute. Want, you you said we don't have no voice? I want the man to put words in your mouth. You just okay. said that. And I want to hold you to, I want you to hold you to the same thing. When they make all this stuff, when they do all these things, you know what I do? If I don't like it, I don't buy it. But what else I do, I, I recognize that if they remove T'Challa, okay, I was also one of the ones that actually signed the petition, by you. A lot of people, I, I believe, allegedly was crying didn't sign that petition and that petition was actually kind of low it should have been higher we had but, but that's a whole nother conversation we could have on that i video. signed it and had my own petition as well so yeah, go ahead. <laughs> i, I might I, I signed emails or whatever that was I, I thought that was the official one so if i didn't sign yours i apologize but <laughs> they removed when they removed t'challa out of the equation when chad the day chat with bozeman died most of us cried if you had a real connection I cried because it was a man. I cried because, wow, he did so much. Paul even knows Black Panther is my favorite superhero movie of all time. But I'm not going, but I'm, but I'm going to also stand firm on this. I go to the next, I go to the next man up. And the next man up, I don't like Balkan that saying, well, he's the next, I'm going to support him. Actually, I'm sorry. The next person up is Monica Rambeau, which is sitting right here. And guess what? I'm going to do whatever I can to promote and push. And, and, I, and awesome. I'm not saying, I'm not, and we can that's do awesome. both. I'm not saying that I'm, I'm not saying I'm doing nothing for, for T'Challa, but I also recognize that Marvel Comics, if you've been opening up your eyes, got a real big agenda right now. A lot of, a lot, okay, let me, let, so, so I'm not on, they I'm do. not on Black Comic Lords, but we can run that uh, reel that says, these are just Herschel's words, and so pause and then be like, no, no, man, no. You know man, how many no, times no. I look for that damn button while I'm on this yeah, line? Yeah, so, <laughs> but, but, but guess what, guys? They got an agenda going. And right now they're in the mud, and I made that video too. And so that, so if you all gonna send e email each other, send that video too, because it actually defined clears up everything I'm saying now. They're in the mud, and I know what a lot of y'all thinking. Use T'Challa in Black Panther is a billion dollar film to get yourself out of that mud, but they're not thinking like that. And there's nothing we can do right now. You know why they're not thinking like that? These are the same clowns that say, you know what? Let's make Wonder Man black. Uh, Chill Margaret talks about temporary uh, yep. uh, representation all the time. Their I mind is it. totally away, bro. So you know what I'm it doing? Is. I'm buying the comics and I'm reading the comics, well, and we're promoting as black comic lords. But I'm not. But listen, let me finish. Let me finish my last point. I'm gonna shut mm -hmm. up and let y'all talk because I know I'm bad at cutting people off. And I apologize to y'all. But in the meantime, in between time, it's all about all these guys. And that's what I'm gonna push. So if something, if T'Challa actually dies, if 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 Eve Ewan kills him, which I, I y'all don't man. Him, does y'all don't go speak that crazy. into existence? Hey, hey, we don't talk I, like that. I don't want to listen. If she kills him, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna say wow, and I'm gonna look at all y'all. I'm gonna look at all y'all first to see what y'all gonna say. Because I know I'm, it's I'm, gonna, I'm gonna, gonna tell crazy. you. I'm gonna tell you what me and your problem is, Herschel. You gonna laugh when mm -hmm. I say it. Me and you, me and you, too much alike. Probably. Me, me and you too much isn't that what I just said? Me and you too much like. And you know what? <laughs> ain't, ain't nothing wrong with that. So um in regards to I swear nobody to listens to me. To, to your <laughs> they, I mean, he did say that earlier. I'm, 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 <laughs> as he real was saying, that's, why, that's why I find this whole he, conversation amusing. He, he said that <laughs> so, a lot earlier this stream. The y'all were more like the y'all are different. Most people that you clash with, this this, it, this happens. Sometimes it's not always like that. So, but I'm glad me and Theo are, are good. That's a good. That's a yeah, good. yeah, 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 man. I, I feel, that, for, for the record, I have these same type of clashes with Herschel all the time. Every day. And then we're like, man, who's the bigger nerd? Me or you? Me or you? I'm not a nerd. I'm not a nerd. I'm not a See, nerd. This, but that's this, another conversation. This, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. So, this is what I got to deal with. Steve Urkel's a nerd. I'm not Steve Urkel. I can't do it. I'm with you when you, you say this. To that. I'm, I'm with you when you say this. <laughs> I believe all of us feel like there's an agenda at Marvel. Don't make no sense. Uh, I think That's it's uh, Patrick question. alluded to. You follow the dollars. Well, we can't follow the dollars at Marvel because that trail of money ain't lead nowhere. It's, well, I kind of got an idea where it's going, but that's besides oh. the point. That, you know, that, oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> look, bad movies don't get released on purpose. Anyway. Um, See. I'm about, I, here's uh, what I wait a minute. You got to walk that back, buddy. You got to walk yes, that yes, back. Indeed. 
What bad movie? Bad, bad I, movie get released on purpose all the time. I was being sarcastic. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be I'll be very, very sarcastic. Here's where I'm at. I'm not looking for nobody to do what I'm gonna do. Um, I like black characters. I'm gonna fight for the black characters. Herschel, I'm not gonna give up on the character. I'm not asking that you that you fight for the character. You 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 do what you do. Y'all got Wakanda and whiskey. I can't drink no whiskey, so I'm gonna have to come kick it on Wakanda and everything like that. Do what you feel. You can come. You can better. come through anytime, Thea. Appreciate appreciate that, Pastor. Definitely, and I will. It's Friday. Do what you feel <laughs> is Wakanda best. And whiskey, I'm down. Do what you do. Do what you feel is best for you, for T'Challa and all black characters in general because at the end of the day that's what we want you to do we want mm -hmm. you to fight we, we we want you to fight and all of us not gonna fight the same way we, we we're not we're not all gonna fight the same way and we we don't have to thanks we Jesse. just have to remember at the end of the day what the goal is and i think from this conversation regardless of whether we're talking about t'challa monica rambo um miles morales jefferson pierce john stewart things that i think what we all want are those characters to be elevated. Uh, Herschel, if she kill off, well, I'm not going to do that. But if something happened like that, bro, you look at the back of the wall, like you said, I'm, I'm rocking with all of them. Right? Leave no man behind. Leave no sister behind. Leave no brother behind. So uh, I just wanted to say that. Um, <laughs> and, and, and um, I'm sorry. Let me let me just let me just go real quick. This, this was no way it did. I don't want you to feel like you know, that we're attacking you personally because I don't know you from a can. Yeah, I, I just didn't want you to be like, are they bringing me on? They try to, I don't want you to think like, I don't know you from a can of paint. You know what I'm saying? This is my first interaction with you. And I, like I said, I appreciate you really coming on to even have this conversation. What I'm looking at is just what you're saying. And like I said, and Theo said it best. You can do what you want. We want to fight for all these characters. We we want representation from from all sides. At the same time, I'm going to fight for this character that I feel like Marvel, in whatever agenda they're pulling, whatever the fuck they're doing, I don't care. I'm trying to get my that character out of the mud and trying to elevate and make sure that he's still in the zeitgeist. I got boys. My oldest son is 19. My youngest son is eight. They named their, their dog T'Challa. You know what I'm saying? I got to make sure that T'Challa is just not the dog. That T'Challa is the representation when they read comics, when they play video games, when they put on their T-shirts, when they look at Black Panther, they think it's T'Challa. That's why I'm mad. You might, you might say, I will, you know, whatever you feel, I'm not mad at you. I'm just coming from my side. So that's where the debate will come in. At. It's still all love, brother, at, at the end of the day. I, I just want to focus say on the I fact that Dre, got, Dre has a 19-year-old son and he looks 25. I'm trying to do the math on that. Good. That's that well, Kansas look, City barbecue. Yeah, that's that's why. Yeah, yeah. Real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, Dre, Dre, how? The, when you say fight, and I'm gonna use me as an example because it's the only way I know how to fight. Mm -hmm. Um, we created Black Comic Lords, got a couple thousand people. So what? Mm -hmm. We in there posting stuff. People get educated. Some people don't. Whatever. Black superheroes from another page. This is Facebook. Mm -hmm. We got an Instagram. We got it. We got a YouTube, just like you, mm -hmm. just like your platform. And when we talk about different characters, granted, mm -hmm. T'Challa gets highlighted the most, but that's we can fight for the comics, but for the MCU, are you? What when you say I'm going to fight? How, what what are you doing? What vehicle are you using to fight? If it's a post, is it? I mean, because I, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't, I don't, I've done this long enough to recognize that. They saw what E-Man was doing with the recast. They still said, no, it doesn't mean that what he did fell on deaf ears. It doesn't mean that it was all for, for nothing. I get that. But what type of ripple are y'all are y'all trying to create or what type of uh, megaphone that, that, that y'all trying to have to get into the ears that y'all really, really believe is going to cause this thing to happen? And I'm not saying that as somebody who has given up or somebody who says... Um, but I am telling y'all, I am coming from a place, it's going to sound weird, but I am coming from a place that I've kind of checked out with trying to influence the people that's already made up in their mind. But and, not, and that's I, okay. Comics, but I don't know to say so, so let me just tell you, 
So, I mean, because like I say, you don't know me from a can of paint. I actually have a group called the Legend of the Petty Nerds that's on Facebook. We went, mm -hmm. we went, pri I mean, we went private a long time ago. It's just a private entity that we talk about comic book stuff and all of that. So kind of mm -hmm. like the black, because I seen, I seen your, you guys' post come across my, uh, my Facebook feed. I'm not on Facebook like that. So, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't see it all the time, but I have come, come across it because people in my group have supposed to mm -hmm. yell stuff. So I, that's awesome yep. that you guys have that. Uh, I've been podcasting since 2017. I use my voice. I've had E-Man uh, before the petition on my uh, uh, on my podcast when I was talking about black issues. And I'm coming from a place where I started dealing with, when I first started podcasting, I dealt with black <coughs> issues. They deal with black people. And when that Black Panther movie came out, I did understand the significance of that character, even though that I was collecting these comics, but doing this pro-black stuff, right? So when I decided to change over my platform, uh, it, it to really delve into what I really love because I would have people comment all the time. How can I take you seriously when I see toys and all this stuff in the back? So I felt like, you know what? Let me just switch this over. Let me go more in depth to what I really love. So yes, I am you. I'm gonna use my voice because what will happen? Just like the Snyder cut, things could start to get. You, you have people start listening when you start speaking loud enough. You know what I'm saying? And what you're speaking and how you're speaking it. That can be empowerful. And what I do is I use my platform for empowerment, not detriment, not, not for anyone's detriment, not to talk crazy to anybody, to uplift and to empower. And if I can just reach one voice that will listen, that's all I need because it's going to have a ripple effect. So never, ever, ever think that my voice or anyone else's voice is going to be insignificant in any type of fight, especially when it comes to T'Challa. If I could, yeah. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me tell you why I asked. Let me tell you why I asked because I don't want you to think. I was, oh, I was gonna say, let Theo go first. Let Theo let Theo go. Let Theo go first, Herschel. Because you no, know, it was a great question. Yeah. To me, it's it, it's about education. Um, as you said, we don't own the IP, but then folks don't own the Batman IP or the Superman IP. But those that do own those IPs are kind of reluctant to make certain moves with those IPs because they understand that there's a fandom in place. So first I got to identify the problem. By and large, I'm of the mindset that T'Challa didn't have a fan base up until recent, maybe the last, maybe the past few months, a fan base that's willing to say, you know what? We don't give two dams with anybody else going to say, you're not going to kill the dude off. Now that don't mean anything to the company in and of itself. But you said something earlier, Herschel, and that's why I said, I, I think I think we we probably got more in common than a little bit. If you don't like it, you don't spend your money on it. If you like it, you spend your money on it, you don't give a damn what nobody got to say. Well, as the pastor told me back in church, I'm not here for who don't want to receive the message. I'm here for who want to receive it. So if I educate enough people, those who rock it with me like I'm rocking with them, educate enough people, Educated people about a character start to want more from that character, or at least that's my mindset. So how I fight, education, then all these damn comic books and all these damn action figures are damn near every black superhero that Marvel Legends has released. Do Toy Tuesday, Herschel, you got toys? What do I? <laughs> Toy Tuesday. Oh, yeah. Toy this, Tuesday. This, this is what I mean by you guys got a lot more in common than Herschel's yeah, into toys saying, just like, like you. Bro, I, Bro, my sword is put down. I ain't, I'm not doing that with you. We, we listen. If anything, I come no, up yeah, to absolutely, you. Absolutely. <laughs> so, I want to grow because folks don't think we as black folk know. They don't think we know about superheroes. They don't think we got superheroes, but we do. We know. So we educate them, apply that pressure, and when I say pressure, quiet pressure, because you know Marvel putting them feelers out there to see if this is applicable, to see if we can make a move over here and everything like that. Well, if we, now. If, yeah, if we've educated enough people, you're going to get the same response that you get every time you start thinking about a Black Panther thing. They don't want that. Now, you put it out there if you want to. I ain't mad at you. That's what Tupac said. I ain't mad at you. Don't put it out there. But That's what Jada said. You, well, you know, I, hey, my, my, 
my understand <laughs> my understanding is always going to be I'm not leaving no black character behind. If you really care about these characters, then T'Challa should be one character that you really do care about. Yeah, you might get tired of the rhetoric. Do you know how many times I get tired of talking to anti recasters? You know what I'm saying? Whether it's on Twitter, my my page, my my YouTube channel, my Instagram, I, I get tired. But that doesn't stop me from still lending my voice. And if you care, because you said that you care about black characters. Well, that should be one. You uh, and you can't care about one more than the other unless you're just tired, which I get that. We all get tired. But then uh, are you going to still fight or are you just going to lay down is my question. That's a, that's a great question. And the reason why I asked you is because hmm, I've been in this thing doing this for a while with black characters. And I don't know what type of imprint and, I, and people are, are can sometimes, okay, let me back up, let me back up. The reason why I'm asking you guys this is to kind of say, huh, what are you guys saying that the black comic lords might have not tried? Or what? where can we get better at? So this is more like, huh, what are you guys doing? What are, what are some of the things that you guys are at least trying that we've not tapped into? I, it's probably better than I said that way. So that's why I asked you. So I don't want you to, I don't want you to, to feel like, oh, well, I'm doing this. What are y'all doing? No, it was... Hey, what are y'all doing that we haven't even tapped into? And whiskey listen, and Wakanda listen. on Friday. Yeah. That's a great name. Whiskey and Wakanda on Friday. That's a great that's that's a great name. And mm-hmm. I'm gonna start. This is Wakanda Whiskey and Blur them. Get it right. Okay, Wakanda Whiskey. Damn it. Hold on. Let me write this down. Hold on. Wakanda Whiskey and Blur them. I'm with Wakanda. it. Hold on. These conversations are a lot better with brown liquor in you. And, and, oh, and I, I do. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. Be worse. I'm, yeah, exactly. I'm gonna say it one more time. I can't drink. See, Take so, that what you will. So I mean, I'm a so hurtful. Fine. I'm gonna answer. I'm gonna answer your question. Why you guys get that together? The only way that we could do this, we're a unified. We're a unified front. And I felt like that when I when I when I read a shot of Shakur's book, and I read a lot of the of the, the Black Panther books, uh, uh, Geronimo Pratt's book. You know what I mean? We have to be a unified group. So if you're if it, it, it especially <laughs> when it comes to this IP that I feel that it's very important in Black Panther. When even with E Man, I don't have no problem with E Man personally. I, but I did I, once I had revisionist history, and I was repeating what he said. Where E doesn't matter, you know who the mantle goes to. You, it, it, it cares about T'Challa. Well, it does. That mantle is important because that mantle is synonymous with T'Challa, just like Superman is synonymous to Kal El, Clark Kent. Just like Batman is synonymous to Bruce Wayne, so on and so forth. Peter Parker, Spider-Man, so on and so on. I get so what on. he's saying, though, Dre. Dre, I get what he's saying, though, because Gabo from Machiavelli Media, I don't know if y'all know him, um, uh-uh. puts out great Tupac content and everything like that. He said something to me a while back, and I know me and D have talked about it. You messed around and suffer from getting burnt out. And so yeah. what Herschel is asking, not what are we going to do as if come up with a game plan, but if he's been doing it and we've been doing it, what are we going to do that's going to be so different in the future from what they've already said and from what we've already said? Mac- Gabo asked me the same damn question. He hey, hey mm-hmm. stop right. Oh, hold on, Dio. Dio, I uh-huh. think what I think this is this is a horrible time to, to insert this. But on, honestly, um, this is a great time to galvanize more. I'm not saying galvanize together. Because Paul's already been coming on the show, but galvanize more and hit pockets that we maybe haven't hit. Work in concert more. I'm not gonna say better. Me and Dre been saying. I don't want. I don't want to critique. Mm -hmm. I don't want. I don't want to feel like I'm critiquing that we're not working better. No, 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 no. no. You strategize. (coughs) And also, too, let me let me give. I'm gonna be. I'm share this also with you. The reason why black superheroes ran on black comedies Facebook groups is how all this stuff started was created because when Black Panther came out, everybody was like, oh yeah, Black Panther's cool. Come on, come on in here, Valkyrie. Yeah, Wolverine, you great too. T'Challa, and everybody was doing that to all the Black heroes. T'Challa dies, oh, you a sidekick. Oh, move out the way. Oh, you a trash. So I'm like, wait a minute. We, we, y'all all came here because y'all like the Black superheroes. T'Challa dies, and folks got so angry, and they took out their frustration on all the characters, and you can, and, 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 and well, this is one of the things that I saw. This is one of the things I'm sharing that I saw. I brought it up in the, the last video that I did. Back to Bush. I can't mess up his name. Is that a lot of people just Bushy's walked business. away. A lot of people walked away from the hobby. And for, for more ways than nothing. Some people that were collectors, 
They continued to collect. They weren't as enthusiastic, but they saw the child in the books. But the just the movies and TV show, casual guys, I mean, they stuck around for the recast and then once the Wakanda Forever thing didn't happen, you can hardly find them. And those are the people that really run the yard. Those are the people that got the loudest voices. The folks like us, granted, we got these shows, we got this, we collect the books, but they got the loudest voice because they have the numbers. So why am I saying all that? It, it it's somebody. I don't believe that. I, I it's it's it's, no, it's, I don't it's no, no, I don't believe it. No, he he ain't lying. <laughs> no, nah, really, well, well, no, they do have the numbers. The reason why I say I don't believe that is because they were casual fans. They was casual to begin with, so they don't. You see what I'm saying? They don't spend the money. And, 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 and what hurts is, is loud. What hurts is because it's a lot me. of them. They fooled me because they was like, yeah, oh no, yeah. What what comics coming out this week? Come on, let, let's. And then when he right. died, it mm -hmm. sucked the life out, and right. it hurt a lot of people. Like some of the things that I read was like, I, oh, 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 he's gone. I don't know. So a lot of people. Some people thought about suicide. Some people was was shaken up about it, and, and I get mm -hmm. them the connection. There's nothing to laugh at, nothing to scoff at. I, I I get all that, but now we're dealing with a community that's broken, and every character that's like Mona Carambo, you can't pay you can't pay nobody to get for no attention now, mm -hmm. and that's that's what's so discouraging. And then when you come and you do see uh, certain sure. YouTube show, certain po person out of certain podcasts. That's what's dominating the the conversation. Bars. So when you have, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. All right. So when you have somebody like me, that's for everybody. I tend to be like, okay, y'all go talk about Black Panther. Let me go try to get Monica out off the floor. Let me go try to get Val Sam Wilson as Falcon, not Cap, mm. off the floor. Let me go try to get Luke Cage off the floor. Mm. And it, it is tough. Mm. It's tough. It is. But you want to know why it's tough? Those those casuals that came in because of T'Challa. That's this the reason why T'Challa was so important. And the reason why we're having that conversation, they came Absolutely. in for T'Challa, right? Absolutely. The casuals came in, they could have been converted. That's like you coming in to, to church. You've been sitting mm. in church, you well, listening, to the word, listening to the word, and then this preacher passed. The preacher died. You come and to church, walk out you know church. and people walk out the church. Walk right out. Yeah. Now they, they, <laughs> they, didn't get, they didn't get the opportunity. They didn't get the chance to be converted into Christians or whatever church. Wow. They went Great to. analogy. Right. So Great that's analogy. what happened. Have you ever Great heard me talk about Lamar Hoskins? Who? Hey, Lamar Hoskins. Lamar Hoskins. Yeah. Battlestar. Lamar, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the Captain, Mer not not Captain America, but Battlestar. Yeah. Do you know why I'm so pissed at how he got treated in the MCU? Because he is freaking the strongest Spider Man, and he wasn't like, well, I ain't gonna Watch say he wasn't no lackey. But, yeah. Daryl and I are both prior service. Lamar mm -hmm. Hoskins is the Sergeant Major. That's E9. Yeah. John Walker's an O3. He ain't taking no shit from no O3. Did you well, get you that? guys, military guys, that that really hurt y'all, mm. burnt biscuits. It I did. get it. It did. It burnt y'all biscuits. <laughs> but guess what? But guess what? It goes back to what behind the scenes is said. If you don't own the IP, you you don't get the, the, the he who pays the piper decides the tune, and that's what I've recognized and realized with Marvel and DC. I'm glad you said no, no, that. No, no, no. You you do. And, and I'm glad you said that. Those casuals who came in, so who had so much to say. I'm, I'm with you. I'm, I'm with you 100%. So, 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 so Herschel, I'm, I'm going to tell you, I'm glad you said that because that's the reason I made my petition, the one that you posted, because I control. Wait, with did Dave Chappelle, you know what I control? My television. If I don't want to see it, I control my, my remote. I control that. I control what's in my pocket, <clears throat> and that's my money. So if you do something, yes, I don't have to buy it. And since I got a platform, TikTok, you know what I'm saying? YouTube, whatever. I'm going to tell you why I'm not uh, buying that. So I'm glad you said that. And, and me for mine, I'm not going. This this definitely isn't to to do the go back and forth thing. This is like me. I'm looking at gamers that play video games like myself. Now I'm not saying that you, but I'm like if I'm if I didn't got good playing Gotham this, Arkham that, Superman this, spectacular that, Miles that. X Men, this ultimate that and everything like that, and I like them games. By the way, I did, I do, I still got them. Who doesn't? Who did like those games? I still got them. Not to you, Herschel. My question would be to the watch this: the casual fan, video gamer that plays video games. You didn't enjoy the video games with the titular hero for the longest time. You mean to tell me now you want a game? You would play a game without the titular hero? Damn, what we do that at? That ain't, that's not you. 
that's not you. This me talking to the, the game community. That would be the question that I asked. Because I'm like, damn, we went ham, Batman, Arkham Asylum. We did. They, they gave us four damn games. We ate them damn things up. So we don't want to do that with T'Challa? I don't think it'll sell. I don't think this game going to sell anywhere. How about Spider? <laughs> how, how about Spider Man with Ben Riley? <laughs> would y'all play? Would y'all play? Would y'all? Yeah. Would y'all go would get the first Spider Man two game with Ben Riley? We got we got no. game with Mouse. We got <laughs> game with Mouse. Yeah, but you ain't playing with Ben Riley though. I played no, with the costume in the game and what man? Oh, but but yeah. I'm saying, but he's not going around as Ben Riley. You like though. his costume, you don't like Ben Riley though. But you know exactly. what? Exactly. We don't give the white they not putting like a Spider Man game with Ben Riley in it. I would, they not and they're not, and they not selling it as Ben Riley Spider Man either. <laughs> Guess what? When Ben Riley came out, yes, the Clone Saga was horrible. People talked about it, but Ben Ooh. Riley was in the freaking Miles Morales movie. People love Ben uh, uh, Ben Riley. People hate. Yeah, Miles but they Morales made him the something that he wasn't. They, was, they made him. They made, they made him, Ben all. Riley the, uh, the joke of the, the movie. The joke, yeah. And he was played by what's his name from SNL. So he was a I'm joke. Gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna say this so y'all don't talk about me. I do have a Ben Riley Spider Man action figures. Yeah, I, that's I not nothing wrong. No, ben, but ben are you going to get it? I think yeah, Ben Riley's ben, a dope character. Yeah, but there, there, there might actually be something wrong with that deal. It's the nice thing he talks But you're not, you're not buying a particular game. If you're not, you're not. Matter of fact, I give you, I give you a prime example of this. Death of Superman, right? You remember the Death of Superman? How many Supermans came out of the Death of Superman? I ain't you ready to play an eradicator game. Y'all are not gonna play an eradicator game. Y'all not gonna go play <laughs> Steel Superman and then it's Steel. Y'all not playing. We did that. though. Well, I did. You know what I'm saying? A solo. Well, you, played Shaq, you played the Shaq it's, movie. The Shaq movie game. I played. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you're but not so, playing. You're, we, you're not but, gonna tell me you're gonna go out and go get Superman. You look at the back of the box of like. This ain't Cal L. What the hell? I mean, you know why? You know why? Drake, 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 Drake. You know why you're doing that? Drake? Superman, though, Herschel. The reason why Drake, you're doing that because because we have folks, certain folks. I better watch what I say this time. Individuals have a very strong emotional connection to T'Challa, and as well, T'Challa has T'Challa is a separate. People feel as though T'Challa is kind of separate from your everyday. Even. Even the spawns and the storms of the world. He's a king. He's an A-list superhero. And oh, during the priest run and the other mm -hmm. run, he was basically Superman. This is keeping a stack. I mean, he lost to Doom, but he came back. I mean, he, he whatever. Hold on, man. But there's don't, bigger don't, 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 he didn't don't, lose to like that. He did not he, lose to Doom. Every time we mention a Black Panther writer, we got to mention Jonathan Mayberry because of that last damn dude. So don't do don't do Mayberry like that. <laughs> mention him, too. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. But guess what? Well, people, people, people have even gone as far as saying T'Challa was uh, was created. I agree in with that. Mm -hmm. In 1998, when Priest took over, because a lot of people don't even count before 1998 when T'Challa because it was 1988 started. because they they had a 10 year dormant. Yeah, there was a there was a there it was, was, was a 10 year dormant because I still got that I still got that that, that run at apartheid run. Mm -hmm. If there was yep. no so, time, so, like, so, 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 being made, no, we ain't gonna talk about. It. Nothing but yeah, back issue. Listen, That's here, here's, here's my whole point. Here's my whole point. My whole point is there's a big emotional connection. But guess what, guys? There's a lot of people like myself that's like, you know what? If the, the mother freaking mechanics is good, the graphics are good, and the Rose Gallery, the Claw, the Killmongers of the World, uh, even some other folks. Uh, Madam no, you can't have Killmongers. You can't have Killmongers. You can't have Killmongers. How can you have Killmongers? You can't have that. You gotta get. You gotta. You gotta get. You you gotta get kill puddle. You can't have uh kill monger. You gotta get kill puddle. No, you better go get. There. You better go get that Asian. That that Asian female from from Rick from. You know what I mean from to, from the deadly sort of species and the power run. Go get her. Go go get her. You can go get Ulysses Claw because they got into it. You can go with the girl but named Drake, Music. Drake. Go get, get White Tiger. Too. Go get White yeah, Tiger. We, but we're Drake, not giving. Is, we're not giving Shooty none. She can fight name more. Cause she did that in the comics and everything like that. We're not giving shooting none of the child story. No, she got her own story. Dre, there Roughly. is nothing that Dre. There is nothing that they can do less than T'Challa that'll make you buy that game. You will probably see that game like, damn, that shit looks tight, but I gotta stick with my guns. Come on, bro. If it's a one, yeah, you gotta. I mean, why, uh, there. why? I mean, I mean, if I'm if, this is this is because I feel like this about any type of movement. Because what happens is they dangle a carrot. This happened in every single movement. Every single movie, brothers. Can, can I put a T on you? Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait. Wait a minute. Let me just say this. They've done this in every movement. 
So what they do is they dig a little carrot. Look how good the crap is are. Look how good. Oh, my God. He does this, that, and the other. And you're still missing the point. If I want to child her, I don't give a damn. That's just like a, a a girl could be fine, but if she ain't got what I want, I don't give a damn what I. It do, be do, you know what good. do you know what the it MCU carrot was? Do you know what the MCU carrot was? When they announced, what? oh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a Wakanda television series. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do this Wakanda mm-hmm. project. We're gonna have mm-hmm. we're gonna have, mm-hmm. we're gonna have you know Williams and have that take that, place that was in the Wakanda. Of other people. They they dangled that thing. Where's, out where's the Wakanda show? Mm-hmm. And when when they dangled where's, that thing, where's where's the uh um. Um, the Dora Milaje show. Where's, Where's the, the anything show? show? In the can, I ask, can I ask a question? Are we looking? I know we're talking right here, right now, but are we looking at what's going on in the comments? I am exactly. Yeah. Or, Do exactly. you see the the literal war <laughs> that's going on in the comments? I'm just, I'm just. That's why I've been talking. I'm sitting here watching everybody insult each comments other, saying all kind of crazy stuff to each other. And I'm just like, damn, we could just sit here and watch the comments. Yeah, the, the, comments <laughs> the comments be lit. They going in, bro. Oh, uh, Herschel. Herschel. Oh, Herschel. Yes, sir. Not yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I was no, going to say, to your, point, to your point, if the game mechanics are good and everything like that, I'm I'm, I'm going to tell you where I'm going to stand at. I'm, I'm going to own it. What's up? Talk to me. I'm not going to care. It could be a great game, and I would be able to compartmentalize. Um, I wouldn't review the game, but what if people were to come in and say, "With Theo, have you played the game?" No. With Theo, what have you heard? I heard it was a great game. I heard it was That's a great cool. game. I heard it got great mechanics and everything like that. That's where I would be at because I'm not. I'm not going to bash something that shouldn't be bashed. I don't believe in that. If the people that I trust say it's a good product, it's a good product. No different than the Giant Man. Did anybody don't, boycott Wakanda oh, forever? Hmm. Hold on, hold on. Before Anybody you before you guys go, let me just all right, let me. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hold on, hold on, real quick, guys. I want to just let you guys know. Make sure that you guys are subscribing to the Comic Lords uh, on YouTube, and make sure because I wanted to make sure to do that since we got about 40 people in the con uh, uh, just watching right now. Make sure that you guys are subscribing to the Comic Lords. Make sure you guys are subscribing to Be Real with D Real. Make sure you're uh, subscribing to Theo's channel. Make sure you're subscribing to Blues House Live. Uh, make sure that you guys doing that. Uh, I know I don't know if my uh, because we've been on here so long, I don't know if my admin is still in here. But just uh, if you get, <laughs> we've been on here a minute, a minute. yeah, he <laughs> took a nap. You know what I'm saying? So uh, and make sure that you, so if you if you haven't, make sure that you're subscribing to these channels. Make sure you're subscribing to Chillmonger. Also, who was in here? Make sure you guys are subscribing to these channels so we can make sure to keep these conversations going and seeing more of our faces talk about the stuff that you like. My bad. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I wanted to make sure to do that. What you say, Herschel? Thank you for that, Dre. Yeah, we appreciate that too. Um, listen, he said, did anybody boycott Wakanda Forever? Did anybody boycott Wakanda Forever? I had to. I literally had to watch it to do the review. But I did. I did. I had. I had to watch it to do the review. My 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 kids wanted to go see it, and they was highly disappointed. That's the only reason why my kids wanted to go see it. Chill. She made sure that I saw it. My wife got mad at me. She ain't watched it to this day. She she's still mad at me. She says I shouldn't have watched it. It didn't get a replay from me. I tell you that. Yeah. No. I, once I, once I, was yeah. enough for me. Yeah, I, I had to watch. Because I don't pay for funerals. Once I once I find out, I don't pay for funerals. I, oh, not yeah. not just one funeral, but two. Yeah, two funerals. Two. I had to pay for two funerals. <laughs> one got crazy. one got a whole funeral. One yeah, didn't even get. We didn't worse. even see no position. The funeral. And I, I, I believe all of us experienced this in regards to talking to people about the movie while they were going. A gentleman, I asked somebody, I said, hey, you going to go see Black Panther 2? Hell yeah. What you going for? Are we supposed to be having a funeral for Chadwick? That's crazy. That's insane. Hey, that's that's insane. And that's you know, the other thing there's, there's, a, there's a certain because segment of people. A, we have a, we have collectively. <laughs> We do that. I, I, instead, I, I, instead of seeing that I, for what it was, wait. it was like, let's put on our white and go to the <laughs> I, I, I finished because all of us would get a kick out of this if we didn't been to dances, whether the dancers was during the summer as grown folks or during the winter as grown folks. He said, ain't that the movie we supposed to be wearing all white at? <laughs> yeah, that one dude, the one dude got up on there and made it. Well, at first it was first. Everyone's like, yeah, I'm wearing white. And then about he did it too early. Or maybe I don't know. And then when I went to the movies, I didn't see that. But I'll say this, man. I mean, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna have to get off here. But yeah, I, I know y'all, say, y'all could be on here all night. We push for four hours. 
uh, which is great. You know, okay. Subs and, and likes and stuff is great. But the crazy thing, the, the, the byproduct of all this, when there was this big, almost gold rush, oh, the black superhero, we wouldn't even say a black superhero renaissance in black comic. People were buying books. And now that he's gone, and now that we don't know what the freak really Marvel's going to do, they're on their back right now. The gas has really been sucked out uh, from what I, from my eyes, from my eyes and ears, from what I can see. And I'm not in the silo. I try to go in different places, but I feel like a lot of a lot of a lot of these black uh, uh, folks. I just went right back to anime, hard more hardcore now. Like, up, oh, see y'all, Mark. See y'all. See y'all later. We'll be back. We are bring back to Tyler and all these other black characters out here. It's almost a wrap for them. It's literally almost a wrap. Like, let me ask you this though, Hirsch. Mm-hmm. If if they came and did it properly and actually put money and time and decent creators and writers behind those black characters, those side, you know, what we deem the side characters, maybe you can actually get a black comic book renaissance. You can't do that if if um Falcon Cap ain't written right or or Falcon and Jenner ain't written right or you know what I'm saying? If Luke Cage, if they not putting the promotion and the money behind Luke Cage to push Luke Cage or to push, you know Michael what I'm saying? All of these, but the Monica problem Rambo, is, these black characters, you know what I'm the saying? The problem is, we don't listen. First of all, I'm gonna go keep it a buck. Black Panther, it is amazing that he is on the shelves because between him and Miles, and I, watch, watch where I'm going. Don't go get upset just too soon. Miles and him are like, I mean, correct me, correct me, Paul. I know you do pull, pull. We call Paul pull this Paul. Who else from Marvel is on the shelves besides Black Panther and Miles that has an ongoing series? Blade. At Marvel Blade. or Blade in general? Blade. Blade's got Blade. 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 Like Monica, Storm. Nope. Blade. No, Monica doesn't have an ongoing series. Monica doesn't have an ongoing series. Blade has an ongoing series. Now, but has an ongoing series right now? Yeah, it's ongoing until they cancel okay. it. They finished it. They probably finished it. Less than 15 issues. <laughs> Yes, yeah, probably be so that's the, right now. The, the reality, right now dude, the, 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 real, the reality is most comic. Um, we've done interviews with these guys on this stuff. Uh, the, the, the reality is, unless your name is Sadarsky or mm-hmm. Bendis or Hickman, mm-hmm. one of these mega writers who are mm-hmm. in the club, um, most writers don't get offered ongoing series. Yep. It's a right. uh, it's either we're going to give you a limited series of a specific amount or we'll let you do one storyline and see how the numbers work out. If the numbers are good, we'll let you keep on. Otherwise, it will also be. A and why y'all think they do that? Why and they do that in large why. part. It's always they, they want the stories to be five or six issues because that's what they put in a trade paperback. They, right. they recognize mm-hmm. that the money mm-hmm. that they really make, the, the future paper. of comics, <laughs> is really more in trade paperbacks than it is in floppies. So right. they only they're their writers they're, to do they're one made. story because one story is five issues, and they can put which is fine though. That's that's, that's cool. But if you get a my Damn, my thing is though comments. my my thing is if you get a good right just a good writer or a good creator somebody who cares about the IP you can get a good story to generate a buzz and then for the next I don't know trade that's you got that's coming, partially you true. That's, that's partially true. Well, let me let me explain why. Let me explain why. That's partially true because these writers don't have necessarily have the autonomy to write everything they want to write. It's that's really a, more on. a matter of the hey, editors. How many? But how many? The editors are the ones that give the stories, now. and the writers are the ones who get to execute. I agree. Them. But how many self inserts you see in comics? How many self inserts? This person is gay because the writer's gay. This person is handicapped because the writer's handicapped. You see, oh, that's, all what, of that's that. the Marvel. That's the new Marvel way now. That's that's right, the Marvel that's way. That's how, that's how Marvel. The, all, the all t- to me, the autonomy is there. Just write a good story. Hell, you want to make Bobby Drake gay? You want to make um Green Lantern gay? Now you want to make Superman gay? You you see what I'm saying? Like they got the autonomy. I don't want to hear y'all, nothing y'all, about autonomy. You all was saying something earlier, and I apologize, Blue. Y'all were saying something nah, earlier. You, you, um, Herschel, you and Patrick were going somewhere in regards to the pull list. Um, y'all looked at Miles Morales and uh, Black Panther. I don't think we got to hear how good they were doing. Were they still doing well or not doing well at all? Uh, listen, let me let me say this, brother. Miles is Miles is going to kind of just be a, a solid book, uh-huh. <laughs> but Black Panther with Eve Ewing. 
people, you know, we're not going to we're not going to talk about the the new character because I know uh certain people that's the an issue and, and 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 I get it. But Eve Ewan is writing a very um other than that there's it's not a very problematic story. John Ridley um, oh, we don't invoke his name. We don't say his name on this show. I just want to make a point. I just want to make a point. And Paul knows what I'm going to say. I know he's shot. Jr. You got you get yeah. <laughs> you got to call him something else, like <laughs> yeah, uh, little JR, Bigfoot, that's little that's Bigfoot, that's or something. Jr. Jr. Smith. I call him Jr. Smith. Jr. Though, unfortunately, people hated his comic. But the difference between the Black Panther run out now and last year is mother frickers was actually talking about it. And that's my problem. And that's what scares me. That's what bothers okay. me. So, about so to your to your point, to your point, because that was something that I was thinking about with Chill. You 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 said some other stuff earlier about strategizing and organizing and everything like that. That was something that I, I was looking at because I understand that T'Challa ain't working with the same demographic as some other heroes are working with, the top heroes and everything like that. His his pool of fans is not going to be as large as other folks. What mm -hmm. I have suggested, y'all y'all, been at this longer than I have, suggested is that Black Panther fans, those of us that care about the character, since Marvel has now allowed us to be able to email them, speak to them about the, the what we like, I as mean, much one. of us as possible on more than one occasion, consecutively, concurrently after each issue, Email Eve Ewan Marvel and let them know how much we care about the comic. Is that something that would work? Because no, I'm gonna have to a lot of I'll give you the short answer, no. Okay. I mean, so that, um, that begs the question that begs the question. How big are it because it just sounds like that we feel like our voice is not that is not that loud and not that big. While Carol Danvers could get a comic. You know what I'm saying? Every year, you know what I mean? A different writer on our comic every year. Somebody else could get a different comic, you know, have this great writer writing their comic and all of this every year. But when you know it why? seems like when it comes to this, let me just explain. Let me just kind of get my side, my point of view. Mm -hmm. When it seems like when we come to this, we like, you know what? If we can say that we can email, because I'm in Marvel. I'm a big Deadpool fan. What Besides T'Challa, the majority of my comics is, is DP. That's my guy. And I got featured in, in, in uh, with issue one of Deadpool. I think it was 2016 because I just emailed him. I think 2018, whichever one it is, I just emailed him. So you're saying that if we emailed Marvel at whatever, that we can't, we don't have that voice to say, you know, I appreciate what you do with this character. Keep going up, keep doing this while also buying the comic. You know what I'm saying? And stuff like that. You don't think we have that voice? We still got Negroes running right here. Not y'all. But we still got too many, it's too many Negroes that's like, oh, Black Panther's got a book out? When it come out? It's, it's not enough. We don't have enough emails going out. Now, to Paul's point, maybe. Paul's more so sound like me when he said no. But there might be some truth to that. Uh, uh, Dre, if we had in the thousands emailing them about certain characters and, and certain things with yeah. Black Panther, they would have to look at it. They right. would have to at least respond. That. One thing they did with e man mm -hmm. They at least responded. Even did that petition didn't hit the number that it should have hit, but Kevin Feige himself even had to speak to that. Well, to I me, that to... means that it hit the number, though. Huh? So, so, so that's what it hit the number. Because that's what it hit the number. Are you telling me a thousand emails a month? I, I, I want to make sure I understand Herschel correctly. Are you telling me a thousand email, emails a month per character? Brother, Theo, to be honest with you, I know you want to. The only reason this. why I'm asking, the only reason why I'm asking, I'm not being facetious when I say this. No, no, no. Okay. I know you're not. Well, it's 850 over here. And I'm pretty sure we say, hey, hey, hey 850, y'all like Black Panther. Y'all better start writing in weekly. Because I, I, I can make my fingers yo, do what it is. The same niggas that's going to be like, yeah, bro, I got you. Going to be the same niggas that said, oh, I signed that down. The ones yo, that don't do what we said here. I, I, yeah, I, I can't I'm, control right. what they don't do. Right. But yo, I will say this. That, it depends on the volume that the other characters get when it comes to email. Right, so let's say Captain America. If if Captain America is only getting ten emails per month or something like that about what's going on in Captain in Captain America, but Black Panther's getting like you say 40, 50 email. I keep the number kind of low, kind of you know what I'm saying. Then I think yeah. that they would take a look at that. 
sales. So we need to look at the comment on the screen right now. We we need to start having OG OG Richard Wright. Um, he's right. At the end of the day, you gotta buy the book. Okay, that's yeah. Yeah, you do. What Richard was saying. Look at the Miss Ellen. Oh yeah, yeah. You not only need to buy the book, and you guys hear me say this all the time. You gotta pre-order the book. I'm just saying, if if those people emailing to me would are buying the book, that's why I'm talking about. What, oh, we uh, need to so when we do these black panthers. I, I, I don't know. I'm I'm looking at the sales from September, uh top fifty, and it's Marvel and DC, and I think it's some independence. Black He's Panther right didn't crack that. the top fifty. No. He never okay. does. Just let you know. It's not, guess what? And, and it's not saying that he's not a good character. It's saying that guess what? White boys, some mm -hmm. of them are gonna go out and buy it. Come on, the, right. the, the main demographic yep. for, for Marvel is white males. Ain't nobody yep. else here arguing. I agree. Most definitely agree. Us. Uh, the main, the, what you know, what we are, what, you know, what the main thing that we're in, we're into anime and shoes and other things like that, which is cool. I think that's, a lot, that's okay that you're into those things, but we don't have enough bodies that's into this. It's hobby so small, and I know we get passionate about the things we do, and that's what kind of circle back to how I feel sometimes. I I be on the megaphone screaming for all these damn mm -hmm. black characters. It's like you're screaming to like. Five, th you're screaming at thirty-five thousand people in black comic lords, and two of them are gonna be like, "Oh yeah, I might go get a pull list," because everybody's so hyper focused on, "Damn, when the next Marvel movie gonna come out?" Damn, when T'Challa gonna show up on a TV show? So well, my I'm thing is, you know how you also what? move weight? I... You also move weight by buying the damn book because they are gonna say, yeah. "Hey, yo, Kevin, I don't know what you got going on, but dude, they over here buying that." That's why it was Spawn. That's why Spawn will continuously stay in conversation about a film. Mm. The only thing that's holding up the Spawn film is Top and Father. Well, his crazy father, yeah, but that yeah. book is the number one every freaking year for the last 10 damn years. Nah, and he gonna recently get a damn book. He would have, yeah, I'm sorry, get, get, get a movie. He would have been yeah. at a movie years ago had not been with Tom McFarlane. Comic hey. books matter, and, and it pushes the narrative, man. But we don't, we don't have enough boots on the ground. And we will not have enough boots on the ground until something happens. And I don't know, Dre, speaking to your point in your podcast, I don't know what that looks like. I know how to go. I know how to get a bunch of people to come into a room. I know how to get on TikTok and make a video. But to get a Negro to run out a damn street and pre-order a book and walk into a store where he's screaming, recast the child, turn your ass around, recast the child, but also pick up his damn book. That's almost impossible. Bro. And the, and I and I think this speaks to <laughs> what or what chill when when uh, Black Panther what was that number five came out. I didn't get by because I got my stuff pre-ordered through Marvel, so my comic didn't come in until literally what Thursday. But still, he was like, hey, make a video, get whatever, whatever you got to do. Just make sure that you get a video out there promoting issue number five. Do a review on it. Oh, make yeah, sure because people are looking for reviews on Wednesdays. Yeah, it started, it started looking for reviews. So he was like, hey, make sure that you get that you get on, get on it. Me and him had a conversation about it. You know what I'm saying? Got a review out. And the more kind of like what uh, Comics Explained does. When Cummins explain when he makes yeah. his videos about all those all those comics that he's reviewing, when he gets all excited about you know Jonathan Hinter's Avengers and New Avengers, we need to do the same thing. If we got platforms, we need to be pushing this book out because more people might not go get the comic immediately. But if they go and say, "Hey, you know what? Chillmonger made this video yeah. and he had Theo on and, and be real with D-Roll, and that shit was awesome. I seen Dre Max review. He's super excited. Maybe well, I, I need to, I go need out to there enjoy and the new. Up. If I need to enjoy the new video, if I need to enjoy all nine YouTubers who are talking about it, then I got to read the book too right on Wednesday. And that it's it's not going to create a sale, but it'll keep a guy from dropping a book. He'll be at the shop and he'll be like, "Yeah, I'm not really interested in this. He's not the king anymore." But still, if I read this comic book, there's about eight videos that are going to happen this week that I want to be in on, and I will. I'll have to spend the four dollars. Hey, it's it's really two things too, and I hate to say, it. I hate to say this. I had a guy tell me, I'm a grown ass man. I don't read comic books. You do have a lot of those guys that have the mm -hmm. money, the finances, can read and have read these T'Challa, have read Black Superheroes, but they feel like, oh, this is for kids. But it's then, for kids, the, yeah. the, the, David Banner, that, I, huh? David Banner. Yeah, he's yeah. one of those people that that, that uh, I I interviewed him on my radio show and asked him about recast the child and the first thing I asked him what he think about it and the first thing he said to me was I don't. Yeah, that's you know, his problem. Y'all have been asking questions. Um, I've been listening to what y'all been saying as far as like boots on the ground. Like I said, chill. You said something the other week. I just didn't care for it, but it was absolute truth. <laughs> 
What was it about John Stewart? Oh uh, no, no, it was about uh, Eve Ewing's numbers. Share my screen. The number four comic came a hundred and fourth place, which is an increase. Last time around, it was the hundred and forty. Fellas, it's Fellas. the hundred and fourth highest selling no, comic, which is bad. That's bad. But it's that's bad. But it, but it is not something that will get the comic book canceled. Considering Eve Ewing's writing uh, page rate is not going to be... I'll put it this way. It's just like Captain Marvel Kelly Thompson's page rate was. So do, so it's enough to keep the book survived. They're not going to have the best artists anymore <coughs> or the best colorists anymore, but they have enough sale to maintain. And this is... They're a, running, and, they're running what, what, and rebooted what, what, with a number one. Okay, Maybe. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it like this. I have never brought anybody into this room, adult or child, and they not lose their shit. In that's, the same with, that's the same thing and with my room, bro. Right. I don't care who the adult is. So there's there's an exposure piece that's missing. We like to tell it, uh, not enough people know who he is. They don't fit. While they say they grown, they won't spend money on a T'Challa book. I guarantee you they'll spend money on a Batman book. Absolutely. So Absolutely. So the question then becomes, because like I said, I've had people walk into this room, different ethnicities, different Make sure you're getting the likes up, y'all. Different ages and still lose their ish because they've never seen this much black representation in an action figure. To your point, um, Hershey, when you said like black action figures and stuff like that, they ain't seen it like this. Now, where do they go to see it like this? Where do they go to see the hero? If I ain't at, if I ain't reading the comic books, I didn't told people well, if you don't read comic books, we got the videos and everything. We can bring you the comic book review, but something more tangible, the merchandise, because we know that it looks good, it looks cute. Ooh, you got Kamoyo beads. I mean, I don't know. Ooh, you got a you got a Black Panther helmet. It move that does move the needle, but they're not. What, what, how do we get you, stuff uh, like this? You're, you're on the wrong face, more, man. If we're talking comic you. books, the sales matter. It doesn't matter how many emails you write. The emails may dictate the story. If enough of us say, why isn't he the king? They might actually uh, get on that. But e the sales, buy more comics. Because we're only talking about roughly, they're yeah. estimating 17,000 sales units were pushed. If that gets below 10,000, just like Ironheart, we will have no more comic books coming out. Or oh, the volume will end. They will reboot. The, yeah. the few amount of people we're talking about is like 7,000 people that are keeping this comic from being canceled. It's really that few. That's that, that's all you need to do to create 7,000 fans. And all of a sudden, this goes from a uh, middling comic book to a ah, a successful comic book. This actually is not going to be canceled. We might go 50 issues. We're, we don't have to convert that many people. And some of us who are reading the comic book need to buy two copies or three or more than just one and... That's what I advocate for. Obviously, you guys see my reviews, right? Mm -hmm. Is everyone on this? Is everyone on this live pre-ordering their Black Panther comics? Yes, yep, pre-ordering matters. Yep. You're right, but also if you don't pre-order, you're still gonna the sale will still get through because your comic book shop will put five comics on the shelves, and when they see that it's collected all five, they're like, okay, we're gonna order five more next time. The pre-order is important, but it's also like not the be-all end-all. It's yeah, not the be-all end-all, mm -hmm. but but it does it does it definitely matters. affect. It yeah, does definitely affect that top, bottom that's line. Top end matter. Yeah, that's that top end matter. That, that can, matter. I, can, I, can, I, can I can I say something here? Because because I don't I, think I don't. I'm sorry, Bill. I didn't mean to interrupt you. You good? You good? I don't think I don't think the desire to get somebody to buy a comic book should be as important as piquing their interest in the material. Mm -hmm. you Want yep. them to purchase because I could I can say go buy this all day, go buy this all day. But if I don't tell you read why it. you should buy it or why it's important that you, you in particular okay. should buy it, yeah, we just gonna keep getting what we get. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Like the, the toys in the room and everything like that. You have kids in here who heard about Black Panther. Parents ain't necessarily interested. Thought about taking them to go. Oh, I guess I gotta go get you a comic book now. Thank you, Theo. I'll tell, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you why. I mean, this this discussion really sort of started with the, the video games, but it's an important discussion for the, for this singular reason. For many of us, um, our first inroads into getting into comics 
um, particularly people of my generation, was cartoons and toys. Yep. Like when I was a kid watching the Super Friends, about or, to say that. Or watching the Spider-Man cartoon, um, they I even saw the the syndicated reruns of the old Marvel '60s cartoons with Thor, Submariner, mm -hmm. Hulk, Captain America, and Iron Man. That's he's what got me into being superheroes, he's, he's and then all. that's what made me want to get the comic books. For the generation we have now, comic books, um, their end road into comic books are video games. And cartoons, mm. cartoons still are, are still a great way cartoons, to get people interested. Yeah. But video games is where a lot of kids spend their times now. When I was a kid, Saturday morning you get your big bowl of cereal, you plop down, and you cartoons. watch you watch cartoons all day Saturday. Yeah, kids but you didn't today, have Power Rangers when you were a kid. This the kids today, <laughs> they still they still may get their big bowl of cereal. We have rock. But don't do that. <laughs> they still yeah, may get their, their big bowl what of cereal. Power Rangers got to do it. Yeah, they're, 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 they're they're in front of their PlayStation or their Xbox, and they're playing that on their Saturdays. Mm -hmm. So that's why the video game is important. Now, if you have a, a video game with a story now for kids, is that the Black Panther can be anybody, some guy named Roy or something, then that's what that's what they're going to think Black Panther is all about, <laughs> influencing young minds and setting their stage as to how they're going to interpret that character in the future so if they do get exposed to the comic book they're like well who's this dude that's not black panther yeah who's this t'challa right. guy it's, the guy i know, like the, the i like what is. herschel said about anime herschel had brought up anime earlier the way anime how manga distributes into anime is crazy like the manga sales is off the charts but also mm -hmm. the anime is off the charts what it that doesn't relate with marvel and dc you see what i'm saying like or the kids. Right for these kids, like the comic books aren't yeah. selling, but we get a billion dollar property with with Black Panther, but the comic book isn't selling. To me, there's a disconnect somewhere in that, and that's, that's the, what and, I'm thinking about. But it goes back, it goes back to what Paul was saying about the cartoons. And, you know, I used to always tell them, guys, we got to share, 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 and share because it's going to convert into more people coming to the space. That doesn't always translate like that. With True. the anime, with the anime, it translates to kids watching more anime. With the mm. MCU, it translates to adults doing it because that's what we grew up on but the biggest thing that we're missing here guys that i hate to say it and back in do you back really in, hate to say it because you just said that like I, eight I, times I, I, they just say it <laughs> i think it's guess kids, what man. i hate to say it during the pandemic everybody people guys was going even going crazy about comic because the prices of them were, were skyrocketing right it wasn't it wasn't a sustainable market but the biggest thing during the freaking pandemic was the freaking fomo and there is no more FOMO. Yeah, yeah. they know that is FOMO. the biggest right. thing. That I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't own a Black Panther comic book. Well, let me back that up. I might be telling on myself. No, no. You got to go ahead. Keep talking. Go ahead. Keep talking. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm my, my ears is perked. I didn't own. What, what, what did I, I say before? But listen, I didn't own FF52 until after the freaking movie. That's the best. I don't give a freak. I don't. I, I could. That's why. I, at the end of the day. That means the most to me. I don't care if Black Panther lost his leg. He did when he was a zombie. But for some of y'all know that, though. But listen, I started to say this. I started to say this, bro. Unless you can generate that type of FOMO, it's just, and we can talk all day long, bro. It's, I hate to be, and Paul knows I can be negative sometimes. But that's a wrap, bro. Because the writing is all the wrong. We can push this harder than more. There are two females here working community centers. Swear they Black Panther fans. Name their vehicles. I think one vehicle is named T'Challa, the other vehicle is named Wakanda. Not sure. <laughs> they named the car. Okay. Okay. But with it. community center. They know I'm in Tallahassee, Florida. Everybody don't know that. We close. So, this, huh? <laughs> I said we close. Yeah. So absolutely what blew me and you've been knowing that. <laughs> so mm -hmm. uh, my suggestion to them. Because uh, Paul at Mark asked me a while if he could just review the back wall. I knew if I could get with those kids at the community center, have the action figures, majority of them black, majority of them black. Like, I, I, I don't know if, if I ain't got a black Marvel legend, it's because either A, it's an old toy biz lesson and I don't like the way that look or they ain't made it yet. So I got that. But I asked her, I said, hey, you like Black Panther. I like Black Panther. What do you think about one day me coming and sharing my display? All of my Black Panther stuff 
with the kids. Because you said the kids, Herschel, the kids. Well, if I got the back Black Panther display, action figures, memorabilia, merch and everything like that, a few comic books sitting here and there, and I know, whoa, wow, where you get all this stuff? That's a Black Panther comic book? Where you get it from? <coughs> now, now, they didn't go for that because it was more about pushing the agenda from the second movie. But imagine that, that display being able to be out in front because you said a disconnect and the disconnect is that's what we ain't got the kids and we ain't got nothing to pull the kids in. Yeah, there's a brother, by, there's a brother online who goes by the name of Original Black Nerd who goes around to local schools and, and, and oh, yeah, does yeah, a yeah. display Look. of all of his comics and toys Ooh. and various yeah, and 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 schools and try to promote superheroes to kids. That's yeah, what one, you that's what's, yeah, that's a solution. That is that what, what uh, Paul suggested. And I'm saying get Dr. Eve L. Ewing on the Breakfast Club with a toy with a Black mm. Panther merchandise. Put Ooh. that Black Panther behind Charlemagne where he's, he likes it. He, he's a comic book. The question guy. is who's he going to put up there? Think what? about it. Think about sure. it before you say that. Sure who's he going to put up there? Oh, actual Black Panther. T'Challa. Okay. All right. You can't put the Titan at your figure there? And if we're not promoting it to a fan base that literally exists with millions of viewers or listeners, I should say, then what are we doing? Like, we're, it, and it doesn't cost you money to have an interviewer of that caliber for that brand. It's everything is on brand, and it still hasn't happened yet. I'm still waiting for that. Go to go go to that go to that comment by H and H right there, Dre. Right Look what he That's says. Right. Yeah. Few titles are actually targeted towards children. Remember, what I was talking to you about. What is the what is the entry point for getting kids? If you want the longevity of this hobby of collecting comics, if you want the longevity of it, you gotta target kids and get them interested in the yeah. hobby, or else they have more than enough distractions other than mm -hmm. comics to get into. So you well, got. I don't think they do ever this. really was. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me ask. Let me ask Please you this question. How many how many Marvel cartoons are there? I think Moon Girl is the only one, but the comic books are currently. Yeah. Currently, mm -hmm. how many? How I don't many think Moon Girl is like right three? Now. Like three. What you got? I don't, <laughs> Other I don't than know Moon Girl, I don't know. Other than Moon Girl, you got the uh, Sp the Spider Man is Amazing Friends. My daughter watches that. It's corny. They even called a, a black kid in there a monkey. Was was kind of weird. Yeah, yeah, but it was like blatant, like weird. And then the other one they got is the um, what is that? It's another Spider Man is show that's out. Webtoons and stuff like that, little kid show where they got like it, kids yeah, rapping and stuff like see, that. This was on Disney. All they have is the webtoons and stuff. The, the point is, is, amazing what, friends. is that what you're talking about? They used to have yeah. like they, just the a few years ago, they had Avengers Assemble. They had Earth's yeah, Mightiest yeah, Heroes, right? Yeah. right? Uh -huh. yeah. They had a whole well, we was cartoon. That, that was during, but that was during the height of the MCU coming on board. Correct. When the MCU blew up, all of those properties went away. Yeah. Marvel's yeah. not targeting kids anymore. Because they know the kids ain't, they know they can't reach them. Well, Bro, well I know they, I think they can reach them. The reason, reach them. I, I think from a sales point of view, the reason why they're they're reaching the adults, because you have the adult collector now. You know, well, that's, that's short term. To, yeah, I know. Short. That's, that's short sighted. What, that's short sighted. What that, but that's what they're doing. Just like, yeah, I'm, a, I'm is, also bad. Right. Because I'm a Transformer fan. So everything that they're pushing right now, as far as what I'm collecting, as far as Transformers, all nostalgia base. They're bringing mm. back Rock Lord. Right. You know what I'm saying? They're bringing right. back. They they're bringing back a lot of uh the '86 cartoon, you know, figures. You know what I'm saying? As redeco. Oh, 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 so oh, that's oh, they oh, also oh, got, they oh, also oh, got a Transformers oh, cartoon me, aimed at kids going on right now. Though. Hold on. Let me let me ask. Let, chill. Not gonna like this question because it ain't black related. Uh 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 uh, uh Patrick uh Hershey, Since y'all be in the know, oh. are we gonna get wrong next year? Yes. Um, cartoon, okay. or actually, comic book. No, book. no, comic book. Well, they doing. Book. They doing. You know, um, they're doing covers first. I'm gonna, gonna say rom covers. I'm gonna say there is a rom comic right. book that's supposed to come out. Yeah. Okay. Right good. now yeah. they're doing the covers. They're doing the rum. The rum right. covers. Right. We're trying to get that. To run We're trying yeah. to get that six inch Hasbro Marvel Legends. Can I address Paul's recommendation of going with the kids? Let's let's expand on that. They're all on TikTok, right? They're all on Fortnite. So yep. creating skins for Fortnite is the answer. Mm -hmm. I don't care how much uh, you're going to get cheated out of it. License the Damn skins me. out. Even if you got to do it for free, if you create a lifelong bond between someone who plays as that character and makes yeah. himself look like the Black Panther. Make Did that they do Black, Black Panther? Panther? They got Black Panther. Well, yes. 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 yes, they do. Well, redo it. 
or or with photon or whoever make them make those characters hot by allowing it to be available hey you can even buy it for free you don't even have to spend real money and you you win now let's look at the tiktok situation i'm not on that app like crazy but if there's a way where you can utilize the, your characters on a tiktok way if you have to release tv shows in vertical you know portrait format and you can watch like a little i don't know oh they're doing portrait. that they're doing that they do that marvel does that Marvel Marvel actually uh cross platforms a lot of stuff that they do on their YouTube when they kind of do that TLR yeah, or TikTok. whatever yeah. they put on their TikTok. But it's okay, like but episode episodes though. I mean like adapt comic yes, books. Yes, bro. They bring it back. Rock TLDR and roll. is something and it's informative and that's cool. But I mean, I pl- like give basically a TV show. What what we used to wake up or some of us used to wake up and watch Spider Man and Saturday morning cartoons back when we were younger. Some of us were a little bit older, but for. Th- Oh, no one laughed. Everyone in the comment section is laughing at you guys right now because I insulted your elderly Theo the Griot. All you guys. Hey, right. what I told you, you always. Oh, hey, listen, I'm, I'm over here thinking about the tall. I ain't about <laughs> <laughs> but, but, you think about Theo. I'm gonna tell you this, though, guys, guys, we're sitting, we're sitting <laughs> here right now in a silo, and to a certain extent, there could be a hundred people in the chat. I'm not saying these hundred people aren't gonna go and write these emails. We're talking about all the stuff that Marvel could be doing. The other day, and somebody might get mad. And Theo, you know what this is, right? This is Wolverine '97. You know why they mm-hmm. made Wolverine '97 for the for the 35 and up crowd because we yep. grew up watching X Men '97. Yep. And guess, guess what? He's extremely posable. He's very very stiff. Mm, you know way why? better. What the big? What the? But why are they make him extremely stiff? Because they know adults are buying this stuff on Instagram, adult posing them, doing great stuff. You know, kids aren't. They have completely. And when I say completely, I mean they got My Little Pony comics. I go to the comic shop. They he orders every freaking thing. He, they got My Little Pony. They got Spider Man and little kitty. I books. was a brony. I was a brony. Yeah. I'm not afraid it, to admit it. <laughs> Listen, they got all that stuff. But at the end of the day, I think they're going to try to milk as much as they can with the adults. And I'm going to tell you something right now that I'm seeing. These action figures are doing better than comics. These people. Yeah, that's what I said. The merch. Yeah, I agree with you. The merch. Oh That's what, did you are you gonna get the new Black Panther coming out soon? It's a new month <laughs> They Black basically Panther. took they basically took this guy this Adam, <laughs> and I'm cool with that. I mean, I might get him, but I like the I like the you know, Paul knows I like the Haynes t shirt, no vibranium. I like the the Haynes t shirt, Haynes pants, the, just the t shirt and, and, and pants to child. I don't, I just want the regular bare bones to child. And that's what yeah, it's, it's a remake, it's, of, it's a remake of that one with that's small what it is. It's a remake of it. It's the priest run to child. It's the priest, it's the priest yeah. one. Yeah. Without those I, I, extra long will I, it, will, will I get it? You know, I may or may not. I'm not gonna get the new Luke Cage one because this one I think is better, got better articulation. He's which, one got, which, 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 which one you got, big dog? You got the moment with the the TR. I got the second one. A lot of people don't know this is the second one. The first one was the old toy biz. We had the little bar from the like 94, 95. I have I have that one. That's the one you got? That's that's one of the ones I have. Okay. But I'm not getting the new one. I know Paul even said he's gonna get the new bishop. I'm not getting the new bishop. I like the long one. I like the old school toy biz bishop. I was gonna get the new bishop. If I do get it, it's only gonna be for the head scope. Yeah. Don't the say nothing bad about Bishop. Don't say nothing bad. Don't say nothing bad about Bishop. I want that. I I want that X Men '97 collection so bad. Talking about all the all the X Men. And I got the Storm the, with, all the, the, yep. with the yep. Mohawk. Yeah, I gotta have I'm, all of them. I I, I got all the X Men already in, in, in some type of ink. Um, what you want to call it? Uh, alteration or whatever. I'm not buying them. Bishop was gonna be it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not doing it. I, I hey, might get really got a size accurate Wolverine, so I'm not tripping. Hey, hey, listen. Behind the scenes, this asks a very, very important question. Now, I can't speak too much for Black Sands, but Ripper and you, we can, we can, we can talk about his politics all day long. But the brother over there making some dollars. Yeah, I, know yeah, I don't. Really I don't need to be segueing into no black independent comics, and we're really trying to do a really big mega push to help those. Well, that was out. somebody said that earlier that we need to start investing also in the indie comics mm-hmm. that, the that are out right now. We the just we just did a, we just did a whole show about indie comics yeah. and, and and the importance of them and how you can get into the right. industry and the the pitfalls, the pros and cons of it. Um, you can check it out on our on our on our YouTube page. But, but was Drake, just, last Friday was a great video. But 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 Drake, back to your point about it, dude. Do you know 
that we could galvanize our finance. We can't galvanize. We can't do nothing. If well, I don't want to say we can't do nothing, but we can't put a gun to Marvel's head. We can't put a gun to nobody's head. But what we can do is maybe send some emails to, and I hear me out, it's going to sound crazy and bogus, send it to somebody who's got the damn Marvel Studios, Tyler Perry, and say, look, man, just help us get the studios. We'll get our own director. You can just put well, look, but, but, Now, that, that's, that's that right there. That right there, what you just damn know. said. I don't, I don't want to help Marvel no damn more. I like honestly, I don't believe in them. But the I don't trust is, them. We, the people problem holler, is, we ain't doing it. The that. problem That's is though. But listen, the problem. Say that, is, say that one more time. I, I didn't so, kind of understand what you were saying. What, what, I, what? Here's what I'm saying. Here's what I propose. Every the ones that will, the ones that can, continue to scream, yell, shout, kick, beat down the walls, do a in, in a, 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 a riot the Capitol if you have to. I get it. There's gonna be people that's gonna do it for for the recast. I can't, it's going to be people's going to do it. I can't stop folks from doing it. But there ought to be, we ought to be able to do both with these black independent people. <coughs> I will say this. I know a lot of them. A lot of, I, I know some of them, not a lot. Some of them that come by uh, uh, our ears and we get on our desk, we get an email. They're freaking amazing. Their art is at level or better than Marvel in DC. This should be a movie. There's some of them. There's some of them that's not. There's some of them that look like my daughter drew. And somebody, it, it, we, you, you have all that. We have all that. It but is, we something. ought to be able to send these emails that we're sending to Marvel that they're reading or not reading and send it to somebody who's got the freaking Marvel. Who says, we, oh, we want a movie. He needs representation. Why aren't we sending an email to the to the brother that owns the damn Marvel Studios? Well, I don't want to say most Marvel, Marvel Studios, but owns the studios that they do all their movies in, which is right there in Atlanta. He owns those, which is Tyler Perry. And say, yeah. yo, Tyler, I know you don't really want to deal with superhero stuff. But you got, the studio, <coughs> you got the money, yo, and we got a bunch of people that want that. Can we get this director? Tyler Perry don't pick, care. And why can't we do both? I, I know this for a fact. Tyler Perry don't care. He Two might not, but he's going to I think Tyler Perry money. would care. But when but Herschel he pitches that, chill, but Herschel, chill. who are you pitching? I've talked to Tyler. She don't care, bro. Listen. I, he don't so, care. Okay. Still, Margaret, to your point, I will vouch. <laughs> I will vouch for that. We can work on the script. We can work on the character. But for the uh, <laughs> template alone, I could go. I could go with um, a lot of characters from the Concrete Universe. I can go with tons of them. I can go with some char characters from Godhood Universe that will make that's, that's amazing. What Paul said when I asked him yesterday, I asked Paul, uh, "Who is?" Actually, it was Friday. I said, "Who is the top dog? Like, who's the big one?" And he said, "Godhood." I don't know. I, don't I know said. I said. I, I said it was probably in terms of who's who is. I don't want to use the term big. It's fine. It's fine. It's implied sales. Who's who's doing it good? Who's doing it well? <coughs> um, I would say Godhood and Concrete are really sort of no. the publishers that are, that are so between Godhood and Concrete. Because I saw D Real with this Tuskegee Airs, and how many issues did they go for? I, no, Rip was killing them all. Rip no, no, no I'm talking. All. I'm talking about published current publishers right now. Okay. Ripperverse, the Ripperverse. Ison was killing them all. He's in a, in a freaking whole nother league. He's actually yeah. gonna come out with his own cartoon. Uh, he's I mean, already doing it. Yeah, you, he, you have to recognize his success as well. He, I mean, he's yeah. he's got that. Yeah. I'm he's talking about publishers. Success. None of us here are are that, that that ilk. Everyone notices what's happening. I saw him is being sold to a customer base who more likely than not have uh, Caucasian heritage, and they are and enjoying they something. Black folks is buying That's beneficial. He's he's he is he is. As much as you try to distance and say, well, look. Um, I don't believe in his politics, but you know I have, to respect, I have to respect the hustle. Understand there is a large segment of, of, of that success is based on that, yeah. the politics and, and what he did to market. The hustle is the hustle, regardless of how you do the it. Hustle is the hustle. The politics help. Cool. 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 Comic book it bad? Is. Nope. His comic book was actually no. It ain't bad. It ain't bad. And it, it's not it's political. Not <laughs> it's solid. The, the book itself is not political, but how. The, the the marketing that was employed in making the book popular to a certain segment of comic that's collectors genius. is, that's but that genius. speaks to that speaks to what's going on. Marvel would actually try to sell their stuff to people that ain't even buying the book. They're not They'll buying the book. Lean right. in. They're not buying it. He'll lean in, and no motherfuckers will show up. Call them yep. white, purple, green, and brown. They showing their ass up. They showing up. We ain't showing up for the person that. That's, we that's the genius of his marketing. And I wasn't the calling them white. Want. I wasn't calling them white as a way to insult them at all or no, anything. No, 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 no. I, I'm that, not, I wasn't speaking to you. I wasn't speaking okay, to you. Then. I'm just saying in general. I mean, at the end yeah, of the day, I mean, 
there's there's a, a segment of the people that are buying the book that aren't doing it because oh it's a black company and black characters that there's just a segment of people some people buying it for a few to the to the you know to the end yes mm-hmm. but that's but, but that's how he wants it too he's like i'm i'm right. just doing a good comic book i don't care about yeah. any agendas or whatever yeah. and that yes. whether, whether their intentions are not pro representation or not for about uh 15 minutes every month they're going to open a comic and just uh cheer for a character who's got melanated skin and that's yeah, right. a wonderful thing. and that's how comics arguably that's how comics used to be yep they did <laughs> but back I when agree. they were written well that's all but that's what it's about get the <laughs> creator to write these stories and chill right. back to uh, back, back to Tyler Perry. the thing is about making movies or shows or whatever you don't need Tyler Perry to do that because Tyler Perry he ain't gonna put up the money for that he'll let you use the studio you got the sure. money in the studio, you go use studio, but you don't need Tyler Perry's studio. You so, really so, don't. so we'll use Tyler Perry's studio and his resources. Now, who do we all right now, nine of us, get behind? Because I'm not for getting behind everyone. I'd rather just concentrate my efforts on what Godhood or concrete. I mean, I guess take your pick. Just take your pick, you but you gotta do something, me, bro. Yeah, I, and wherever you pick. go with that one, I'm down. I cheer for everybody black. I yeah, can't chip. Nah, nah, and, and I have to step aside. I'm with you, Harsh. I, I can't chip for everybody, but but I'm with you. I, I, people I don't have like to say that. Man. People don't okay. like to say I that. I cheer for everybody black who's good. <laughs> That's subjective. Can be subjective too. See, I, I would hate to get really behind a comic book, and I purchased Acolyte issue number one, and then he stops them at issue number three. I'm not insulting Lonzo Park. I don't think that's I'm happening. Not. I mean. I, I think if you want a safe bet, if I think, I think that's kind of like what you're what you're saying, Chilmeyer. If you want a safe bet, the uh, sort of barometer, um, check out the, the those those publishers that are putting their books in in previews magazine. They're or diamond sales. So you have yeah. you know Stranger Comics, Concrete Comics, uh, Advent Comics. Right. They're not these are these are companies that have been around for a while, but the but. They have reached a certain level of success where they feel that this is an avenue that they want to explore with doing the direct sales. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, not direct sales, but direct sales through Diamond Publishing. And they have to have a certain amount of books that they're trying to put out. So that would be a good jumping on point for you. Man, and, and, and nobody. <coughs> there you go. I, I wasn't trying to, comics right now. Just to be clear. Nobody. Have you I read it yet? Book? Yeah, I read, I read the comic book. Did you like it? Yeah, it was a fine comic. Yeah, it was okay. Yeah. I, I I have my critiques, but it was good. It, it, it did its thing. At least it was original, you know. Yeah, I mean that's not something that you. That, that's my I, biggest complaint with comics today is that a lot of these stories are just not original. The retread. When, when I look at when I look at certain characters and everything like that, um, when you look at the characters that we care for, y'all, I could be wrong. Y'all tell me. Y'all stop me if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. It ain't like they getting reviewed by everybody that reviews comics. Can I say that? They're not. They're not. And that, that you know, those reviews exactly. are equal promotions. Right. So like if if I know I look at somebody from over here, comic book explain, comic book historian, um, variant and everything like that, our blade ain't getting covered, our T'Challa ain't getting covered. Or only reason why Aurora get covered, because she's in the X-Men magazine. But by and large, Chill, you hit. I think I said that last week. It's you, it's Marcus, Black Comet Lord. It ain't nobody earn, earning Blur Without Fear. The characters we like, by and large, they not getting reviewed by the people that's got huge numbers doing re- comic book reviews. But if they, they would. Did, they if would they if, you, if you if you give e viewing an interview with comics explained or or Sal and Tiffany. They're not saying no to that. If Kate Joel and his boy. Uh, multiverse of move was uh, all these guys that go back to what i said chill they don't want to put the resources behind that but all you got to do is ask an inter- a, a writer hey look we're signing you up for this comic book you just have to also agree to do an interview every month with a new publication just do it just interview promo well but kind of that they really i mean want to do that. y'all that's, think that's no. gonna move the needle it's it's yeah, not that ain't, and sometimes i'm not i'm not i'm not with i'm not why, why can't it, i blame the guys, writer and- it, it depends it depends because there are some property. I can explain this. Have you? How, when's the last time you saw Eve Ewing interview on Black Panther? It was you on your y'all, website. Did y'all? You, 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 y'all, you, you, you. Understand. Um, 
um, Dr. Ewing is she is she has worked on books that have all now been put in MCU, right? Ironheart, Photon, barely no. now Black Panther. Um, remember what I told you before at the very beginning of all this. Um, Marvel is when we say Marvel is no longer Marvel Comics; it's Marvel Studios. Yep. And for those properties that are tied to the MCU, there is a lot more scrutiny um, and limitations as to what writers can do. So, you mean you know, getting writers to they... talk about what they plan to do with certain characters is not necessarily always going to be easy because of the scrutiny and limitations of those characters. That's no reason not to do an interview and promote. If there's a question uh, you can't answer, you would, you would think you would think that. But if, if there's a question you cannot answer, hey, we can't answer that question. Next one, all you gotta do is talk about your run and talk about your and and speak to the people who are responsible, who are not gonna ask those, uh, you know, those sly questions that they're looking for the dirt. And you can give them even like a pre-interview. Hey, look, this is off the tables. That's off the tables. Uh, Wait, what would you send Eve? What would you send her to? I just said Breakfast Club. Charlotte Club. wrote a Marvel comic. He, this guy, he's. I, he's, I think he's that's a great idea. That too. I think that's a great idea. I think someone like Charlemagne the God would uh, put a lot of eyes on the book. I think that would be a smart move for Marvel to make. But you might get a jump. You might get. A, I don't think it'll it'll sustain anything, but you might get a jump. Uh, that'll well, get new people. Say, but if you want the regular comic book audience. I am talking about the YouTubers who are popular, even the mm -hmm. YouTubers who are super critical. Go, go give a thirty-minute talk with Eve Ewing, talking to one of those guys, Comics Gate, any of them. Talk to comic book people and promote your comic book, or suffer the consequences. And it feels like they've they've done a good job of alienating people. Like we brought up Young Ripper earlier, right? But we they'll say that, okay, any talking coming out of these guys. They are, because they're of that ilk, we can no longer consider it uh, feedback or criticism, and it's irrelevant. And boom, we we won't address it. And like, there's a big popular comic book reading audience there on that corner of the internet, and we're not de we're deciding to just uh, not even address it, and that's completely stupid. And if you did address, yeah, blue. No, I was, I was just gonna say I think another when, when addressing comic book fandom or or just people who want to read you know because you got collectors and you got people who want to read i think collectors are going like how you do buy the two to three you know variant covers and things like that but then you got people who want to read these books are so astronomically high now with horrible stories in them who you, you see what i'm saying like who's running no. to go and buy the book once they go and look at the and they don't even put if i have to go run to a comic shop a lot of you know what i'm saying to go buy this book instead of my local big box target walmart whatever you know what i'm saying things of that nature to make it easier on the customer i think it's other things to do than send eve ewing up to breakfast club i think you have to put the comics in front of people to get the comics out because we're yeah. talking about millions of viewers and all we need, like we said, 17,000 sales is where we are. If millions of viewers are listening well, to this interview and maybe thinking about the comic, you only need on a breakfast club. It's bad. It's like you don't get no, the. I look at the do count. The, the Breakfast Club is not our. It's not the type of audience. It's I, not. I it's get not, your point. They're not our I audience. And every time somebody intelligent comes on there, when you put somebody like uh, Sexy Red, you gonna get millions of views. You put a, a old civil rights. So we should get Sexy Red up there to promote that the motherfucker. Be like, I, I, think, I think. I think. I think. You don't lose, lose the forest for the trees. It's not just about the the Breakfast Club. It's it's the general idea of. Of something that Herschel's always said is a quote of Herschel's, which is Marvel can make a a a raccoon a international superstar. Mm -hmm. Right? A talking raccoon into an international superstar. I got it. They can they it. have the resources to promote but whatever that, character they want. If they want to I'm make about. if they yeah. want to make a character, an A-list character, they, they will. start putting that character in all Everywhere. of the books. That's right? what I got it. I, I got the Marvel. Okay. Marvel. Hold, hold, on. hold on, hold on, real quick, guys. Hold on, real quick. I'm just let you guys know. I'm gonna go about 17 more minutes. I know you guys have this uh this stream linked, so uh literally it is going to be midnight here uh in Kansas City here soon. Yeah, so we're gonna go about 18 minutes. 
And if you guys are continuing the conversation, make sure you guys are going to chill Theo or whoever got the uh, got the video link. Make Great. sure you guys go over there. I'm, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. Got to bounce. Got to bounce. Got to bounce. Got to bounce. Keep doing on the view. Sure. Appreciate it. You viewing on the view. Appreciate you, D. Well, Paul, no, it's wrong. expensive to get that character, that raccoon. Where are you now? You're on this side now. What's up, Paul? <laughs> you doing on the view? That don't work. That don't nah, work. Wrong audience. <laughs> wrong audience. I like that. I like that. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We say that's the wrong audience, but mm. just hear me out. She's a woman because that Brexit Club thing. That's that's not a good idea. She's a woman. Okay. What do that. we need to a degree recast the child for the women to be more vocal? She's the writer on Black Panther with T'Challa as the lead character. And base and and I and I like that you said that because I watched Melissa Ford, which I didn't even know that it was that it was available until I was just running through YouTube and seeing it. So Melissa Ford, I know you know guys who know Melissa Ford and is Ford, a, shout out to yeah, my first wife. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, I used to be in love with Melissa Ford when well, she was on Joe Button three months ago talking about Giant the Majors. And mm-hmm. I was going, I'm going to do a reaction to that, even though it's old. I'm gonna still do a reaction to that. What she said about how she can say something about Jonathan Majors, but they couldn't. So just like how you said, uh, uh, Eve Ewan, they're not going to go and bash Eve Ewan. Trust no, me. Because all the, all the, oh, you don't want to see a successful black woman. And then for, for one, having a black woman write Black Panther. You know what I mean? Number one. Number two. We can't that, lose. That is we a can't win-win. Lose. We, That's a you, win-win. You cannot lose. She's a doctor. She's writing a comic book. I love it, but yeah, I don't, I don't see it working. Gender. You can't lose. I love it, but but who you is it? Who, what ears? <laughs> whose ears is it gonna fall on? That I guess that's the question. And, 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 no, no, that's a great question. We do want the women, just like with recast T'Challa or oh, yes. T'Challa being a favorite character. It's not just black people rocking with T'Challa. No, it's white people too. Right. Okay, well you get them white. Sorry, you get women that gonna rock with her, gonna mm-hmm. rock with the character just cause they rocking with her. That's now some of the women gonna be married. Some of them gonna have some sons, children. But you bring that audience right there, they gonna lock. She's a professional woman. She's a professional. <laughs> here's the here's the here's the problem, D. Here's the problem, D. Y'all gonna be mad, but uh, y'all was mad when I, I'm probably rocking with you, Hersh. I'm with you. Y'all was all mad at me when the I'm about to be started. mad. Never did you say I'm gonna be mad. I, will, I have to say this. I have to say this. <laughs> if if white folks it's up to the room with Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman, Guy Gardner, and a and a and a whole smorgasbord of well, some flagships, some A and some B list. And we lead in with with, with T'Challa. Okay, we need to also bring War Machine aboard, Luke Cage, nope. and we got and we oh, and we can't what, do that. What, then guess what? Wait, wait, wait hold on. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, let me finish. Finish cooking. They can lean in with those characters. We're showing up to the table, and say, "Hey, this is our best of our best." Can y'all fool? Come on, come on! Can we get this right? We gotta bring someone. I think she in. would be this able to pull off that education bit. I think she'd be able to educate him. She wrote Ironheart. She wrote Photon. She's writing T'Challa. So she's going to be the most knowledgeable woman walking in that place off the rip. Which place? The studio, what? the View Studio. She's gonna be the most knowledgeable woman walking in there, comic okay. book fan wise. Okay. If you go in to, to Herschel's point about Luke Cage and trying to get War Machine up and T'Challa, you ain't got enough time. It, just imagine a studio looking at, oh you, oh, you gave us three? Okay. Well, here. Here, we're going to do a T'Challa movie, then a Luke Cage movie, and then a War Machine movie. Let's just say they did that. That was the response to it. I would say, listen, we don't want three characters to get a, a movie. I want one character to get three movies to maximize the impact. To have a higher reach of, of a uh, uh, impact. What Wait, are we talking? The interview? Are we talking about making movies? movies? What are we talking? We keep saying one or the other, and I, I'm not a one or the other type of guy because that ain't the world that we live in. I believe you can get both, but there nope. has to be a strategy. They which showed us. They showed us we can't. They showed us they just tolerate these black movies. No, I mean, we, the percentage of our output will be black movies. We, and we so, have not. Here's the thing: we ain't sat down yet. You, me, us, all Man. of us, and yeah, sat down and came up with strategy. Yes, it's, it's, it's got to be strategized. What are you right. talking about? What, what is this right tackle? now? Huh? No, no. As far as, as far as, like you said, you don't, you, you you said you don't believe. 
This ain't you, no you said that you think that can only be one, like the Highlander on some Highlanders. No, no, not that there can only be one. <laughs> Based on their rules, they've shown me how little output. But, how I, much but we haven't even get, seen them. So let's not waste time on guys I, who are not going to make that. the maximum amount of progression. I'm saying I don't, get I don't the follow three instead of getting a Luke Cage. The, the reason why I say that is they sand, the reason why Captain Marvel work is because they sandwiched it in between the two movies, right? That we all agree with that. So to me, that was just great ass marketing. That's just good marketing. Whether the character was gonna work or not, we're gonna make sure give it the best um uh projection that we can by sandwiching in between those two and movies, it was a, right? It was a free marketing strategy too. It did not cost any extra to make the movie right. come in March. Boom. The, the hottest so, scene makes the best point on this. He keeps saying that. I just, okay, we get it. We don't own it. We, we we understand. But when it comes to having, let's say you do have War Machine, Blade, Luke Cage, right? You got these three IPs out there and you want them to work. You have to maneuver them in a situation to where they all can work. It's not about whether they say, oh, only one can work because that's, that's the... What's that? That's the, that's like the stereotype that they feed us all. The, oh, well, it can it's only true. even it, even in even in work. It, but it's not true. No, it's, it's that. That's, hold on. Hold on. Guess who say it? Guess who but say you, it though? Chill. I want to see what, say what's true. I, I ain't never heard them say that. I ain't never heard them they, say they've that. They've shown you that. The I reason know that it's all, true we all, is because it's true to how much they do. That one black dude. That violates that violates the McDuffie rule. All right. I said it's true, and then Blue kept talking, so I stopped. What I'm saying is true, is that. The um, what did you say first? Actually, you said. No, I said I just said that we say it. We we're the ones who say, oh, it can only be one black in any any okay. place we go to. We go to work. Oh, it can only be one. If it's a black woman in there, the black woman gonna make sure that she gets over on the black women. The black, you know what I'm saying? Because so we're you, not used to being in these spaces. The reason and for that. that the reason for it's true. It's so true. <clears throat> the reason ahead, for. Jim. Why there could only be one we're going to be, is because we've seen that these people in power, whether it's at your workplace, whether it's at er, anywhere, they've shown their tolerance or their percentage of how much black they will have. And based on that is where I'm coming from. Now, in a perfect world where all these studios really were about representation, they're like, we're to counter all of our years with all white projects. We're going to have a whole year where it's going to be very multicultural and there's not a limit. I wouldn't say what I'm saying. Well, we got to go build our own. I, it goes back. We keep going in a circle, and not so that. Let's, let's go to. Let's, sorry to interrupt you, Herschel. Let's go back to Godhood. Let's go back to concrete. There we go. How yeah. do we promote concrete? Do we have to have an acolyte night? Like what? What do we do? Um. Well, first, buy the books. Then, <laughs> second, look. All you guys have platforms. That's how we all. I mean, we all know each other from Twitter and what have you, and YouTube. We all have our own platforms. Support these brothers. Ask ask them to come on your show. Do an interview with them. Do a review of their books. Spread it all over social. That's that's what we try to do. I mean, that's that's uh, generate a buzz because you already have people that follow you that obviously are into comics with black characters in it. Just open their eyes to books that they may not be willing to or or, or even thought of trying to give a, a give a give a chance to that's how you do it um these guys these guys you know uh uh lonzo star and 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 tyler the creator and tony cottrell these guys that are the these these are great businessmen and yes, and man. they're 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 really trying to work on building these things organically um and sustainably and they're being rewarded for. I mean, they're, they're, a lot of these properties are being optioned for, for cartoons and movies and what have you. You know, don't be a fan later because five years from now, these properties could be big deals. Now's mm -hmm. a great opportunity to, to get involved in that. Well, I like so to also the biggest thing to do too is, and what I, what I see a lack of, it's just in a lot of different communities, is people aren't posting, hey, yo, I bought this book. Dada, let me tell you about it because people think, oh, I'm 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 a salesman for this person. This person ain't paying me. But what you're doing is that you're pouring into the community, dude. When I post stuff, the little influence or whatever you can say, whatever influence I have, people go out and buy that book. I've seen Paul buy a book. I bought a book that I seen Paul with. I was like, shit. Word of mouth is the, is the most powerful thing. Man, it, it, we don't do that enough. Listen, I made a post the other day on TikTok. I'm like, man, with well, all these dope 
Uh, even with Black Sands, no, not a shot at Black Sands. I always hear people say, go buy Black Sands. But I never see, see people open up a book and say, man, this is why I really like it. And that's what we lack. When you go to these white groups, they talk about uh, Spider-Man. They talk about Superman. They go into depth, into details. We're not, yeah. we, we can't ask the casuals to do that. But us, it, and, and guess what? We spend a lot of time on Tatala, which is cool. But we also got to spend some time on these other characters. Independent, Misty Knight, I, you name them. But we don't do that because we know that we, we, got, we, as many we got a Marvel's movie coming out and, and nobody's Rambeau. talking about Monica Rambeau. Nobody if the movie was called Photon, I would talk about it more. We got Ooh, to. Right. It's Captain Marvel 2 with a supporting character who's Photon and Kamala. That's all. So, so yes, but, 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 but it gives movie. you the buzz because look, there's going to be some kid that's going to see that, that that's going to ultimately see that movie. There might be a little girl, like my little girl. But she ain't going to watch our videos, though. <laughs> and then, it's not about watching our videos. I'm saying they're going to go to the theater and watch it. You got to have some hope, Herschel. Jeez. I'm curious I'm about the character. I see, a, I see a black woman with hair that looks like mine, with skin that looks like mine, that has mm -hmm. all these powers, and they're going to get interested in that. Okay. Listen, you, know, you just said you just said some very educate very critical, them on. You, you, just, you just said some very very critical, Herschel. You got to have some hope. What folks have been screaming, what we what we tend to do, and not a knock against y'all, I do it too. I'm gonna raise my hand. We tend to run to the, we tend to uh, dibble and dabble and say, oh well, the top, the the Black Panther thing is crazy. It's not working out the way we want it, and then we'll pivot over to to, to Black Independent. Then we'll say a little thing, and we'll come back to Tatala. If we're gonna go over to the Black Independent side. We didn't really put a, a, a footprint down. And that's what we haven't done. See, in the other community, they do that and they put their money up. We do a lot of talking. And I'm one of those people. I do a lot of talking too. We got to put our money up and start waiting for other people to say, how much you, you put in 10? Well, I'm going to put in 10 too. Will you support them? Okay, well, I guess I'll support. We got to be able to put our, stick our neck out there and just do the work. And until we do that, we're going to continue to look at white folks. Oh, why you ain't do this with our security? I don't. Well, how come this ain't happening? We got to get. We got to put our money. Like, if we want to see what we want to see, we got to put our money behind this black independent titles and push them I, like crazy. Dude, I understand where you're coming from. I do. I really, really, truly do. At the same time, two things you could do to you could walk at you bubblegum. Walk at you, sure, you know what man. I mean? So that means I can still be over here rooting for T'Challa, making sure T'Challa is still a focus of Marvel Comics because of his status in Marvel Comics. At the <laughs> same time, Go buy independent comics and talk about independent comics. You know what I I'm saying? You, agree. you said, but what? I think it's a, I think what we do is 80 20. Let's be honest. Yeah. I I, I know even I, but, I see, but 20 I see, is enough. But 80, but 80 is the mainstream though. The IPs we don't own, the IPs that are owned by black people, I say. And then the I'm sorry, the, the, yeah, and the 20 is the ones that we do. I'm not saying that everybody's gotta be 50-50. But there's not enough people out here screaming. Like this video that we're doing tonight for five hours. How many damn black YouTubers you think up out here doing what we're doing tonight? That's also a problem too. It's not me uh, doing a blame game. It's just me saying, like, but this is a but start. Also, the conversation, but, Brad, it's a start. We gotta have a conversation first. I get it. But you guys have had this conversation before. I've watched it. But at what point are we gonna actually initiate, take the initiative? What can I do to help? We got one of the, probably we do have the largest platform on Facebook for just black comics. We're the largest platform on Facebook, but for black comics we do. But what can we do more to help to galvanize more? Because at this point, I don't come on YouTube a lot. I, I'm almost primarily on TikTok, but I'm kind of tired. I'm not blaming you guys. I'm not pointing fingers. I want to say that again. I'm not blaming you guys. I'm not pointing fingers. But what can we do to actually get the ball started? Because we've been talking a lot about what it would look like if we actually done do X, Y, and Z. But who's going to send the damn emails? Let me know. Because we can send some emails tonight. Dio, Dio's still on the call. Dio got off. We can nah, send some emails off. tonight. But are we going to do something? Are we going to talk about it? Are we going to be about it? Let me know because I'm ready to put some action. I'm, I'm about to action. I'm like Marshawn Lynch. I'm about that action, boss. What do I need <laughs> to do to help tonight? Well, the first thing is to buy the comic books. But Dead I'm man. the guy who's not moving. I'm picky. I'm who am I supporting? You better show me you as the creator are not about to be out of business next year and you're like just flying off the seat of your pants. I don't care how much you speak about but that's, how uh, that's kind of disingenuous because if I'm if I'm independent, I need your money to continue to the next year. You see what I'm saying? As an independent, yeah. it's kind of shaky. 
We hard. There's, we a, website, there's a website called uh, Global Comics, um, where a lot of Black independent comic books are located, it's and it Global gives you an opportunity to, to, if you're worried about like you know, sometimes it can be expensive. You know, mm-hmm. here's a way you can support these creators. Check out their books and see if you want to invest in, in going further. You can buy them digitally, read them, and say, "Hey, this is something I like. Let me go ahead and continue to buy the rest of the series on on paperback." So yeah, that's that's one avenue that you can sort of explore and figure out which of these books are worth my my money and my time. Global Comics, yeah, with an X. <laughs> I had to download it when you were talking about it on Friday. Last Great, week, we Friday. got two minutes. So with that, I gotta go, guys. Oh. I gotta get. A, I gotta oh, yeah, go work. Yeah. I'm about to say you already. If y'all watch this, you already know what it is. You know what's getting ready to happen. Not me. So let's go ahead and let's get this thing wrapped up. Drage, I want to thank you for for allowing me to come on the show. Appreciate it. Me too. No, no, no problem, fellas. I appreciate it. Simple B. It says wrap it up. Wrap that shit up, B. (laughs) We need one of those on our channel. Yeah, we do. Yo, your audio. Listen, I have never had a YouTube video video dedicated to my shenanigans. (laughs) So uh, unless I actually do it on purpose. Uh, so I appreciate y'all for critiquing it. I appreciate y'all for having me off because y'all could have said, no, F that. He ain't coming on my show. Y'all could have been like one of them Negroes. So, hey, I appreciate y'all for having me. I'll come back on anytime. Nah, we play nah, fair no, here. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, you know what I'm saying? If I got an issue, I like coming to the man. You know what I'm saying? There you go. All right. Well, I got to keep go. muting yourself, Dre. My, this you, we've been on here so long. Streamyard is wigging out. Yeah, get the Streamyard is wigging right now. Streamyard so, yeah. sleepy like me. Yeah, all right. Streamyard <laughs> sleepy. My laptop sleepy. Everybody sleepy. Let's get a fight here. I'll read the super chat first. Read the super chat. Oh, I got a super chat. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know I had a super chat. Now we got it from Fatal the Collector. Four ninety nine. I uh, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, Fatal the Collector. Uh, come on, Streamyard. Hurry up. I got you. Mentoring black youth through comics three years in a row. I sponsored 30 inner city youth in Chicago to C2E2. It builds interest. Each one oh, reach one. Yeah. Oh, that's dope. That's yep. super dope. I can't ask him to do nothing else. He done did. He mm-hmm. gave out. He gave it all. C2E2, yeah. can you sponsor an adult? <laughs> <laughs> let's keep it a buck. All right, Appreciate guys. it. Well, yeah, yeah, let's get it. A- here man i appreciate you guys for tuning into the dre max show don't forget to like share subscribe don't forget to hit the bell notification so you never ever miss one of my videos i'm out peace and bob i need to let my forehead breathe y'all been killing me tonight (laughs) be easy man wait a minute you're telling me the video's over what okay i guess so if you have came to this portion of the video thank you so very much for sticking to the end don't forget to like share and subscribe don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you never miss one of my videos and if you really want to you don't got to go ahead and follow the social media links that's down below until next time i'll let you guys later peace and bob hire y'all y'all take care of yourself